Well, I have pee noises. Oh, that's the first thing, really. Well, <laughs> shit, my pants. <laughs> That'll be on the re-upload. It wouldn't be on the stream yet because you got to do all the floopy flatums with that. Uh... Yeah, it's not oh. too bad. That's not the worst way to start a stream. Mm -hmm. What is the worst way to start a stream? Welcoming our special guest, Hitler. I feel I like that's know. totally drawing. Like... Like... Yeah, come on. Yeah, <laughs> cool. I'd love to interview Hitler. Hitler, yeah, I mean, if like, you're, I feel like yeah, it would be interesting to interview Hitler. Yeah, if all of the the crazy. Um, members of the Order of the Black Eagle hear this, and you are currently have access to Hitler, a cryogenically frozen Hitler in the jungles of Argentina. Tina. Tina. Argentina. <laughs> in the jungles of Argentina. Then pass this note along. I'd love to I'd love to see if Hitler would want to uh, come on to EFAP. We could, I'm curious to see what Hitler would say about the sequel trilogy. We could, I mean, we could also get Adolf Hitler, um, the Namibian politician, on. Oh, he's probably a, yeah. He's probably a busy man. Yeah, I feel like he'll be harder to get than yeah. Yeah. yeah what? It, yeah. I mean, if, what does the president of Namibia really do? I mean, is he the president? I don't think he was the president, was he? I thought he was the president, right? I thought he won like a local election. He's like a mayor. Well, or that's something. how it starts. Mm -hmm. The accumulation. You just gotta get. You just gotta power. warm people up to the idea of Hitler. Did you see the? Um, I saw a post. It was like. What happens when you get hyper sort of invested in, I guess, balancing? Hitler? Yeah, hyper invested in Hitler. That 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 works. Um, it said something like, "You should be no, naming uh, kids Hitler, specifically Adolf Hitler, because um, if I look that this is at the beginning of the stream, by the way, it's instant demonetization probably. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the uh, the so the idea is if you name some some non-minorities Adolf Hitler, it will make employers double check the name and possibly push them aside, which allows more uh, diverse hiring. So I'm gonna be honest, if you name your kid Adolf Hitler for those reasons, kill yourself. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird choice. Yeah. Well, we've got the uh, well, encouragement the... to self-harm. We've got <laughs> Hitler. I think we've uh, started uh, I think we've started out pretty well in, uh, in... Yeah, and we're definitely live. In uh, like southern parts of Africa, Africa, uh, it's my understanding that Adolf Hitler or just Hitler is a fairly common name. Not common, but like you know, it's a, it's a name that you you just hear around. Because oh. uh, in 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 World War Two, when uh, white South Africans had to leave to go and fight the war, they started conscripting black South Africans as well because uh, Hitler was fucking them so hard. Uh, and they, uh, a lot of people who were living in the area didn't really know who Hitler was or what he was do doing, and they just knew that they were, um, that he was fucking up the uh, white South African people um, who were, you know, the villains of their lives. So uh, they were like, well, <laughs> I don't know who this Hitler guy is, but he's really annoying these guys I hate. I'm going to call my kid Hitler. Oh, no. It's also this Trevor right. Noah. <laughs> oh, so it, oh, so it might be true. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, I'm just going to refresh to see had, if we've been. Well, apparently, he had a childhood friend called Hitler. <laughs> I think he we all need a childhood that, um, friend called Hitler. He found out that this was an unusual name when, in a performance in front of a lot of people um, who were not uh, part of this culture, if I'm remembering correctly, um, they were doing a dance number and they uh, cheered on each dancer with their name oh no and when it was hitler's turn and the guy this guy is dancing and they're all just going go hitler go hitler <laughs> and the audience doesn't react very well <laughs> he, no, no, he ruined he ruined the name for everybody i'm not gonna say he ruined the mustache it's understandable that propaganda ruined the mustache for understandable reasons but uh i mean michael jordan tried to bring it back but he was unsuccessful Damn, not even Michael Jordan can bring it back? Man, if, yeah, if not even Michael Jordan Jordan can bring it back. Uh, Michael Jorgen? Michael Jorgen. No. no my, Michael <laughs> Jorgen. My name is Michael Jorgen. I have that a, was his birth name. It I might explain his pretty balls. well. I, I have a patron called Adolf Hitler, and I put him in the credits, and I still feel conflicted about it. <laughs> <I> <laughs> special <laughs> special <laughs> thanks, Adolf Hitler, at the end. Like, uh Dong. Well, I can't not put or, his name. I was going to say. What he's if it's his real name? Out. What if he is from South Africa? Maybe, maybe. Um, Hitler, the, you know, Adolf Hitler would want you to make a black person poorer. So, 
Apparently everybody <laughs> wins. Uh, hello everyone. Welcome to EFAB 116. Oh yeah, that's right. You were straight. Hey everyone. Hey. Uh, <laughs> EFAB every frame of pause. That it is. Uh, who here hasn't met each other? Say hello, cast. Hello. Hi, Greetings. Chad. How how do you do? Uh, hello. Hello. Hello there. Ooh, yeah, okay. Uh, God, you're all useless. When is it New so, Year's for you? Is uh, they're shy. Right? They're shy. Yeah, from the left, capital O opinions. He's a mutated like corpse of two ex film reviewers come into one Christmassy entity, and uh, he's he's. He's, he's what, what is your thing, would you say? You just, you just... I think you summed it up pretty well. <laughs> there you go, yeah, you Honestly. probably understand him fully from that. Then across <laughs> is Jay, uh, the one who fucking shits on Doctor Who and um, other things. That's what you know him for now, Jay. Yeah, for our video in the works. Then If it's not that long now, people are going to get mad. Then there's John, CJ, what do you like to go by these days typically? Is it just John? Just John, John Graham. People call me John CJG usually. Sometimes yeah. people call me Digital Fear Jungle. to troll me. <laughs> um, obsessed with little little figurines. That's that's yes. that's how I could summarize John, right? I uh, make Arby and the Chief. It's a very cringe and blue pilled series <laughs> on YouTube. And, I was and talking I, about Halo I today. Used, I used to people. work for the hit company Machinima.com. Yay! Everybody's favorite media conglomerate. Not a conglomerate, but uh, my phone. You, you probably where want gaming to use, and entertainment collide. You probably wanted to use the word conglomerate because it makes it sound like a blob-like entity that's horrible. It's yeah, just, <laughs> it's like, uh, the conglomerate. Oh, Mahler, by the way, you you put one sixteen in the title and it's one seventeen. God it's damn it, John one sixteen. Well, that's career over. You 17. made that mistake because it, clearly it says one seventeen. As soon as I just hit save, <laughs> idiot! Can't you read? Yeah. Next up is me. Hello. And then there's Moriarty. How do you do, sir? <gasps> Hello. Hi. You uh, you want to abandon us soon, right? Like Jay. That's what I feel. I'm going to be the shortest one here. I'm pretty sure. Yes. <laughs> you sure? You Jay's sure? got like fifteen one? minutes. <laughs> you know, the least, the least here. Oh, the least here. Yeah, I think Jay just proved everyone wrong. Damn. Well, he did that on purpose because he's a horrible person. Jay. Um. Then there's Rugs, and then hello, hi everyone. To the right of Rags is Schnadavisti, the swordman, the the one who braved episode seven of Mando with us. We're I Many assumed that you would be the one to defend it, Chad. I don't. I don't think that ended up happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the chat. I'm sorry. Also, people might be like confused. Jay is actually gone now. That was he was, he was only here for the introduction. <laughs> oh wow, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I'm not the shortest one here. Jay has been kicked. <laughs> Um, but what were you going to say, Shad? I think you signed up something. Oh, I was just that. I, I love that uh, my my name has become the Swordman. I accept it. This is, <laughs> this is a title I'll happily, happily bear. Longman, Swordman, Dogman, uh, Arby and the Chiefman. Dogman, Chiefman. Uh, it's hard to generate more names. Come and... Yep. Anakin and Jingle All the Way was way better than Gal Gadot. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know about that. So my issue with Gal Gadot is that she's just blank and unfeeling and emotionless. Mm. Kind of. She's just sort of. She's she's like wet bread, mm -hmm. as opposed to how you would describe her acting. Whereas Jake Lloyd and Mingle All the Way was just flat out bad. Everywhere. He just wasn't good. Gal Gadot just needs someone to tell her how to act. Acting lessons. Yeah. Gal Gadot is what happens when you just let people continue to be mediocre in their profession because of their beauty. Is that so wrong, Rex? Is that so wrong? Well, it depends. If you want good actresses in films, that is wrong. For the sake of the, the craft, sometimes you gotta be honest. You gotta tell people that maybe their acting is garbage. I've been you gotta step it up. Been editing you out. gotta know that you're shit before you can get unshit. 
been editing out coverage of the first Wonder Woman, and there have been more and more instances of me just spotting how bad her acting is. It's kind of surprising, but at the same time, charming. You know, she's just making her way. Through... Eighty-four. Do me a favor in the scene where she's crying. Can you look really closely and try to figure out if those are CGI tears or not? <laughs> because I, I, honestly, I think they might be. No, that was the end of the film. They realized they were about to run out of the budget. They had a guy with little droppers, little little eye droppers, and he just <laughs> put them on her cheek right before the scene began. Just a little bloop bloop, and then he'd be off screen. Then they go. Matt, I've been on film sets where the actors trying to cry and they can't. And it's, it's so fucking. It's so cringe. That's just why it's considered that. like a bonus, right? It's like, can you cry on cue? It's like, I can. Ah, actor superpower. Yeah. They also make a, like little menthol sticks that you sort of rub under your eyes and it makes you tear up. <laughs> yeah, um, I uh, I guess everybody has that one. I think I could. I think I can cry on command. I don't normally do it because I'm a fucking Chad patriot but I, uh, I, if i need to uh if circumstances are that dire and i need to shed manly tears that then turn into bald eagles i will i will cry i just think about my career and the fact i play with toys and film it oh, they're action that figures. Makes, that makes me cry yeah they are action figures in fairness <laughs> action figures in <laughs> they're action figurines okay they're collectibles collectible items <clears throat> Figurines makes them sound feminine. <laughs> well, action figures. But, but before we go too far away from her acting, if anyone wants to like see one of the most perfect examples of Gal Gadot's terrible acting in this film, they need to go to the scene where she's fighting with Steve Trevor about him saying he needs to go, and she delivers the line, why can't I for once have this one thing, this one thing? It was amazingly bad Chad, we like... have the power here okay oh. if you can tell me where that is i will play it for the audience in the movie i mean oh. i could probably find it man i wish uh it it's the scene where they're fighting they're in her apartment and she's like why can't i for once have this one thing this <laughs> one thing <laughs> <laughs> really bad why do you hate women so much jesus stop like we're gonna get in trouble you never you never said chris pine's acting's bad what's that about I know, right? I was like, gee, what, he's a good what actor. Might Well, it's funny because act. watching both of them is clear that Chris Pine is like, oh, he's he's pretty good. <laughs> he's, he was probably yeah. having fun. Oh, yeah. What, he's having a good time. Gal Gadot seems guys, like the type to take it very seriously. What did you guys think of the scene where she goes over the top out of the trenches? Did you think that was stupid? Like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we have issues with that, too. I'm trying to find... Any, there's no chance you can get a timestamp, can you, Shad? Because I've got the scene, I just don't know which part of it I'm looking for. Oh, man. I mean, I'm tempted to actually oh, bring up the movie on my computer, but that means getting some other stuff so I can access mm. it, because I watched it on a different one. Um, dang it. I, I, I might mute myself and see if I can quickly grab it. I'll be back in a second. All right. Because that means I can, I can take screenshots and because I have a <laughs> lot to say, Mauler. <laughs> well, we only do quick podcasts. I don't know if we can make it. Might not have time. Yeah. Right. I'll be back. I'll be back. <gasps> well, um, we leave. you know, we got so many different topics today that we can check out. I'm uh, I'm chill with just, if you, do you guys think we should just start with Wonder Woman? Start talking about Wonder Woman? How amazing Wonder yeah, Woman was? why not? We can talk sure. about Wonder Woman. Should I'm always happy that? to talk about Wonder Woman. Should you we know, skip man. the first one and talk about 84 exclusively, or should we... Yeah. What, what, what? I mean, it, and we want to do brief highlights and um, well, they're not highlights. Just let everyone know that we thought it sucked. Yeah, if anyone didn't know already, uh, we had a six-man party watch breakdown of good old Wonder Woman, and uh, there's not much of that movie that I consider functional outside of Steve Trevor. <laughs> That's about it. He, <laughs> he is a person pretty good. Um, we talked about this briefly on, uh, we did a stream yesterday, but uh, Wonder Woman's character is that of, like, she is naive about how the world works, which is fine with me, but I think she's absurdly naive, and it, it contradicts a lot of what um, allows her to be good at other things. She has a lot of access to a lot of information that's like, oh, sweet, you know this, 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 but you don't know what a watch is. It's like, that's strange. <laughs> you don't know yeah. that wars have been happening throughout human history, and that innovations have been happening throughout human history, and yet she just concludes immediately that because Dr. Poison's making a poison that can destroy gas masks that the person who she works for must be Ares. Like, wow. 
That's a bit of a uh, leap. And, yeah, uh, what she doesn't and doesn't know is really bizarre. Like, she's read textbooks on, like, human reproductive biology. Yeah. She says that. But she doesn't know what a watch is. She's very confused about, you know, basics of, like, human society. <laughs> what people do and don't do. Like, you know, bring a sword and a shield around in public. And, and then so, give yeah. it away to some random lady they just met, even though she thinks it's the only thing that can kill a god and that of course, she came there to kill. I wouldn't want to be jumping it. Uh, to, to, we can jump around the movie a bit, but as an audience member, you're like, well, it can't just be Ludendorff is Ares and Ares causes war. That would that'd be lame. And then the movie's like, ah, it's not. You're like, okay, well, yeah, good. Because that would have been stupid. And then uh, you're like, so what's the drama now? And it's like, well, Ares. And you're like, okay, <laughs> I guess we can have a boss fight with him. What happens if you kill him? It's like, it ends the war. <laughs> and so you're yeah, left in this like, war. Huh? yeah. Very, very confusing in terms of what the hell the message is trying to be. Yeah, the uh, right. once Ares is dead, all of the Germans just they don't want to fight for the preservation of their nation anymore. And the allies, they don't really want to fight much either. You know, it's just they just all stop fighting and it's all done. It's all solved. The The war is over. Yeah, I guess the Germans agreed to lose at that point. I don't know <laughs> how they work that out. Kind of strange. Yeah, they do this like the sun is rising and things are calming down once Ares is dead. And it's like, so did, because the film is like, hey, he didn't make them war, but he did give them formulas for gas. You're like, okay. Which I find weird, by the yeah, way. He invented technology before people did. Was he, well, that's the thing. With every significant war, was he at the, at the head of the, whoever made the most advanced piece of technology in that particular war? And why didn't he just skip I them guess. ahead? Because he gave Dr. Poison the formula, apparently. Like, so why didn't he just fucking skip... Why didn't he just blow everyone up himself? That's a really big question. Yeah, that's the that's a better question, for sure. I think it would take taking... him probably a solid, like, 36 hours to go around and destroy every Yeah, just kill there. everyone, yeah. Reduce it to rubble. Just the Earth is just done. It's over. It's finished. Ares from Greek mythology is a character that needs to stay as an abstraction when you have when you put him like as an actual like dude walking around and then like Wonder Woman kills him. It's like, OK, all <laughs> human beings are just going to stop fighting each other. Yeah, she killed no. it with love. <laughs> <laughs> love saved the day. That shit yeah. was funny. The, the lightning laser that pierced his heart. It was made of love. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, it's a good message for little girls. I don't know what you're complaining about. And yeah, I guess oh, that's bizarre too. I mean, and we'll talk about it in the Wonder Woman 84, but this is supposed to be like a girl empowerment thing. Some people say, but what bizarre messages it would send to little girls, you know? Yeah. It's kind of like if you got your morals from Batwoman, you'd be oh, no. like a monstrous, <laughs> horrible person. <laughs> I watched the first few episodes of that. I laughed you. my ass off. This Why for is so once cringe. Did they just have this well, you might be in luck because we <laughs> all of them. Oh, someone in yes. chat, you legend, you posted the exact timestamp that Shad was talking about. So I'm gonna, I can't. So you guys are gonna have to pull up the stream if you want to see this this specific clip. But I will play it for a. Uh, for the stream a sec. Oh, I'm not missing this. I'm back. Hold up, I almost had the time same too. So many better guys. <laughs> I'll just Go make on, sure I get it right. This guy, how about him? You know, this is tough for like, I, I gotta want... nail this for copyright too. Okay, here we oh, go. Oh yeah. Let's uh, take a look here. Right. See what this is. Ready chat? Here it is. You. Why for once can't I just have this one thing, Steve? This one thing. She doesn't fucking move her eyes or uh, <laughs> your eyebrows. They stay still. It's usually her mouth is doing it. But uh, uh, I want to find other oh, examples. Oh yeah. Well. But yeah. From like her. Yeah. From the for upper lip, up. It's just the same thing. Like her mouth has to open just so she could speak. But that's kind of just out of biological necessity. Her face moves. But that's about it. And her tone of voice is just so like. Ugh. There's a well, better what's the one than that. Line from uh, Justice League. Yeah, I'm gonna says, I'm, like... I'm gonna bring that one up now. There's two from Justice League that are absolutely legendary. They're just the mark of a true actor. Just give me a sec. When they're in the warehouse, talking about resurrecting Superman. Do do do. Ah. 
people. Countless more. We don't have time for a control. One sec. Is it a risk? <laughs> yes, but it's necessary. Why? Because of your. Oh. Everyone knows this one. I'm pretty sure Ralph the Movie Maker made a big highlight of this one. All right, if everyone, if you're ready, I'm gonna play it right now as well. Countless more. Oh boy. We don't have time for a control group. Is it a risk? Okay. Yes, but it's necessary. Why? Because of your guilt. <sighs> <laughs> So bad. <laughs> oh, that's uh, yikes! <laughs> oh, you could tell she was told what to say. And she what did said, she say there? I had it muted. Why? Because of your guilt. Hmm. Okay, oh, yeah. I have a theory. <laughs> I've, I think I've. I may have the answer that solves all of this. That okay. unriddles this enigma. I think that Gal Gadot can't actually speak English. <laughs> <laughs> she has to. She has been given all of her lines and she pronounces them phonetically like right. the Indian dude in Temple of Doom who says, you must go to Bangkok Palace and that, like that. Right. I think that's just Gal Gadot. Yeah. She only speaks Hebrew. I have found the other famous line. I will play this one and then we'll just start talking again. Okay. There's three examples chat. That means we're, we're good at what we do. Kalel, no. Oh, no. God. <laughs> Galel, no. That's, that's like best Jeez. of the worst movie kind of acting right there. Oh, oh. That's great. I'm sure she's a great oh, person. Goodness gracious. I just, it's, I laugh whenever oh. she acts, okay? Man, it is a good oh, thing you're hot. That someone that bad at acting was able to go so far in Hollywood. That's like, I mean, it also reveals the sad fact you don't need much talent to be successful in Hollywood these days. You just need something else. That's to be fair, she has different talents, just not acting, which is strange for an actress, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we just got done watching Batman and Robin on, on the Moolah channel, and. Arnie's abilities as an actor are thoroughly engaging. I just wish she was as engaging. Honestly, yeah. They could team up. I'm guessing I, are you a fan Wonder of Woman. Twins? The movie Twins with him and Danny DeVito? I I've, I've, I know I like it. I just haven't seen it in ages. I, I like you it. You should too, watch it yeah. again. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> He's on Ironically. He's pretty good in that one, too. I keep getting Twins and Junior mixed up. What's Junior? He's Arnie's pregnant. <laughs> 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 uh, of course. Yeah. I can't remember how it happens. Uh, if it's like magic or like, I don't know. Okay. I'll be on. Oh shit! Wrong cover. Uh, I lied. I want to do one more. Just one more. And fucking screwed up my th stupid EFAP. Uh, this is when her friend and mentor of her entire life is dying. All right, you ready for this this level of emotion? Just <laughs> oh, I, I've got it in slow mo as well, slightly. No. Oh, no. can't come back. Are you still <laughs> just enjoying her incredible? Quick, don't shoot that one, white guy with a gun. No. <laughs> no. Uh. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> You just gotta sell it, you know? No! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! And Chris no. Pine's rifle has more emotion than her. I just, I, I wouldn't <laughs> want to understate. Chris Pine nails it in the Antiope. movie. Yeah. Antiope. <laughs> Antiope. Which sounds oh, like uh... Opie, who is my aunt. Oh. Well, hopefully she's a better actress than Gal Gadot. Gadot. Uh, Gadot. She almost statistically certainly is. Yeah, <laughs> it seems like it would be likely. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I guess we've established she's not very good, uh, which is a great help toward the Wonder Whammon films to start with when your pro tag is got poopy acting. But what are you going to do? <laughs> um, what else were we talking about with the first Wonder Woman? We we're trying to skim over the bigger parts that we can get to 84. We're just trying to let it be known um, we weren't fans. Because um, we know there is... Because um, we do have a... A, a version of us watching it that'll come out for EFAT movies. Yep, soon. Within the week, probably. Yeah. Same for 84. Can, can we agree that we sh she would be naive to like the nuance of how the Western world 
operates because she lives on an island and the only thing she would hear about it is like whatever she was told in storybooks or whatever but, but then there's a but there's an inconsistency in like how well she knows that thing about the the civilization but she doesn't know this thing yeah exactly. like she should you just know answered your own question pretty much yeah <laughs> right yeah like she wouldn't be but she might not be that clued into like traffic laws you know yeah but right. she'll know what a watch is right yeah and just it should have been major for her to be like apparently according to this human that's just arrived there's a war happening right now where loads of people are dying she makes that explicit she's like men women and children are dying and it's like do you know what war is? Like, the, right. this is really weird that she's saying this. And if you want to argue that that is her position, like, that is absolutely how she feels that is her position, you're like, okay. The second she's talking more and more with the human beings of the world and finding out that there's actually other wars, and this has been going on for a long time, she should be like, whoa. Like, you this mean, is war huge. War is like a thing that happens often? Like, yeah, kind of. Yeah, like, humans war a lot. And then she's like, well, it must have all been Ares. And then it must throw it into question. It's like, so his plan has just been, he keeps perpetually, like, trying to get people to kill each other permanently, but he's just not succeeding. It's like, that's, that's what you think it is? Yeah. You think at the dawn of man, he'd have an easier time of just going around and killing, you know, Absolutely. the ancient Egyptians and the Babylonians remember and the, stuff. It'd just be easier for him. Remember the explosion he does against her when he, when he attacks her whip of truth with lightning? <laughs> I just wanted to make sure you understand the mechanics of it because I didn't want to get you confused there. Uh, so, was the, did they ever give a time frame for when Ares was allowed to enact his plan? I have because to imagine it's ancient, right? Like, yeah, so I, you'd think that the sooner he could start, the easier it would be. Like if it was like, you know, a thousand BC or whatever, when he was able to be free and Zeus was, I guess, quasi dead because Ares is that just poggers or whatever. He'd go around and he'd start just like killing everyone. He'd be like, Oh, I, I better stop them before they ruin the earth. That's mm -hmm. the crazy thing. As early as thing. I can do it, the better. His motivation is just, he just doesn't like humans. He thinks like the world is awesome and that humans are ruining it. He's hes all about climate change. <laughs> he's basically Poison <laughs> Ivy from Batman and Rob. Yeah. Obviously, her plan made more sense. Just, you know, just saying. <laughs> His one was weird. It was like, I'm going to wipe off humans really slowly and ineffectually. Uh... Also, I'm the reason that they have war, but also not. It's a, it's a very, it's jumbled. What is the message of love, Wonder Woman? Love uh, beats all, I think. Love, 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 oh. love, love. That's nice and generic. Yay. Just love. Well, remember, Steve says okay. uh, you, something like, you've got to believe in something, when she she's like, what's the point if everyone's just evil anyway? And then, and then at the end of the film, she says, I believe in oh, love. Oh, yeah, she has that. She turns into like a nihilist really quick. <laughs> <laughs> well, then she That's, says, I believe in love. That was bizarre. And he delivers his very famous and powerful line, I will destroy you. Uh, <laughs> it's particularly effective. Put it on his tombstone. That's what he, yeah, I will destroy you. <laughs> he lies, Ares, son of Zeus. The quotations, I will, I will destroy, destroy you. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one villain that I think was worse than him for dialogue, and that's uh, Yellow Jacket from Ant-Man. If you guys have, remember, his dialogue was like, I am going to disintegrate you as they're fighting, and then he's like, I am going to kill everything you love. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh no. <laughs> Yellow jacket, no. Another bug-themed villain. Oh, no. I think people argue, though, that he's, like, partially insane, so there's that. I can't remember if the yellow jacket makes him insane. Um, like the jacket itself? Oh, yeah, someone in chat just said he was legit insane, so at least he was fun. It's like, yeah, I think we had to deal with, it was like a Green Goblin situation? I can't remember. But, uh, yeah, but do you know how much he sacrificed? <laughs> I can say it all. Yeah, it's actually a pretty, uh, pretty fun villain was Pedro Pascal in Wonder Woman 84. Oh yeah, he I guess. Was. Is there anything else you want to say about Wonder Woman? Or should we just leave it for when they see Wonder our... Wonder Woman was just bad. Our video, our EFAP video will be out where we managed to combat the incredible boredness of uh, laughing at it. of the video. You know, someone I guess I want to highlight mm -hmm. is this is what leads us to the Amazonians getting involved in human history, right? Is American who works for Britain goes on secret mission to base where Ludendorff and his men are working on something spooky. He walks into open door, grabs secret notebook, runs away on airplane, blows up partial part of the base, 
and then the next we see him, he is at the border of the Amazonian shield, and literally about ten minutes behind him are a whole series of German, like a a, a German armada somehow. I not I don't know I don't know what like how they could have kept up with him or where the other uh, biplanes would be that would be chasing him probably. Oh, that plane he had must it had a lot of fuel. Yeah, yeah, no refueling required, and he and he crash lands. Then the Germans discover that like he's like, whoa, what a crazy world I'm in. And then the Germans are like, whoa, this is a crazy world. It's constant sunlight apparently because it's dark where we are and it's light in there. Unless Zeus just installed a uh, an out of sync sun system inside the Amazonian bubble. Either way, they they get in there and they're like, whoa, there's a bunch of cosplayers on an island, and then they start shooting them. <laughs> And uh, it's like, why? Okay. Why are you shooting them? <laughs> Look, women, kill them. We're Germans, we're evil. Women. Kill those women. We are the patriarchy. Patriarchy. Do you remember Rags? One of their, their ships are just falling over in the background in that scene. Like, Metal was laughing his ass off at it at the end of the you just You just see one of their ships has fallen over in the background. Wait, I, I didn't even catch that. That's really funny. Um, I don't know if the implication is supposed to be that they hit some like rock, but uh, I'll try and get the uh, the image for you now. But um, that whole starting drama that the whole film is based on, like in terms of plotline, is hilariously stupid. And you just wonder what would have happened if the Germans just arrived and they were like, "Hey, so um, what is this place? Who are you people? <laughs> Clearly, it's Americans." You know, it's not a good sign when the, like the secret place that no one knows exists is done better in Black Panther than it is in Wonder Woman. Like, is yes, it? Uh, well, I mean, I think it is because there's, I don't think there's so. nothing to indicate why no one has discovered it earlier. Like, it's what like, Wakanda. But don't they both have the same kind of bubble thing, like magic bubble that you can't see it from the well, outside? Well, the Black Panther one is a one plus and a con. supposedly in like the middle of a continent and like surrounded by like dense rainforest and everything, and the other one is just in the middle of the Mediterranean, which everyone has been traveling for. Oh, it just falls mm, over. Right. It's like slowly falling because, of course, it's gone by the end of this scene. So oh, I don't know shit. if the implication like, is you it think just... that Germans would have sent a whole shit ton of. <laughs> Like warships here. They're like, what happened to that fucking destroyer we sent to chase that plane? Like, no one came back. Holy shit. Is there like a British army there or something? Man, we need to go send scouts to investigate. Something's up over there. And when everyone was getting killed, do you think even one of them was like, okay, we need to leave? <laughs> like, get someone needs to. Because they all just arrive on the beach and start having it's this like, full battle. It's so. Yeah, all of these women with bows and arrows are inexplicably beating all of our trained soldiers with modern firearms. We need to, <laughs> like, leave, I guess. They clearly have some magic or plot protecting them. We need to, yeah, uh, we need are, to train Aren't more. they super strong, though? The... That doesn't matter. Um, I don't oh. think, yeah, because it takes one bullet to kill any of them, so... That's yeah, true, right, okay. strength isn't gonna do much against a bullet if you're still vulnerable to it. Like, you'll need something else, like... Yeah, your arrows are a little better, I guess. you survive bullets. Like, this guy Whoa. here, like, this woman just made it all the way to the boats, and you're just like, how, how did... It's, it's just kind of crazy. This whole thing, I was like, oh my god. How Wait, someone are the, the women, ladies some, alive? Someone in the chat said the island, the location is undisclosed. The island can shift its location over both land and time and remains undetectable what? from the what? perspective land of any outside Was that, was was that in the film? I don't know. No, so it was that. not. Oh my goodness. Then how did Steve Trevor find it? Luck? Yeah, it was just coincidence. Yeah, he crash landed. Which is, it just makes it even more coincidental because the island isn't always there waiting to be discovered. It's phasing oh, out of space and time. You guys to appreciate oh, that according to here. Wikipedia. <laughs> oh, the, the, the Wonder Woman wiki. Yeah. Do you remember the this WWW part? Gal Gadot? Where the mentor is running to jump onto a shield, bounce up, and fire three arrows at three people who are about five meters to her back. There's two Germans right in front of it, too. I don't think we, we see what happens to either. Look at the one that's aiming right at it. That one's not going to uh, be relevant. Soon. Well, I mean, he's, it, they're fine. I mean, I'm just happy to see a. I'm just happy to see somebody in a movie use cover. Oh, maybe she does kill them, right? She surprised them. She's jumped right over them, and then well, of course she couldn't surprise them. They were staring at her. No, no, they miss. They miss. They, oh, they, they miss when shoot, she was running and straight at them. They do indeed miss. But then the three dudes who were like. They've already just realized she's doing this, and then they all get shot. Down they go. Epic scene, by the way. Oh, this is very epic. 
How does how how if her bow is angled like that? Could the arrows? That's fine. But yeah, they just. Chad, die. you can oh, fire no. three arrows at once, right? <laughs> well, you can, but it um, splits the power of the bow shot into three separate arrows. So if they're not wearing armor, it'd still probably be lethal. But in terms of m measuring the split accurately, uh, yeah, that's going to be really rough. And if she wanted them to split horizontally, she would have needed to have held her bow horizontally by holding it at an angle like that. They would have split vertically as well and thrown everything off. Oh no! Why are you nitpicking? <laughs> oh, thank goodness Chris Pine shot the guy who shot her immediately after. But those two that were hitting, hi hitting, hiding behind the big rock thing. I don't know what happened to them. They didn't show up again. I Maybe they, they're the still there. They got shot change. by arrows. They can like face the. No, the, the three other the three time. other dudes got shot by arrows. The two I'm talking about behind this rock. I don't know what happened to them. Oh, <laughs> they died. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, they got killed by uh, spears. I will say, when you slow mo it, it's like ten times as cool. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> so, are they all I, super powered like Wonder Woman is? I think so, but but remember, yeah, they find it shocking that um, Wonder Woman can heal so fast. They're like, whoa. Yeah. Like, They're sort of in between humans. Oh, see, they are the ones behind the think. rock. The two Wait. that are behind the rock, there's actually three. She jumps over the rock. Oh, that's the perspective? <laughs> Holy yeah. shit. I got that completely wrong. I thought she was yeah, firing she... at a completely... Because uh, of the angle. What is that guy looking at right there on the left? What the fuck's he looking at? <laughs> she shoots one guy in the back from the side. Who is this? Who's oh my this god! Pardo looking motherfucker. My my mind has been blown. I I didn't see it the way she's jumping. I thought there's never going to be enough distance for it to clear to be able to shoot anything other than straight down. No, she jumps so far up. Yeah, she she, she really does. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. I I never oh, even registered that logistically. I thought that would be an impossibility, so it couldn't have been. <laughs> All right, fair enough. <laughs> Can I just? <laughs> I think we were highlighted all kinds of faces. That's the important part here. Okay. I, I really hate slow motion, like 99% of the time. <laughs> His <in> face. <laughs> I think yeah, most right. of the time you, you slow motion is used, it's meant to be like, oh, look how cool this is. Like, there are certain circumstances where I can accept it, where it's like, okay, it's showing you, like, the perspective of somebody who has like super speed or whatever, and this is how they perceive time. Well, it also time. helps for an emotional moment to let you drink it in a bit more than it probably lasted, like if someone gets shot. That's true. Yeah, I don't mind it in those cases. Yes. Maybe they also, did it. Also, just to point out, with those arrow shots before, only one might have been an instant kill if it hit his heart. The other ones, arrows don't kill people instantly unless it's in a, like a really vital organ, like. You can still do a lot with an arrow stuck in you, especially if you're holding a rifle. It's, I just find it funny in films that, I mean, the only film that actually, one of the only ones that come to memory that did it right was Lord of the Rings and Boromir. Like, he tanked heaps and he was still going, right? Yeah. But in so many other films, one arrow and they drop instantly. Like, everyone Legolas shoots, basically, except when he's an insane or a guy who wants to blow something up. Then he doesn't die. But all the other guys drop with one arrow. Just annoying. <laughs> um... <laughs> Someone asked me to mention it's like the surprise is not more coverage over like Ares just killed all the other gods. It's like, yep. Yeah, he just <laughs> killed them all because he's just he's that baller. He's a fucking crazy legend, right? Yeah, but he's the god of war. It's like, yeah, but I still feel like all of the other gods would be able to, you know. And, and, and Zeus made uh Diana to kill Zeus, uh, Ares, right? But it seems to me that it's less to do with her and more to do with her um her her uh, braces. This because... sounds like so. Wait, Zeus created Diana to kill Ares. Well, eventually, he, as it's described, he created the God Killer for whenever Ares should rise again. And we find out it's not the sword; it's actually Diana. She is the God Killer. Wow! Why didn't she make a man? Why didn't he make a dude? Why? Why can't he make a woman? What's wrong with you? What the fuck? I mean, you sexism? can, but it's, you just think that if you were, you know, all things being, you know, otherwise equal, you'd you'd make a guy who's buffer and stronger. Mm, I and guess. Magical well, too. if she can use the power of love to kill, maybe it he is. You wouldn't just... be so fucking moody. <laughs> the 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 part that I find fucking strange about all of it is just that uh, you'd think, uh, like like it's more to do with 
more mechanics than just the power of love slash reflecting his lightning into him with her greaves. I, I don't understand, or braces, sorry. I don't understand how any of that makes any sense. But then again, I guess a lot of people say that's just, that's the third act, even though it's the whole film. Um, also, hi, CJ, how you doing? <laughs> Hello, are we talking about women? The first Wonder Woman. As little as possible. We're jumping over. The first woman. We're talking about the, the second woman. Wonder Woman soon enough. Just covering the wider things that I think are dumb oh, about the first enough. one, I guess. So, all of, so he's kind of like, a, so that Z Zeus is kind of like um, Vought, right? Where they made their, their contingency for, um, I almost said Highlander, Homelander, was <laughs> that they, after the fact and much later, make a kid to maybe one day kill him potentially there was nothing else they could have done that was that was their plan that's what zeus's plan was yeah i mean zeus that was zeus's last breath was spent doing that apparently because yeah Ares fucked maybe him up he had too. some really great clay because that's how the the the, the uh, amazonians are made right with clay yeah magic clay yeah, no problem with that right we all i guess he had the, the he had the fucking the best dirt oh, and yeah. he was saving it for he one incredible her. individual but you think he would have told? Why didn't he tell like uh, somebody? Because if she died by accident and they didn't spend a lot of time specifically training her and protecting her, then she could have like a boating accident and just like die. Do you remember the part of the film where the spies who aren't supposed to be doing what they're doing stand up to take a photo? <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, they all take a photo. Yeah, it's important. Oh, because she oh, needs the seeing photo this fucking end. hurts me so much. How yeah. much? There's no character. None of these people are characters. The in caricatures. Like the yeah, they're like the these these people aren't people. They're the concepts of people, maybe. Like the sniper guy with potential PTSD. He doesn't kill anyone. He never does anything. Well, we see him shooting the gun <laughs> at the end because he's the one who says, "I'm out of ammo." Remember, and it's the it's the sad <laughs> moment of we've got no more ammo. We're done for. And then you were like, "Just oh. run." <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but the, and but, the Native American guy, he straps a bunch of grenades to his tomahawk, and he throws it, and then it explodes on a bridge, which accomplishes nothing, I don't think, but... Uh, it blows something up, you know. It blows a little... this, yeah, right here. He's about to throw his tomahawk grenade bundle. I'm trying to remember where it is. It's around you somewhere. There's it loads was, of CGI was, in this was, bit that's really awkward. Yeah, mm. I think it was shortly after um, uh, you have the... Uh, that scene where they were leaning around the corner. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got it. Here we go. And then they move forwards. Yeah, he throws this grenade, and it explodes. That's not how grenades work, by the way. <laughs> That's The grenades don't do that. <laughs> yeah, he strapped um, a bunch of grenades to a tomahawk and, and fucking then he hell. fucking sidearms that shit. It sticks into the bridge. It, oh, wait, does he <laughs> shoot it with his shotgun to set it off? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think so, yeah. Oh. I assumed... Of, I, I think reasonably that he with. armed the, the grenade before he threw it, so that the, it would explode one of the without needing CGI to be. Moments, that that little bit there. There's another one coming up now. When she um does the group attack, where she's just going around, Wonder Woman confuses me, like in terms of what her weaknesses are exactly. Because even in the second movie, they're like, when she's depowered, bullets hurt her. It's like bullets hurt her in this movie when she's not depowered. So I don't know what what's going on there. Does she even have a weakness, like a kryptonite sort of thing? Uh, well, she can be hurt. She like uh, a German <laughs> bullet, like a bullet, a her. bullet could like go through her skin. Right? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. she just blocks every bullet with those bracers, which has always so bothered me. She seems to block them without yeah. even realizing she's blocking them. She like magnetizes to them. Right. In terms of Wonder Woman's weaknesses, in the original comic, she had a weakness to bondage. If you tied her up. Oh no. Well, I think everyone has a weakness to that. <laughs> I think if you I tie anybody up, they, yeah, it weakens them. Yeah, they, they retconned it though, but uh, I'm pretty sure that was like one of her OG weaknesses. Wait, so it's a good thing no one's been shooting her. Scenes. Well, this is the thing; this... she kind of sucks, and she relies on a lot of luck in her fights of people just not because I think we've we've pointed this out before. But the braces being essentially Beskar, like we've already talked about Mando's coverage, but at least Mando's got co covering. You know, like we agree, like 60 ish percent. Who's this covering it's, what? We're, like 5 percent, 10, 15, so 10? Well, th if it hits her breastplate ish armory area, does that stop bullets? I guess we don't so. See it. But I, I don't know like if we, we yeah, only, I can't remember yeah, if we've seen we that. see that. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's only the bracers and the lasso, apparently. 
<laughs> well, in um, in, yeah. in Justice League, you know when that scene where they're all all the civilians are like lined up on a wall and the guy's about to shoot them. Instead of just going for the guy with the gun, she runs past all the civilians, blocking oh, all man. the bullets I, with her braces. I'm so which... excited to show Rags Justice League. He still hasn't seen it. That scene oh, is I a watched great it one. for the first time the other day. You're in for a treat, Rags. Yeah. Oh boy, I oh from what I've heard, oh Only it must be uh, it must be some magical. I hear what? so much. I, I still think 88 is worse, but it's bad. Um, you you think Wonder Woman 84 is worse than... Worse than Justice League, yeah. Yeah? Oh, boy. Well, because I have heard that Wonder Woman, the first one, is the best of the DCEU, and it was horrible. <laughs> so I am, I am very excited to see what we have in store for me. It's, I'm, I'm very excited. Yeah. In terms of Wonder Woman's power levels, you're right, it's so damn inconsistent. Because, like, if bullets can graze her, that means she has to be vulnerable to some level of damage, right? But doesn't she take a headbutt from Superman in Justice League? Like, Yeah, but you know how, you know how women are. Because <laughs> they can <laughs> take headbutts? <laughs> like, oh, they're so damn inconsistent. And 84, Wonder Woman 84 is just that times it a hundred they, oh, they can't be consistent with oh, with how naive God. diana is in the first one and how stupidly she behaves throughout both films i can believe she has an insanely thick skull try to get anything through that head of hers <laughs> <laughs> what else is there the uh the, the, oh, the i got something real quick so at the end of that fight that you're just showing where there's one sniper left in the tower Right. Oh yeah. Uh, our sniper can't get a good shot of him. So what does Wonder Woman do? She destroys wait, the tower. Wait, wait, wait. But before that, do you remember how this scene starts or this sequence starts? Is we think it's all over, and then the German sniper just randomly shoots a civilian. Like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> None of like, the soldiers. Okay, I guess. None of the people. They're fighting. like enemy combatants out there. You wouldn't want to give away your position by shooting some random civilian if there are enemy soldiers it makes, around. It's so no childish. Yeah. It's like he's an evil sniper, and he's he evil. He has to wait his turn as well. He obviously we yeah. don't we don't know about him yet, but he's like first person you shoot, not Wonder Woman, not Steve Trevor, not any of the enemy soldiers. You look at this. Look at this view. This is perfect. This was his view, and he decided to shoot the random civilian. <laughs> Also, all of these train like Steve, right? He's a trained soldier. You see someone get shot by a sniper. Your instinct is to stand perfectly still where you are <laughs> in the open, looking around for where the shot came from. Yeah. Like, you know, as you do. Well, well, to be fair, maybe the sniper was farming for XP. Uh, well, he wouldn't. Oh, I... yeah. Civilians are still <laughs> they're only worth half as much. But man, they're just free kills. I mean, you, you can say no to that. You, you know what? He misses Germans... that. Second Germans shot. are inherently evil, okay? They see yeah. an innocent yeah. person. It's like, oh, I gotta shoot that German guy. Bad. Damn, nice That's shot from Steve as well. Yeah, this... Why is the pistol and back in Instead of just someone pistol. going up the stairs of the tower to go shoot him or throw a grenade in there or something, or like you know, insane. waiting to get a good shot, they destroy the church tower. Yeah, the and everyone at the end of it, all the civilians who like live in this town are like, Oh yay, yay. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, so Can this we, I am um, just... Can we just talk about how exposed the sniper was in that shot? It's With like the, the giant leaning. open window, yeah. Yeah. It's um. And I guess this guy he can shoot him, but he just doesn't. Yeah, he's got mm. the, the, the all the set is too... PTSD, I guess. He's just yeah, he's just too he can't do it, which is prime candidate for bringing along on this mission. The sniper, oh. who's he's a really they they bank it how he's actually a really good shot, even though he's a heavy drinker because you know heritage, but he never does anything. He doesn't do yeah, they, anything. This is it's the whole paying lip service to a, an idea, but it's not anything. They didn't make anything of it. And the, um, and the Indian guy, he's got this cool ass repeater, this lever action that doesn't fucking do anything with that. It's just so all of these people are wasted. They might as well not be here. <laughs> that so, face. That's so, us watching Wonder Woman eighty four. Yeah. <laughs> so this scene I'll, is I'll nuts. Love because he's got the courtyard is all the sniper's view. They all run out there. And, and by the way, they say they say cover cover me, I guess. And it's like who's covering? Nobody shoots anything in this point. It's like who's covering you and how? And you're all dead. There's no way. Yeah. But luckily for also, them, bullet the second they right? pick up, well, Wonder Woman, yeah. But I'm talking about the 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 lads here. The second they pick uh, up this big steel door thing, it gets shot at. It's just like oh, the sniper just oh, missed him. It's like okay. I guess he waited. Yeah. <laughs> he waited long enough. Yeah. 
And, uh... Yeah, th this is the plan. We're going to pick up this big old thing and Wonder Woman's going to bounce off it into the building. And it's funny because you might think to yourselves, like, oh, she's going to jump right in through the window and then kill the guy specifically. You're like, there's problems with that already. But no, it's much more funny. She <laughs> jumps and she reaches the room and then it just fucking detonates. <laughs> I'm not even 100% <laughs> clear on how. Like, it is insane. Look at that look. shot. Oh, she just crushes, and and you know if there were some people in that church down below, oh. I mean, hopefully the whole thing doesn't collapse. If you know there are people hiding behind the church or around the sides of the church, getting killed by rel, don't worry about it. It's fine. We'll chalk it up to collateral. We'll say the Germans did it. Anyone will believe that. <laughs> no worries. And they're just like, yay! That might have been like a <laughs> five hundred or seven hundred year old exactly. church that the community revered and was their center of their community. Yeah, fuck exactly. it. The most like, why did you not just punch that one guy? By the way, guys, I don't know if you knew this, but boob armor is problematic. I read it from Ar Anita Sarkeesian, apparently. It was in regard well, to patron Mandalorian, I think. I Dude, Shad, Shad personally slapped her down on that one. He made uh... oh, oh, I did <laughs> His video I... was shared abound her tweets. <laughs> <laughs> that video's had a million views as well, by the way. Like, oh, people, oh, wow. They wanted to know. Like, that's, that's what I'm saying. I'm now the patron saint of Boob Armor, and I hold I'm the Herald of Christmas. Yeah. Congratulations, Chad. There, there are worse things to be. <laughs> it's weird because when I first saw the pictures of the Lady Lady Lorians in the um in Lady the Lorian. show, like I saw the armor and I was like, yeah, that looks yeah, that looks yeah. like it's comfy. Looks like it's pretty good. Yeah, it's, I don't have any issues with that. And of course, Anita, no it displays of femininity are not allowed and Toxic. until they are and they should be encouraged but not here yeah i, I if women it's are gonna worse. wear armor i think they want boob armor they don't want their boobs fucking mushed I'm, in yeah to their torso that's that seems like it would be i can imagine if i had a big old set of knockers on my chest then i wouldn't want to have them smooshed up all the time i'd want to yeah have something that especially in star wars land and you have all this stuff like custom made for you you'd want to get your you know your chest measured so that you have armor that gives yourself ample room for your memories <laughs> it just seems like it's logical and comfortable and plus it yeah. looks cool it looks good it looks feminine mm -hmm. it looks form-fitting it looks good but it is yep, a bit if sexist, it, if it looks feminine if it looks remotely feminine that means it's objectification and it's yeah. sexist. You failed. Uh, I can't also... decide if Anita is a sex positive or sex negative feminist. It's very confusing. <laughs> I don't know what she is. Maybe it's just it's just it it billows in the wind. I don't think her position is consistent. Yes, you're right. Yeah. yeah. So should we talk? I feel about... like she's a, I feel like she's like a con artist. Hmm. She's not a very good yeah. artist, though. 10,000 bucks to open a Discord. I mean, who could say no to that? Uh, so th this is the scene. You know, everyone, as, as Fringy mentions in our recording, is considered the best scene almost in not only the DCEU, but possibly in superhero movies. It's up there. It's one of the best scenes ever. It's when she crosses no man's land. Uh, Rags, what did you think of it? Very silly. I think I laughed a bunch. I thought it was the dumbest shit ever. Damn. Like, how have you not been riddled with a hundred bullets yet? Well, because she has a shield. No, it's not on her. No, but... but no, well, like, it's on her back, has but she has facing a shield. the friendly people. But, uh, wait, check out this bullet. This'll get her. Oh, man, that went far. <laughs> then, ba-boom. Also, it doesn't drop at all. No. In fact, it seems to be going up. <laughs> it is a perfectly straight line, because bullets are not affected by gravity. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, I you'd think that yeah, you think you'd be really good at sniping with the, those Call of Duty bullets that never drop. Yeah, and of course, um, all of our heroes are really surprised that she's able to do this because uh, wow, yes, how is can, it? Yeah, they can join the club. How is it you can be in no man's land for this long and only have two bullets fired at you? That is incredible. That's what they're yeah. actually shocked at, not her blocking them. <laughs> uh, hang, hang on, is there nothing to be said for it being a bit? of harmless cinematic wish fulfillment you take something like the world war one which was obviously fucking horrific and terrifying for everybody involved who was actually in the trenches like if the the idea that you would actually have a super the hero there helping you out and having that moment depicted in a cinematic but why form. can't we do it well and 
and the whole There's reason that. she's well, up hold, there is hold because... on hold on how, how do you do it well do, is it just that it's slow motion or that no you uh, just make it reasonable like... that she could survive the scenario she gets it pelted by like a thousand bullets and she just stands there it's uh hmm. it's it's cartoonish yeah, and if it's anything, really dumb. I could argue it undermines the struggle that this was, and watching someone just trance their way through no man's land because they have special braces and a shield is frustrating. Right. Yeah, like, I, I, I don't remember the whole scene. Does she like she holds her shield up and then there's like a turret that fires at her or something? Well, like there that? are many machine guns all fire at her shield. And she blocks mortars and just like everything. She knocks them aside and they explode next to her and she's fine. Right. Yeah. Does to many, do many Germans are shooting at her. Multiple machine guns are unloading on her shield. And it's like, it's cartoonish. Right. I'm not even clear. Like, what is the shield made of? Is, is there a, is there, is there a, uh, Amazonian metal? That is, I guess. Cause holy shit. That's <laughs> tanking a lot of bullets. Um, yeah, it's never made explicit that it's a special just, yeah. shield, but... And these and poor, in, like, you know, I don't know if this is a hot take, I don't think it will be with rags at least, but like, these poor guys, they're fighting their side of the war. Unfortunately for yeah. you, the Brits have a superhero, so you get fucked. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately. <Okay. laughs> While World War I would be the perfect, like, kind of war slash setting to break Wonder Woman out of her naivety about good and evil, Whereas, like, which side's evil? It's like, eh, which side's good? Yeah, it's not really, it's it kind of, yeah, it's kind of shit, you know? And that, that kind of wakes her up and breaks it. No, this this film is very, goes out of their way to be like, yeah, the Germans are evil. Just lame. The Germans are the bad guys. Um, because what's cool about Captain America's arc in Marvel is that he was generated as a pro-America icon in the storyline. And then as time goes on, he's way more about the individuals rather than any groups at all. Because all of his right. innocence getting torn away film by film. Yeah. Um, Wonder Woman's just an idiot and continues to be one. <laughs> You're just a big Look like at this. The, the, yeah. Our team just pop up and... and <laughs> oh. Just walking around. God. <laughs> like, we you can eat, 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 eat. They don't give a yeah, shit. All the Germans forget about them. <laughs> I'll shoot them with my shotgun. Don't worry, guys. They also there's this He's weird aspect where um, they try and make it so too. Wonder Woman never explicitly kills any German soldier up until there's a, there's certain moments where you're like, okay, they have to be dead from what you just did. But like this whole scene, because I was I was looking at it in the editing out of curiosity. Steve shoots a bunch of them. Some of the other guys throw grenades. The whole line gets cleared, and Wonder Woman doesn't, like I said, explicitly kill any German. She only throws one and breaks a machine gun. Um, I'll show it now because it's it's really interesting to think about. I think they just didn't want to show her kill any of them because they, you know, they're people too. I guess. <laughs> yeah, here we go. All right. So she runs up to this little like turret area. She grabs one, pushes him over, hits that machine gun, and then it's over to the the lads shooting them. And then she's like, "Steve, we gotta go to the next area." And it's like, "Wow, you cleared it all out. Nice." Yeah. They. Yeah. There you go. She she fucks up that machine gun. Uh, she walks around. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think you have to take and, a hell of a lot more care than this when you want to portray, like, the struggle that was World War One trenches and No Man's Lad instead of just being like, lol, she yeah, ran through. Whimsical. And also, um, the whole reason that she's doing that is um, to get because she, like, heard something randomly from someone about how the Germans were taking slaves. Yeah. Even uh, though they had this yeah. mission to stop the gas from killing everybody. She's like, nah, nah guys, we'll this see is more important. Because I'm cynical, I think they threw that in so that we could justify that she's on team good guys and not team obviously evil guys who take slaves. Like, oh yeah, they they take oh, slaves. Yeah. They 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 happily just randomly will shoot a civilian standing around. It's yeah, the Germans are evil. The horrible, terrible general with his death gas and Doctor Poison. Like, <laughs> okay, all right, I get, I get, I get <laughs> it. I am, okay, I get who the bad guys are. Film, I. I understand. I pick up what you're setting down. Well, can we, uh, I'm trying to get this scene now, but do you remember the one, Rags? Well, we were all, because she, every time she slashes with his sword, she's like either hitting guns or breaking guns. She's only ever hitting people. She's very, very Batman, I guess. Um, you just, you'd find it almost impossible that she's not killing any of them. But then there's this one dude, I'm trying to get to it, because it's, uh. It's kind of weird how Ares gave them like gas when he should have been like, "Yeah, I'm gonna give you artillery. It's way more deadly than gas ever was." All right here we go. 
that guy is dead. <laughs> oh yeah, she fucks people up in these cabins and these buildings. Yeah, that dude's <laughs> even when we were playing yeah. when we were watching it, I was like, Yeah, that dude's dead. That student is fucking dead is in pieces. Um but hey, he was German. It's fine. He was German, so he wasn't really a person. Uh, he was just an evil demon who needed to be killed. And almost everything guy. we've talked about so far is in the first two acts of the movie. It's almost like the whole. I was gonna say we don't even. Good. We did talk about well, yeah, a lot of the third act stuff. Do we even need to mention that? Everyone seems to agree that third act is dreadful. Yeah. So. Yeah, it was the terrible. controversial opinion. If anything, is that the first two acts aren't very good either. No. <laughs> Watching oh, yeah, this again, I'm just up with what she did with what she did to that stone church when she charged into it. Yeah, that dude's fucking dead. <laughs> 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 it's just funny that they pretend that You're... like no, it's fine. <laughs> like, it's... No, like she didn't stab him, he so he's my blunt trauma never killed anyone, guys. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't remember this film at all. Shad, if you're talking, we can't hear you. No, 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 no. It's um, it's just because I'm not wearing headphones. So oh, okay. Think, oh, all right. Just making sure. I see the circles, but no noise. So yeah. Um, but I know people listening to this, like, please stop going after Waterworld. We'll go after Eighty Four. It's like, all right, we we can do that if you guys. Anything else you guys want to bring up before we move on to the masterpiece? No, there are uh, all will be revealed in our watch of uh, Eighty Four that was captured live on video. Yeah, both of them double feature my, like Mulan. Get my beer. Except they were both bad this time instead of it being a juxtaposition. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> um, so yeah, I figure if we if we go a little chronological, we'll do our best with Wonder Woman 84. But uh, who here is a big old fan of the DC continuity, meaning you kept an eye on how this movie fits into the other ones? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I, am, I know where you're going with this, but there's something that I, I want to discuss first. Okay? Go for it. Because I, I'm wondering if anyone else has seen this. So Wonder Woman 84... I got, I got a lot to say. Okay? So it's going to be fun. It's going to be lots of, lots of fun, guys. Um, and uh, wow. All right. So uh, overall, that was incredibly dumb. On, and there are, there's a lot to talk about. There's, but there's one thing, one thing more than anything else, which is just, just I, 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 I'm still in awe and shock that, that, that they had this in there. And uh, and I'm wondering if, like, to me, it's the biggest thing. And I just want to know if anyone else either has picked up on it, and if they have, if they think it's as big as what I'm thinking it is. To me, it's like... Can we have a clue? It's, okay, okay, <laughs> so, um, let me, let me, let me just, uh, let me po post a, 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 a screenshot here. Um, okay, we get to play, okay. so we get to play Guess about, the Issue. It's, it, this is the issue, this is the, this is the, like, it's about this Yeah. Guy. I think I, I think I know where yep. you're going. Oh, dude! Is it, hell yes. is it the random African dude in the back with his? <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing there? Yeah, it's like so, I'm lost. Um, please, where I didn't. Uh, where is? Uh, oh. it, it's okay because so, we need to have a conversation about this guy because this is amazing. <laughs> like, uh, I guess. Yes. I mean, do you want? Do we want to do this but chronologically, or do we want to just like jump? We should, we should build build up I think to what allows this to happen because because it's the biggest. It, like thing, it, like the worst possible thing in the movie in my mind. I think we need to discuss this first because this is this is huge. Sure. Um, all right. Uh, yeah. All I right. guess so. Sure. Mechanically, but, I just want to give okay, context. So can you pick well, out what I'm, what I'm, where I'm going? So oh, far, 100%. Just for this guy. so for the for, so there's going to be people listening to this who may not have seen 84, right? So Steve Trevor, as we were just complimenting from the previous film, he dies at the end of Wonder Woman, and so in Wonder Woman 84. There's this plot element that is introduced. It's a it's a wishing uh, a monkey's paw essentially in the form of a crystal, and um, unwittingly, both Kristen Wiig and uh, uh, Wonder Woman engage in its mechanics, and they wish for a thing. Wonder Woman wishes that Steve Trevor comes back, and um, let's just say this scene starts up where some guy is like, "Hey, Wonder Woman." And says a line that he said from the first film, and I feel like that's probably all the context you'll need before Shad may take the reins. Okay, Hold on, wh okay. what is the origin of this time travel device? Where does all right, it... the, the, we may we might want to do this chronologically because we have to establish. <laughs> I agree. I just I just want to understand how there. they traveled back in time because I don't get that part. Okay, wait, uh, Shad, are you yeah, willing? Are you willing to wait before jumping onto this? <sighs> I, I agree. Just, I know. It's a huge issue, but I do feel like we have I to set up how we got here. 
But I okay. like it, it's an issue, right? But I think you guys might be they they, they do something. To... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I'm almost certain yeah, that we, we're we on your it. team with this one. I know where you're probably going with it. Uh, but uh, of course, you still I, need all of the building blocks so that people properly understand the nature of the problem. You know. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> Um, you can do it, Shad. Crap, breathe. I believe in you. Breathe. I believe in you, Shad. We can. Well, there's so many other things to talk about too, girl. Um, because I was gonna say we we'd have to start with the Amazon Olympics. Uh, okay. That is where this wonderful <laughs> film begins. All right. <laughs> Someone playing skip rope and just with. I don't even like. I'm gonna be playing clips from this film, and I'm gonna be like, He's "Oh my god, going. woohoo!" Oh my god, that happened. I forgot. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this the idea here, for those who are like, what the fuck's happening right now, is that they are doing, like I said, Amazonian Olympics, sort of. It's like a big old thing where they, they compete. Is it one from each, like, group of people? Because they seem to represent... I don't know, it, I don't it's think insane. It's just, that. it's just a bunch of Amazons, just like in this weird fucking arena, just like doing things, <laughs> doing, doing things. things randomly. Like you have, over on the left, they're just bouncing on these, these ropes up and down, and one of them's running up a waterfall, and these others are spinning around on the spinny thing, and this other one is whipping a thing with her whip, and there's just no rhyme or reason. It's like the it's like the lunatics have taken control of the asylum. Yep. It's like it's like someone left a bunch of women in charge, oh, basically. Music by Hans no Zimmer. No order. Oh. Music also, by Hans Zimmer. The soundtrack also, was I annoying do... in this film. It was. This, oh god. I would have to watch the first one again to make sure, but it does seem like they've retconned how big this island is, that this arena even exists, and there seem to be way more Amazonians than there was in the first movie. Did anyone else get that vibe? Well, or am I crazy? this was back when there was more of them, before the Germans killed them all. <laughs> <laughs> before the Germans I mean, killed We all... saw her when she was a kid. And I yeah, but like the Germans killed threes of them. Threes! <laughs> threes! <laughs> No mercy. <laughs> Germans, of course. Those pesky Germans. I didn't know I Hans Zimmer wrong, did the score. That's this. pretty cool. It's pretty sad, one. man. Hans Zimmer, like, I don't know what happened. Most of the choices for the songs in this, and the way they were... Was there any song anyone liked in this? Like, nope. I think there was, like... It's not just the songs themselves, the use of them. Um... Yeah, we'll, we'll oh, there was music that. that was worse than the songs themselves. Yeah, like there was music playing in the in the party at the Smithsonian that was, you know, just generic '80s. That wasn't too bad. Yeah. Well, they only right. had they they really and I and I guess it's a, sort of a good enough time as any, but for a film that tried to really, especially by the marketing material and the name, establish itself as Wonder Woman, but '80s. This yeah. really wasn't an 80s movie at all. There was nothing there was, 80s about it. Yeah, there no. was basically nothing that had anything to do with the 80s in it. Could have been set in any era. Except <laughs> they, they mentioned the Cold War once. <laughs> Dick Suckle! His name is Dick Suckle! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Your name's Dick Suckle! Dude. Oh, that uh, it's it's a last name. You're kind of stuck with it. Yeah, but you didn't have to name him Dick. You did. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Suckle. You didn't have to, but you did. Wait, hold on. I, I found I a picture. I don't care of oh. the abbreviated form of Richard, so that's what Rags is referring to. Oh, yeah. I Yeah, Richard, yeah. If Dick is short for Richard. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Dick yeah, Suckle. Like, For those you who know, don't know, Tracy, like, I didn't see that. That's great. Yeah, suckle. Dick suckle. Suckle is That's... such an unfortunate surname, though. Like, <laughs> fucking change it. Change Dick it. Suckle. You have the That's... power to change your yeah. last name. Fucking do it. Oh, so, so it's like Sir Richard Suckle. <laughs> <laughs> but regarding Hans Zimmer, I thought he had sworn off superhero movies. I thought he was done with them after The Dark Knight. It's a superhero movie. Did. Well, he's doing. Oh, <laughs> right. Of course. He's, he's doing uh, Lion King 2 with Pharrell Williams again. So. Oh, Wait, it doesn't oh. count superhero. You're right. Sorry. <laughs> Does Simba count as yeah, superhero? I, thought, I think so. I remember Simba him saying superhero. he was specifically done with superhero movies. He didn't want to do them anymore. You know, but the mistake of making. 2020 has been hard on us all. Wait, the... <laughs> so wait a second. So, so is yeah. this new Lion King movie? Is it going to be Lion King two but live action, or are they going to do their own thing? I imagine they do their own thing, but maybe they'll just do a live action version of the second Lion King. Yeah, I don't know. 
I they probably change it up only because not as many people remember are it. gonna go yeah, exactly. They're yeah. not gonna go ape shit at the idea of seeing that again, but with uh, yes, CGI. Kobu, Kiara, Vitani, Nuka, I don't uh <laughs> Oh, what's the evil lioness's name? Uh, Zira. I don't know. I don't know. My my sis. This was my sisters watched this all the time when they were little, over and over and over. So much so that my dad hid away the VHS and just acted like it had gone missing, and they must have misplaced <laughs> it because they watched it so fucking much. I have an intimate familiarity with Lion King Two, Simba's Pride. So you're going to be super pissed when they fail to adapt it properly to live if action. If I never see Lion King 2 Simba's Pride again, I'll die a happy doggo. Oh. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's, there's this little game going on where they're playing with a ball, I guess. Uh, but then all the champions enter the ring. It's exciting. This is what Amazonia has How been waiting for. are happening at the same time? Yeah, they've all so got little fans. Oh look, the two of them down there are hugging! Aww. <gasps> Yay, they're happy. <laughs> this is very happy. Everything's great. This is before Germany. So everything's all want... chill. So have they ever seen men before? I don't know how their world works, Ranks. I... Oh yeah, they're all women. I forgot. They're all made of clay. I didn't realize that. that until you mentioned it. Yeah. So you might find it a bit odd that um our team consists of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, fully grown women and then a, and a child and that's Diana. And it's like wait, why is <laughs> why? And it's like well, she's a prodigy. Well, and, okay. that just totally screws up the continuity of the yep. last film. Yep, like, yep, yep. Massively. I, I was watching this thinking, hang on, she 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 was like she looks younger than when she was allowed to be you know trained in the first film in this, and it's like she sucked at that age. She was getting beaten down by a trainer, and now she's like. In this one, she's an amazing prodigy. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, she was getting beat like, down by the trainer when she was like, like when she was twice 10? this age. Yeah, yeah, she looks like she's ten. So I just my brain can't accept that she beats all of these insanely buff, strong, Magical. trained adult warriors. They show shots where she's running as fast as them, and it's insane. She Doesn't she has to sense. be taking twice as many steps. <laughs> she's wonder woman you guys she was an exceptional child and also that's her mom exceptional. and she was like no you're not allowed to train you're not allowed to do all this we got to protect you from the world mm -hmm. but also yeah, yeah, you can it. compete in this event <laughs> okay, yeah. Who cares? yeah she wants to compete in the olympics show though. Her. <laughs> they literally show her in the first movie that she was untrained at an older age getting beaten down and even when she was older she was still on an equal level with the other amazonians because she didn't realize she hadn't accepted or figured out that she was strong like the whole thing about the first movie was like you're stronger than what what you are you need to embrace your powers and crap and so that was even when she was old she was still at average amazon and so this is like the biggest middle finger to continuity and i get so ticked <laughs> off when movies this, wait wait this so is the movie's biggest <laughs> middle finger to continuity <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. like i agree you with the sentiment it. but you know I that's know, right? like, <laughs> i just hate it when movies don't give a crap about the, their the, own, the continuity of their own freaking series, the previous damn movie. And they're like... Right. That's the one in the chat said. You do know she's a magical clay kid, though, right? Oh. Clay kin? <laughs> clay kid, but the, clay, <laughs> clay kin, kin, why not? Oh, I thought you said clay kin. Like, that's an other kin variant? Is that Probably. actually I'm dirt? Uh, but, yeah. Uh, the first movie's like, keep her away from all things relating to this stuff. And when she's clearly like... I want to say, like, mid to late teens, she's being trained, and her mum is like, wow, you've betrayed me by training. Like, that's one of the yep. first times she spotted doing it. Apparently she was doing this when she was, like, fucking eight years old or some that's, shit. It's like, alright. It's wild. That's stupid, yeah. I don't like that. I mean, if, if it was a different director, different writer, maybe. You know, they just forget. They just didn't watch the other one, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's probably, yeah, what it comes down to. Also, Shad, uh, commentary on their, their headwear. <laughs> well, if it was just decorative, I was like, okay, yeah, there are, there's some really dumb, weird, decorative, even ceremonial headwear of the past. And they're going to say it's some measure of protection. It's like, no. And, well, when it comes to using a tiara as like a projectile bouncy weapon, I'll, I'll have comments when we come to that. Oh, I'll, right. I'll hold on. 
hold off my comments until we get so it. This is the superior format. We won't miss a thing. We're going to go through it all. Even this ridiculous stadium that was never seen in the first movie. <laughs> like it's just... I know. Like, when I saw it, I was thinking, who built that? Uh, but look, they, the Amazons have some pretty large structures, other things. But well, they have like, it, right? half their population just master architects and builders with magic that can build impossible structures. Like, I think that's the answer to anything that doesn't seem right. It's like magic. You're like, right, right, magic. magic. Yeah. Ares uh, built it. <laughs> Before he went nuts, <laughs> it's yeah, like, even, you know, even, the, even the uh, like that you can just say, "Oh, it's magic. Who cares?" That actually undermines the main thing that Shad is mad about. But we'll, I guess we'll get there in due time. Yes, <laughs> because the idea that it's magic means that you didn't have to write it that way. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> do you, so, do you guys consider it ideological that a society of only women would create a coliseum for competitive sports? Like it's, I don't know. It just mean? seems like, I don't know. Like it, it would make more sense if it was like a, I don't want to say male centric, but just like, like what they had knitting contests. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> sexism rampant on the EFAP podcast. You think women I mean, would just a... argue over knitting? To be I fair, feel like a society of women wouldn't really gather around and work together to build something like this. Wow, yeah, a society <laughs> of women. Wow. They're, they're so, I'd like to weigh, weigh in on this. I think it would depend. I've done a done a bit of trying to research about, you know, cultural practices and, and, and gender um, roles and things like that. And there are interesting conditions that m you might be able to structure it to justify it because women can be uh, equally as competitive as men, but usually it's in different ways that are structured here by biology, but also society and stuff. Because women right. are usually competitive in different ways where men are more ex externally competitive and physically competitive, which leads to that idea that, you know, it would be more common or supposedly more common that men, it would, that men would, you know, compete physically and have tournaments and things like that. And that's usually because uh, strong, you know, physically fit men who can beat other men uh, get the chicks more often. And so that's created the competitive side of that. And you'll find that women can be viciously competitive in the realms that get the attention of men in co in on the inverse. And so women can be savage when it comes to criticizing fashion and how other, other women look and things like that, because that's almost the, the realm which over time society and also biology has made them very competitive almost naturally just through upbringing and so i think there are ways in world building you could justify uh, a way in which women could be physically competitive but you need to justify it right uh, and there'll yes. be a couple of very key things that you'd want to work with before but if you're basing it off normal gender roles based on very common interactions between men and women biologically well then yeah the, you would run into some severe contradiction yes I wasn't trying to say that women aren't competitive because yeah. I agree with what you're saying there. It's just when when you have like a coliseum that's centered around physical competition, like about physical strength or whatever. But I guess if we're dealing with a like when you're dealing with a warrior race of women, it makes more sense. I don't well, know. Well, I'm I'm curious if you had swapped out all of these Amazons and they were all men and it was just a one big brothel. If you because of if they had a society where there was never like external threats, if there was no violence, like if that was just never anything they were they had, like would even then would there be this huge emphasis on combat and, you know, warrior esque right. stuff when they never seem to ever use it in any way? Right. Because yeah, they, they, yeah, they might use it. They seem to practice for war perpetually, but there's never any war. There's yeah, never but any... there's never any war. That's the thing. Because that must be a pastime there, because the place looks boring as hell. So I, I, I guess yeah, but that on, this... on, on they expecting Ares to come back at some point in the future? So they're prepping, <laughs> they're they're prepping, prepping for, for that. And they were defeated I mean, by a group of, of German soldiers? Damn. <clears throat> Almost. Yep, anyway. I mean, the, the the absence of war and conflict in their society kind of explains in the first movie why... Uh, to Wonder Woman, the concept of war is so foreign, right? So when she goes into well, yeah. the weird Western world, she's all... just like, oh, why are people fighting each other? But then when we're here in their domain, it's like they're competing in these very physical competitive games with each other. I don't know. Which can we? Just, yeah, we never get any. Well. We don't get any sort of explanation as to why they compete in this way when it doesn't seem in any way 
like there are ways to say like all of this is based around combat to some degree the right. archery and the horseback riding so much of it centers around combat they train with spears and swords and shields and all this stuff but there's never any war right you know? yeah it's just yeah. It's, it's a strange society but, 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 but you know they're training for the potential of war in the future if that's not for isn't how whole, long, isn't like whole society just based millennia? around a warrior society i i just don't understand what the complaint is here I mean, oh, I, guess, yeah. I guess the complaint is that it's odd that this society would engage in these kinds of competitions in such a... They seem to be a race of warrior women who never fight. They're just waiting for the day, right. I guess. No, no, no. I think if, they, yeah. if there's enough ingraining and conditioning from a young age to be combat-focused, you could justify it, even if they don't go to war too often. I think it would be more common to have people Ever. fuck the trend, saying, well, why are we doing this because we never actually fight? But for the larger majority in the society, if there's enough conditioning, they could probably maintain the uh, the overall. Yeah, maybe, culture. but there doesn't ever seem to be that. It's I just mean, this is just what we do. I haven't seen the whole sequence play out. Maybe it's not about like you know uh, participants fighting with each other, rather than just like a, a demonstration of strength. Kind of. Part um, of each individual. It's very. The first portion here reminds me of like a TV show. Um, because yeah, it's like American Ninja Warrior. Yeah, you got right. However many there were, was it nine? Um, you can choose to either go straight to the rope and climb up to the platform, or you can climb to the top of this strange seesaw device and flip yourself around on it to then spring yourself up to the platform, which is kind of like so. What you just I'm playing it. What you just saw there is just nonsense, uh, <laughs> like physics wise. She's <laughs> flipping on the thing. Uh, copyright, you asshole. I can only play, like, five-second chunks at a time. Um, it's flipping right down, and it's like, the angles, they're very careful to just, you know, the power of editing, we've talked about it before, it's, it's a very wonderful charm. She, she does a backflip as it's flowing back up, when she should have been doing a backflip once it hits its um, highest point, right, before going back down, probably. What what I'm saying is she starts her backflip and it's gonna just hit her back as it goes. Still keeps following her, um, yeah. and it looks like she clearly doesn't make it to the platform. But then it cuts and she's made it to the platform. And you're like, okay, all right, nice, <laughs> good job. And she's all ahead right. now. Um, it, it seemed like at the beginning of this that they were gearing up to like be in combat or whatever. I mean, if they're just showing off like like what they can do physically like they're not actually in combat they're just like demonstrating their physical capabilities because they're all like super powered right so i guess it yeah, would no, make sense to have like a a show built around that it's 100 percent an exhibition <laughs> right the way she flows through that hole <laughs> it's it's amazing because it's you gotta Boom. yeah it's just, just we it's like it pulls it through uh we saw it in Batman and Robin as well, with Robin jumping onto a ship. He just gets moved in midair forward because he's not got the momentum right. Did they <laughs> put that hole in just for her? Uh, it seems like other people can get through it. Someone else does as well. So. Oh, okay. I no, see, that one has like a little one. inner ring to make it a little smaller just for a kid, and the other ones are slightly bigger for some reason. If you look at them really closely. <laughs> she has a child-sized hole. Oh, that yeah, exactly. oh, lucky. Uh, Can we just also comment on, like, what she is doing is insanely talented and physically impressive, right? Like, they... they when you said impressive, I thought you were going for another word that started with I-M-P. Impractical? That's all right. I was about to say impossible. Uh. Impossible. <laughs> it's just, like, it, it's... It's, it's so jarring seeing her so insanely talented at this age. When, like, again, the last film, she sucked! At that, at when she was young, it's just uh. right. It's okay, Shad. Continuity is overrated. Oh yeah, this is the first instance of um, there is a, a fight element here. So one of them pushes another one off the uh, the platform, I guess, to defeat. Um, well, I guess, I think they were both going for the same one, and she knew it. So I don't even know if, like, one of them had to win. I guess. Oh, maybe yeah, maybe it wasn't done. Well, with I don't even malice. know if that was a fight. That was just we're gonna collide. And one of them got knocked off. Yeah, you know what? It doesn't seem that deliberate. It's just like, rip, down you go. 
Even though um, the goal is to jump into the ocean, right? So if she can just swim, she might be able to make it. Won't be as fast. Yeah, the rules of this contest are very undefined. It's like you have to stay on the horse, but yeah, I was... uh, I'm confused. And then we get to the big, strange portion where they jump on this Tomb Raider one with Angelina Jolie esque battering ram. Does anyone know the reference I'm going with on that one? <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah. The it it's very reminiscent, even though it shouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> like, but and it looks like it's it's so confusing to register this as a viewer. You're like, is the goal here to swing as hard as you can on that thing, and only the amount of people can get on to it, get onto it? And then it's like, oh wait, it looks like they're kind of oh god, it's going to attack her if she's not careful. She's gonna have, and like other people are jumping onto it. It's like this seems to be what you're supposed to do. And then you might think, oh, is it to get to the big ring? Yeah, I thought yeah, it was to jump through the ring. And so, like, that makes sense. But then our, our and protagonist then she just jumps off, and you're like, oh. So she's <laughs> lost? And you're like, no, that was what we were supposed to do. It's like, so what's the point of the battering ram? <laughs> like, who needs the battering <laughs> ram? Stupid. And then after this, oh, it gets even dumber. This <laughs> is so dumb. <laughs> um, yeah, because they all dive in after her, and it turns out now she's just at the front. She's winning, and you're like, okay. That's which means that the first woman who jumped onto the battery ram could have just not swung it. Yeah, just jumped and into the jumped ocean, off into the water. <laughs> but oh. no, you can't do that. And then you get to the the beach. We, I guess, you have to. Jesus Christ, how far did they swim? I'm just looking now, like you can't even see the uh, the structure. Everyone in the arena is just waiting five hours until they get there. Yeah, that's what I like, was thinking. It was like, <laughs> okay, but who's watching this? There's not even any people watching. Yeah, this. <sighs> you have all of this room in this massive arena for you to have all of these really cool competitions and things, and most of it's just it's it's this weird fucked up modern art display in the middle of it that <laughs> people jump over the top of. And I'm like, man, yeah. If I I hope I didn't pay money for this. Man, imagine being the one that has to clean it. You have to go around uh, it and like scrub. You gotta go all the way through. <laughs> Maybe they have a jetpack. Be easy then. Uh, so yeah, now begins the second portion, which is to ride your horse all the way around back to the original structure while shooting arrows into targets. And uh, and apparently, if you uh, hop off the horse and go somewhere, which technically would be harder because you can't run as fast as a horse, you would assume. But these are Amazon, so who knows? But that's worthy of a disqualification. Well, well, yeah. Um, I guess right. nothing interesting happens other than that. So. She, because she's cocky, I guess. I don't know what if they're trying to argue that in some. Wait a minute, is that the? If that's the structure, okay, I'm just confused now. Also, I have fireworks in the background. Uh, I guess it's, wow. today is some kind of special day. I don't know. Uh, Happy New Year! <laughs> so, can you see that they're, they're riding toward the structure? Didn't they just that's jump like off two and miles swim away? From there? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's just. How does that work? So they swam that far, obviously. That's so the, their backup arena. But okay, I, I'm very confused <laughs> by this logistically. <laughs> they're just they're just making a big loop. It's just to make it. Longer. It's really stupid. That's well, all you can say. Yeah, because I maybe I'm reading this wrong, but I I'm taking this as though um, I'm gonna I'm gonna draw some arrows so that everyone knows what I'm talking about here. They did they did this with swimming. Or am I, or am I missing something? Because this is right after they've gotten onto the horses. Yeah, no, that's yep, that's what yeah, they that, did. Yeah, that's basically what they did. Yeah, but there's no railings. There's no. <laughs> how, why there's did no they people do? watching. Yeah, no. But Couldn't you just jump did? and go straight to? Uh... All right. Well, but that would be cheating. Okay, that would be cheating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you get um. Everyone's got their bows ready. I guess it's I'll... the physics and the geography of like every sequence in this movie. It's just so baffling. I don't know where anyone is, how they can move, because <laughs> none of it's real. Uh, like the mall scene, I guess I'm getting ahead of myself. So, um, hey, Shad. <laughs> this seems like a hard shot, uh, but I guess they're Abazodians, oh. so that's yeah, an excuse. Like, the, the, so they've also now established that whatever age she is, you reckon she's, what, seven, eight here? Um, she's world-class master horseback archer. Like, yeah. Not easy to do that, from what I understand. 
Um, and but she's nailing they it. They never miss a shot. She never misses a shot or whenever she shoots that thing as well. She's like, move over, Hawkeye. Hawkeye <laughs> just, yeah. Because it's not even about just shooting it in the ring. You have to shoot your particular color, which is... Uh, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, what if they shoot the wrong one? Yeah, well, awkward. <laughs> Because, uh, yeah, they've all got to shoot their own colours. Um, which, again, makes me think, like, I wonder if they were part of a house or something. Uh, not sure entirely how it works. But, yeah, so she's really far ahead. She's doing great. And she would have dominated and it would have been awesome. Except she looks behind her. Because she's an idiot. And she hits a branch and falls off her horse. And I guess the only thing to say about that is just, like, damn, that horse was just like, fuck off, I'm done, bye. <laughs> just like, <laughs> <laughs> My question is... She's not sitting that much higher than the head of the horse. And so, did the branch hit the horse? Hmm, maybe the horse, I think the horse ducked saw its it head down. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, we'll find out in a sec. I'll, sh I'll show it on green. You know, it's hard to balance this whole copyright while also nailing the visual references, you know? This is top-tier EFAP streaming, I'll have you know. <laughs> yeah, very stressful, and she's like, oh shit, I forgot about this part. Do you guys remember when she jumped over a chasm? Oh, no. the, um, no? No. no. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, that. I oh. about that. Holy shit. Oh, boy. Oh, man. What, what How many people oh, died yeah. on this test? Also, no one in the audience, get, no one in the, uh, the, the arena gets to see this incredible feat of... of no, no, uh, unless they have little cameras, bots, or streaming it, yeah. Now this yeah, is the I'll intended way, right? Being able to use uh, like a powerful bow that's probably supposed to be made for you know warriors, so it should be a war bow. But she's an Amazon superhuman child now, and so she can do it because reasons. <laughs> I love that they add this just because it's cool, but at the same time we're all just like, oh my god, I fear for the safety of these people. That's the entire movie. And the, the filmmaker's is like, what are you? No, shut up. It's fine. It looks awesome. You're like, okay, it doesn't even. <laughs> by the way. Does that look like it, the horse is going to make it? Nope. No. Like the that last... horse would have fucking screeched to a stop. That, that horse is dead. Yeah, okay. man. Like the arch there, I don't think it's going to do it. It looks like it went like this. And like that's going to face I can't plant. Know which part of the other cliff she's aiming for and what's the part of the other cliff that actually opposes. Because um... is it the back of the cliff or is it the. I don't know. I'm concerned for the horse, is my point, right? Well, how do, where is she, hang on, where is our, she Amazonian, our Amazonian horse is super? Oh, maybe, maybe. Also, she fires oh, an arrow yeah. while doing they that. Are. She yeah, but they can't fly. She nails the arrow mm. shot while doing that, actually. Excellent job. Um, Mary Suish. <laughs> how could you say no. that? Everyone says that about all women characters these days, and you right, stop. everything, without any pr Well, I mean... The last movie actually showed her needing some training and to figure out her powers and stuff. And this one, child, great at everything, because reasons. Well, she's so good that uh, yeah. her ingenuity gets her in trouble. She's just Mulan, isn't she? It is, a, it is a little reminiscent. They seem to just keep fucking it up. Also, hi, Weekend Warrior. How you doing? Hey. Hi there. Hi. Are you here to hate women with us? Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy indeed. New Year. Happy New Year. How oh, you made it. What's the Glad future I'm like? Here. Have you seen Wonder Woman 84? The weekend? future is still sucky. So. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't stop it. The government it's was supposed sucks. to end bad once 2020 stopped, but they didn't. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, is, that's media manipulation. <laughs> I still got a few hours of 2020 left, so, you know, what can I do? Uh, yeah, have you seen 84? I can't remember if you've tweeted about it. Oof. How, how, how are you guys holding up? Oh. No. Oh. Good. Hello? Man. How's the fast Hello? play? <laughs> are you, are you asking. Hello? Hi there? Are you asking how we. You all right? Who you held up in relation to seeing this movie, or are you asking something else? Hello? What? <laughs> are you old enough to drink? <laughs> Weekend, is your internet working? <laughs> all right. Yeah, you guys are all right. No. What? Hello, you're copy. What? What's happening? <laughs> what? You, know what? you know, we're just every yeah, things were going great. Things were going great to Singapore. We have, you know. All right, we're in Singapore now. Hopefully, Singapore will save us. Yeah, Singapore is 
kind of the, kind of the savior of <laughs> Weekend. You're right. Have no. you seen this movie, Weekend? I I haven't. Unfortunately, I was busy with New Year stuff. So well, I... you know what? It's okay because we're going through it it's piece okay. by piece. So people who haven't okay. seen it, they just pull up the stream. You'll see all the references you need. All you've missed is Wonder Woman as a child is dominating a bunch of adult women in the Amazonian Olympics because she's a prodigy. Uh, a great start to our but new female-led superhero movie. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it's downright women archetypal. Can't do, women can't do anything wrong. Oh, and there's your answer, That's to the Shad. Trend, right? Really? It started. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's really amazing to me that she that they made her a child prodigy in the second movie and not the first movie. Hmm. Like when she, yeah, she so was baffling. retroactively, she regressed. <laughs> like oh after God, this dude. competition, she no, became really, you know, didn't look like the horse ducked its head. No, it didn't. The, and horse should have been the miracle off. of VLC pausing allows us to see some modern art while we're uh, discussing <laughs> Wonder Woman. Too. It's pretty cool. <laughs> The character was depicted as a child in the first movie, right? It's just that it was like yeah. the inverse of this, where it was like outside of competition, where she was like encouraged to avoid it. Yeah, she didn't want like a kid anywhere near her. that sort of thing because she's worried right. for it. Um, but yeah, if the yeah. horse the was able to be called, this is still the the lesson or the the event here is all over. She just whistles, the horse comes back, she gets back on, and she's like, "Well, there we go. That was awkward." Yeah. Instead, the horse fucks off because I don't know. Also, whoa! It doesn't quite fuck off. It keeps running at full speed. Dude, so no wonder this up, kid is sad. She... Look at that mask digging into it. Oof. Oof. Oh. Ow. Yeah, that looks like it hurts. Yeah, that does look like it hurts. <laughs> yeah. Poor girl. Also, this. what a very silly kind of thing. But the, like, the, what is it? The tiara? I what, guess it that's keeps... What it's yeah, it's... Is it? Sort I don't know. Circlet? What is the correct a term for this? Circlet? Yeah, a battle circlet? Yeah, a battle tiara. A war tiara. <laughs> a war circlet. Well, yeah, Wonder Woman does use it for battle later, so that's going to be fun to talk about. Uh, right now. Uh, See, the sorry. horse... The horse is furious at her, and it just leaves her entirely. Like, it's going... It's just by. Um, however, this is lucky or unlucky. It really depends on which character we're talking about and the events that come as a result, but... Uh, where exactly where Wonder Woman fell off her horse, there is this just it looks handcrafted. There is this slide that's going to take her to the exit. <laughs> what is this? Why is this here? <laughs> okay, it's a water drain of some kind, and so maybe you could justify it if there was a gutter on the side of the road where she was that funneled the water down here and they wanted to avoid erosion, but that would be my. Yeah, yeah. And also she slides down a bone dry water Oof. chute. Well she's super. So. <laughs> oh, okay. She's super lubricated um, too. But apparently. having God, something I mean, this is the road, Chad. Like it <laughs> seems to have that one. it seems to have been yeah. placed here randomly. Like it's just like, hey, just pop one of those there, just in case, you know. <laughs> <'Cause> it, yeah, <laughs> you know. Look, there's nothing funneling water into that. That would do nothing. No, well, well was, you guys don't understand. It's been carved out by all the people who cheated before her. Oh, 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 oh. yeah. This is this is cheater's bluff or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> famous cheating spot. Yeah. Um, and so everyone's probably in chat thinking, getting excited now. It's like, will she win? It's like, well, she slides down it, and again, her fucking oh, the friction it would kill. Uh, <laughs> And obviously the other people have definitely seen her doing it, and I guess they're probably like, you fucking cheater, this is against... The I mean, it's apparently not known, because she didn't know this was against the rules, right? So, so I maybe mean, it's I, not... Yeah, she knows she have to shoot all the things along the yeah, way. Maybe you'd think she'd you know. have to shoot all the things, and she misses shooting yeah. one of them. Yeah, to clarify... Well, of course she knows the rules. You, the you couldn't rule... have guessed the rules if you just were set up to do this challenge. You wouldn't have ever guessed in a million years that... You're supposed to shoot the colors of yours with the bow from the horse as you ride by. And so um, the break of the rule is not that she's not on a horse or not that she didn't go by the trail. It's that she didn't hit the target. This one target that I guess she didn't realize was there. I don't know. Were the target spots a surprise to everyone when they did this? But hang on. This is a question, right? So what if one of the other Amazons tried to shoot one of them and missed? Would that disqualify them? Because you would think in a proper so. tournament setup, mm. you would just lose a point or something. I think I think they would uh, be disqualified. Yeah, you have to hit your target. Hmm. 
Well, yeah, you got to hit them all. That's like checkpoints. Well, you got to hit them all. So that's how they know you went the whole way and didn't cut. Can you double do. back and just hit the target? Can't you do that? And the camera or, zooms or, in to make sure we understood. Or, or no. What did you say, sorry? Can you just like go back? Can you double back on the horse and just shoot yeah, the target well, if you like overshoot it? Or Yeah, you could shoot again, I assume. You, you have to pass it. It's just that uh, she didn't realize this was there, I guess. Oh, great. <laughs> Unfortunately. I'm not even clear on how she manages to come first at this point. You'd think the horseback people are going to outride her. Although, she's faster than a horse in the first movie. Um, <laughs> but when she's an adult, we don't th I don't think we see a super run when she's a kid. But then again, she's a child prodigy who's beaten them all in the Olympics as a child. So it's like, I don't know. But she's also not being trained. Yes. She was not mm -hmm. trained for the Olympics despite doing pretty... Oh, the horse comes back. There you go. She Because she, she gets ahead of it. I forgot that. I don't see how they haven't caught up yet, but, you know, it happens. Another nice little jump in physics there. As long as you guys aren't paying attention, it'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be great. Yeah, and... Whoa, uh, she caught up right, right in time. Na, 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 hey. That soundtrack is fucking awesome, okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, the. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, everyone's all got concerned faces because the, the person hasn't raised a flag for her last thingamajiggy, I guess. And it's funny because you'd think that they complete the task and then they are told their results, I guess, or something like that. But with her, uh, her friend and mentor person. Like grabs her and throws her to the <laughs> ground. I think it's like, oh, okay, jeez, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you fucking jail. Um. Also, they have to fucking toss a spear uh, all the way into the big circle. Yeah, she ain't she ain't chucking a spear that far. <laughs> child, child <laughs> prodigy, you right? ain't fucking tossing hey, a spear that far. The, what happened to oh, all stuff in the middle of the arena? Wait, uh, get, they, get, they, oh shit! You're right. They no, no, moved no, 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 no. it. They they get, pulled a lever and it go, it went. They did a thing to. Get old they, what? They, they they pulled a lever and it put everything oh, it under. Oh, oh, the, pool was, the, the little oh, the child pool struggling to just carry that thing is funny. <laughs> we just want to see the warriors get wet. Oh well, her spear form is is probably on point. I'm I find sure she's funny, a prodigy. Wait, also the ang the low angle with her running towards it, like this, she's carrying the spear at another angle. I think it's because she can't carry it. That's why yeah, they yeah. angled the camera that way so that some other dude is like is like carrying it for her. <laughs> <laughs> um, Already, this is a funny movie, guys. Like, also, imagine being <laughs> the person that has to collect these spears, though. Oh yeah, in the Out ocean. The ocean? Yep. There's not like a board behind it. They're biodegradable spears, smaller, so so it's part of nature. Biodegradable. Yeah. <laughs> they're that forward thinking. The Amazonians are that forward thinking. They love their ocean. Yeah, and uh, why we would learn... she? Why did she pull the kid away in that moment? Because she's cheated. Because she hadn't hit the last. One. You're a filthy cheater, she, child. She, she, yeah, That's isn't she like explicit? She's like, you've cheated, and the kid seems to be unaware of that. It's like, huh? Mm-hmm. I didn't know. I had another kid. target. So oh. it's, is it the fact that she didn't hit the target or the fact that she took the shortcut? They don't explain. Because really I can understand... Be they actually don't shortcut. say. I could understand them saying that taking the shortcut is cheating. I, I If that's the rules. But it, I always thought it was the, the she just didn't hit the target. In, in which case she should be like, let her throw the spear. Let her say, yeah. And it's like, I'm sorry, Diana. Like, you didn't hit the last target. You can't just They definitely expect... make it seem like... Sorry, go ahead. Well, I was, I was going to say, you can't, and then she, well, funnily enough, she probably would cut her off and be like, I won, I won, fair and square, and they're like, no, you didn't, and you know what, you can't just have things that you want, blah, blah, you know, message. <laughs> just throw, yeah. There, yeah, there are rules, or something. They make pretty <laughs> but clear. Instead, so but it, what's the message oh. here? It's about truth, right? Yeah, yeah it's yeah. about yeah. truth. This is the closest it ever gets to, like, truth as the message is here, which is don't cheat. Yeah. But it's never acknowledged that little Diana understands that she cheated. Her face and the way that she acts here. Like, she, I don't... She, she doesn't get it. She's, like, in denial that she cheated? Or that she didn't even know she cheated? Wait, I mean, if she had hit the so, target, and then, but, like, she took that little shoot, I mean, is that not just ingenuity? Like, 
or is that cheating? Because that's not been made clear. I whether assume you can't the rules are you have to hit all of them. Yeah, but I mean, if she had hit the target and taken the slide, would that have been okay? Or is it? But like, what's the problem? Know. It's not clear. I mean, well, I... she just says you took the short path, therefore you failed. Oh, it's not so that you didn't. Was... First off, I don't know if. She so they have no idea of knowing that she took a short path. Just they she should have could she could have just missed her shot. Do they just guess that she did because she missed the targets? Like you must have taken the short path. <laughs> like how did you know? It must I be guess. really easy for them to hit the targets then. <laughs> well, yeah, none of them miss. Because as we all know, it's funny shooting because... an air shooting at a small target with a bow from the back of a horse while you're in a race is a really easy thing to do. In that case, mm -hmm. in, in, a, yeah, in a rare yeah. form, the film seems to kind of almost disagree with Antiope, if that's her name, about what the problem is, because the film is like, she didn't do the thing with the with the color and the arrow. She's going to lose. And then this character's like, no, she went through the short path. And the film's like, oh, well, okay. <laughs> I thought <laughs> it was the other thing. Because yeah. the camera gives a lot of focus to the fact that she didn't hit the target. Um, but if it's like, no, you took the short path. What if she took the short path and then ran back and hit her target and then ran forward again and still won because she was so far ahead? Would that count? It's yeah, weird I don't know. because Maybe. I mean, I can get like say you have uh, like a, a race with a set track, and then if you broke away from the track and do a shortcut to cut off a portion of the track, that would be considered cheating. But mm -hmm. there's no designated like there was a road, and there was nothing to say that you had to stay on it or anything like that. But that seems to be what she's now saying. If you went off the road and took a shortcut, you cheated. Hey, oh, Shad, okay. do you know what I consider cheating? What the fact that she's a child prodigy. Uh, apparently has benefits that no one else in this entire society has. It's like, hmm. And, all, and right. all these skills disappear when she gets a bit older and starts to train. Um, well, so this is this what this is, is the point event point. that made her quit. Like, oh. so yeah. Well, but what this scene breaks continuity, right? But it's also pointless in the overall plot of the film, and they try and connect it in the most ham-fisted, clumsy way yeah. with no proper through line at all. Because the message of this scene is no true hero is born from lies. It's like, yep. Okay, I'd like to test well, that. But didn't <laughs> Zeus? But but didn't Zeus create her? But didn't tell anyone about what she really was. <laughs> She was she was literally created <laughs> through literally lies. Like. Lie. <laughs> I think she was actually literally born from a lie. <laughs> oh my goodness, film! Oh, yeah. oh no! Wow! Oh no, film! Isn't this great? Literally yeah. born of lies. Wonder Woman. Oh my goodness! I never thought of that. <laughs> Wonder Woman, oh, 1984, no. guys. <laughs> Oops. And it gets uh -oh. so much worse. <laughs> Hey, look, Antiope didn't know that. Really? It does? That's amazing. <laughs> well, is, we're probably going to discover all kinds of things as we go through this movie. This is just the first... We're ten minutes in. That's quite the... <laughs> I like her you know, face, but... VLC's fuckery actually helps me with copyright. It's great. Like, keep fucking up yeah. the frames. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, because I, I think that's it for this scene, right? They just... <laughs> They're just sad about how she could have won, but she didn't because she cheated, quote unquote, which is it's hard to understand where the cheating came in, but you know, it did. This would have made her hate by a lot of people. Like everyone there was like that little fucking runt, she cheated. Yeah. She got this far and then she tried to cheat out all these other chicks. Wow. And the mummy's pretty chill about it. It's like, eh, whatever. Yeah, she's like, ah, I'm sure no one will hate you as you're growing up, and no one will hold this event against you for the rest of your life. I'm not there. the mum from the first <laughs> film where I hate you whenever you do anything relating to any kind of danger. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, what will she learn from this going forward in the narrative? Because that's what these scenes are supposed to do in films like this. You're like, this is going to go forward. This is probably going to set the tone and the theme. Cheetahs never prosper slash get born. Right. That's, that's, that's what's important, right. you know? Gonna tie into Honestly, it doesn't. Sure. It doesn't set the tone or the theme because the the scene that sets the tone is the mall sequence that we're about to watch. Oh, like that's oh, the goofy God. nonsense oh. well, that so, really sets up. The whole movie. I've seen people argue that the opening scene we just saw was like stapled on in post or some shit. Like they just, it was never. It didn't seem like it was actually part of the movie until probably late. Just like oh, fuck it. I wouldn't be I can believe it considering that it's the only me. part of the theme that kind of make sense if you don't think about how Diana was fucking literally born. <laughs> no, but see, 
even at the end where they try and connect the through line of truth and everything it's garbled nonsense it, it is mm. utter garbage that like yeah. this through line of truth saving people like it's so stupid and it uh, makes yeah it's really disjointed and it seems like just the wrong message to have in this film uh it doesn't really connect with anything it is a huge stretch it is a theme that is absolutely not at all carried by the material Mm -hmm. and do, so, do you think they added the scene after the, they shot everything and they realized that oh we got we got to we're gonna have the a theme, theme in yeah let's just make yeah, it a scene the <laughs> ties to a childhood where possible. she learned <laughs> yeah, something that, yeah yeah maybe so, so I agree with drags dude it's the cynical drags, nature but... of thematic through lines that come into a lot of stuff like Batwoman does this all the time which is why when watching Mandalorian we were kind of surprised they didn't have a theme really there was no uh, presumed message, no lesson to learn really. It was just like, it was more events. Like, hey Boba Fett. It was just things just sort of happen for improbable reasons and that's just sort of that. Because of course it doesn't take a genius to see that this movie is trying to tell you some stuff. It's like, you know, lies bad, first of all, which, alright, you know. Yeah. Which, which I don't even agree with. <laughs> <laughs> and then we get our sequence of Hey, Remember the 80s uh, for a little bit. This is probably the most 80s yeah, the this film was even it. does. Yeah, yeah, this is it. It, it. it puts it front loads all of the 80s stuff into a little rescue montage at the very beginning. Um, and that's basically it. That's the most 80s it ever gets. And so, can I? Sure? This, this is going to take a real quick. Stuff. Oh, by the way, her kicking that car with such force to knock it that far would have just totally them. destroyed the front of the car like mm. <laughs> so i was just gonna bring up like this moment she could have grabbed the girl and pulled her out of the way typical superhero fashion instead she <laughs> kicks this car <laughs> by the way it's not their and fault i can't tell if it is their fault actually because she runs in front of them i don't know if the no, the lights are red it is their fault okay um but of course you could still just pull her out of the way driving. it would be okay but she kicks them and then this is what happens to the car it's just like Oh, she's lucky that this is all that happens. Let's just put it that way. Incredibly lucky. Yeah. She could have hurt more people doing that. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. kicks it in a direction that any of the cars could have been coming toward. Especially because if it's green light the other way, cars are going to be coming from the other direction in both ways. And now, if, if people you can in chat paying, green light. paying attention, we're not seeing Wonder uh, Woman, we we're seeing it. glimpses of Wonder Woman. Why is that? Well... If you remember continuity, Batman says to her, where the fuck have you been? Like, why haven't you been helping the world? And she argues it's because, like, of what World War One did, I think. She's like, it, it put her in a position where she's like, oof, you know, can't, couldn't. She's finally back. When Doomsday starts destroying the world, she comes back. So obviously she didn't do anything about the Man of Steel and Batman vs Superman events up until the finale of the films, which is really hard to believe. Like, that she wouldn't have gotten involved when Zod invaded Earth. It's like, mm, I don't know. Uh, yeah, but, yeah, but, but, World War One. Well, it doesn't even make sense well, because she's currently saving people. As, no, yeah, they, world, yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 world war one. He was saving Someone people. had to save that woman fighting. crossing the street. Okay, yeah. That's fair. <laughs> um, yeah, I just want to, let's, let's make that really clear. So between the montage at the beginning or the, the race, the Olympics at the beginning and now, a lot of things on the world stage have happened that have been really bad. You know, like the Holocaust. But Wonder Woman didn't do anything to try nope. to help any of those things. Nope. But nope. she does try to save. Ironically, the Israeli <laughs> Gal Gadot didn't do anything to stop the Holocaust. Didn't stop anything. <laughs> the implication is all like, she ever did was something that was essentially stuff you wouldn't notice necessarily on the world stage. Yeah. It would just be stuff that was like. She's oh. basically your friendly neighborhood Wonder Woman. Yeah. And that's what they're trying to do. This is your opening. You need this sequence and a lot of superhero stuff to convince us that they care about the people on the ground and that they hold, they get it, you know, their life, their enjoyment is to save people. And she's, so she's all these little scenarios, because we're going to see a couple more now where she's just saving people from different things. But already it's like, wait, but now everyone would know about it. And obviously she would help with bigger things if she's willing to help with smaller things, right? So it's like, um, already we're in trouble. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so just keep that in mind. For everything that she's doing to help people in this whole sequence, just keep in mind that she's doing this instead of anything else. Also, on the world Wonder Wonder Woman, so the fact Wonder, that someone said Wonder Woman let 9 11 happen. That doesn't happen until 2001. So, so not, she doesn't no, have it happen so yet. Like, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. she will. It, she hasn't let it happen yet. Rest assured, she, she, she will. If she didn't know what was going to happen, movies, 
Well, she didn't know it was going to happen, right? She'd have to time travel. Mm. Oh, you'll, how, you'll, how oh, does you'll, the you'll, how does the time travel device oh, decide no. that it's 1984 that they go back to? No, no, that's not a thing. There is there's no, no time travel. There's, there's no, no time travel. There's no time travel here. There's this no? is just she's oh, okay. just she just gets to live forever because she's so fucking amazing. Yeah, and well, so she, this is wish monkeys. Pop, she's a magical so. Amazonian. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll get to it. Don't worry. Shad is still. We're half an hour from the moment Shad's probably going to want to talk about we're Wait, in movie so is time. So is it just a is it a monkey's pot or is it this she, she just lives so long that 1984? Both was of those things are true. Through. She's immortal, I think, okay. but also there's a monkey's right. paw. Okay. Also, she somehow manages to uh, like. I'm not entirely sure how exactly, like, how long it takes for her to age from a child into her adult form. Thousands of years, maybe. Also, hi, Southpaw. Hello. Hi. Hello. How's it going, Capital? Hello. We're this. This is a portion of our crew of watching the Wonder Woman movies now. Here, uh, it was. It was an exciting journey. Um, which is going to help as we break this down. As they're showing us 80s tisms, you have Maxwell Lord is on the TV in the background, just to help you be like, yeah, he's an influential person, his ads are everywhere. Uh, people know him. More 80s stuff. I'm kind of just uh, cycling through until we get to the next person she probably saves in a really reckless way, because... <laughs> fun, 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 fun! And then we'll get to the mall scene, which is amazing, no doubt. Fits right into Batman mm -hmm. and Robin, I'd say. <laughs> Oh yeah, these girls, like, they steal some stuff from a store. Um, oh, I think it's because, does Maxwell say, like, whatever you want in the world, take it or something, and then they steal? I can't remember. It's, um... Slightly odd moment. Ah, here we go. I don't think it has go. any bearing on anything else. Hey, yeah, look, so, it's the best character in the whole movie. Oh, so here we go. The girls who stole some stuff, they run past a recently wed couple, and... Oops, the wife falls, and she's about to fall into the, the little river there. Um, but Wonder Woman happens to be in the area, and she raps. <laughs> this shit's so crazy. You get, you get logistically where this is, like, Wonder Woman has to be on ground. She's wrapped this woman. She's going to have to yank her. And she <laughs> just glides and slides across the concrete, and she's okay. Like... There are so many ways this could have gone horribly wrong, and you know what would have been best? Just letting her fall in the water and swim out. Yeah, because you could have yanked her and her head would have smacked into could that stone wall. It looks like Killed that's her. what should have happened, honestly. If you have yeah. the power and force to have pulled her out of the way of the water into the... She's going straight into the concrete. Okay, to be fair, to be fair, that would have saved that guy three years and half his shit. So, oh. you know, yeah, it's not as... Rags, you cranked your anti whammon stuff to this stream. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry. It's just, it's just we we're I can't. It's just, it's just women are great. No I'm just making jokes. Oh my god, <laughs> VLC just generating some terrifying imagery here and there. I hope you guys caught that one because I couldn't Whoa, snap it. That was fun. Um, so yeah, another person that Wonder Woman should have killed. <laughs> but, oh well. You're um, welcome. It's, and it, 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 no way that nobody didn't see this. Yeah, it's so impossible clear. that she would be under the radar with all of this shit, but apparently she that's, is. That's as if it doesn't point, get worse. Right? Right. No, we'll so see. As long as she was doing this, and no one made a sketch of her to say this is what she looked like or described her as just baffling. No, no listen. As mm. long as she destroys all the cameras in the area, she's fine. No one. But she her. destroys the cameras after she saves someone. After. Okay, well, we're almost <laughs> there. We're getting. The, oh <laughs> my god. The footage too. <laughs> So, I couldn't snap it in time, but, uh, Cap has done it. Check that out, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> that looks a bit like Galathar, I'd say. Like, that's something Galathar going. has been, he's been snacking on her. <laughs> she, looks, she looks like she's uh, coming from a different dimension and into the Spider-Verse. So looks like she's glitching. <laughs> All right. Guys, I mean, she, she, she must be really lucky that a handsome guy would still want to, you know, take her to be his wife with a face like that it's, that's true love so the scenario here is that a, a group of thieves have discovered that a jeweler's store is a front for smuggling high value items right and yes. nothing they want is in the front of the store no 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 no, no. they're here for the good shit and so yeah. they, they flash their weapons and they're like look don't make a scene, we're gonna steal from you, we know what you're doing is illegal, and so if, if we get caught, you get caught too? Something like that, right? That's the kind of logic they're using? But, yeah. so, but, 
question, question the they could use it? they could use the exact same essentially threat to just take all the stuff from the front. Yeah. Um I guess the front stuff isn't as valuable as the back stuff. Oh yeah. I think that's the idea. Well, I mean, uh, uh, well, that's the impression. <laughs> Ways to live by, and the yeah, and so they get, back there, guys. yeah they get into the back and they're like, oh my mm. god, look at all this! And again, thank you VLC for fucking up the visuals so that I can get covered. You know, it's, it's just trying Yay. to help me. It's it's almost mixed for and yeah. So and the camera slowly pans around. We got the the I don't know. It's like a crystally just, rock thing. We're just gonna call it the monkey's paw throughout the film. I think. I just what? Just want to say real quick. This guy looks like a like a discount Clint Eastwood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> you can see it. Yeah, it does. Like Gran Torino, Clint Eastwood. Yeah. <laughs> he went down a darker path. Yeah, Clint Eastwood, <laughs> yeah, after his Wild West days, if he became a shitty jewel thief. And so then, he this is, bad. up to this point, the film's been what I would call normal bad. This is where we start get to, like, crazy bad. So Absurd. <laughs> Funny bad. They walk out of the, out of the room... And uh, it seems that there's four dudes in total who are all a part of this. It's a pretty clean job. Nobody seems to notice anything. Unfortunately for our team, one of the dudes fumbles, <laughs> fumbles, 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 and down the gun on the floor goes. Oh no, what a silly villain. Now, um, I guess I'm so limited on my knowledge here. If you're in 1984 in a shopping mall and you drop a gun like that, is there a chance that you can pick it back up and be like, oops, sorry? Yeah, like, well, I mean, what if you were surely, the police officer? Yeah. Like, probably have have all, yeah. any number of reasons. Do you have a concealed carry in this time and state? What's, yeah, what state is this? Well, oh, this, this, is this is California before it became too crazy lefty, so I'm not Wait, this sure. this is DC, right? Oh, oh, yeah, this is DC, but they're a big crazy lefty place now, too. Um, I don't know. Uh, well, even here. is like he pulled out the gun and held it to her face. Like, she screams. It's like she just yeah, saw yeah, a reaction. Well, I don't. I mean, I don't know. It's weird. I, my, her reaction isn't what's extra crazy. It's that everyone in the mall now knows exactly what's happening and where it's happening. And panics instantly. <laughs> and panics instantly. Yeah, because even here, where concealed carry is totally legal, and I do it all the time. If if a gun randomly fell out of someone's pants. Like that would definitely be like, whoa, what the fuck? It's like so, that is a bit, what? Dude, look, look how badly they do it as well. Like I'm, just, I just realized because yeah. some people in chat commented on it as well. Like, look at the nature in which he drops it. So the gun is tucked into the front of his jeans, and he just, what is he doing with this bag? He just he moves, 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 moves. Oh, the gun! He grabs his own gun he and sort of pulls know how it out, it. and then mm. it drops. It's like he pulls the gun out himself to throw it to the ground, like the actor, because I don't and think also, he knew. <laughs> if you're and if your jacket is open <laughs> like that, why do you have your gun stowed away on the front of yeah. your pants if your jacket's open? It's such forced fumbling. Like, there is yeah, no reason for it to be that. Forced is a yeah. good way like, to describe the, it. The, directing, the director obviously said, like, okay, you've got this bag and, like, you're, you're really struggling with it for some reason. He's like, okay. And then it's just... There's no need for it. He's just like, why? Why wouldn't you just like a regular human being just open the fucking bag and take out what you need from it? Like, it's yeah. got to be such an ordeal. The woman screaming at the very sight of a gun. That the one in the background is like, hey. <laughs> 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 um, and yeah. So this this sets off the whole scene. Which uh, the funny part to me was we noticed so much of this as we're watching it in the EFAP movies. It's so, so intense. So everyone runs, almost as if there's some kind of... We just have to believe as an audience that these people in this world at this time terrified of seeing a gun. And then this guy, mm -hmm. who's in cahoots with him, decides, ah, to blend in, I shall pretend that I'm not bothered and I stand still and, like, I'm just chill. It's like, isn't that the Which last thing you should do? <laughs> <laughs> I but understand in the normal what... world, just saying, <laughs> pretending he's not part of, you know, that guy... You would think that's a, at least somewhat of a mild thing. The guy says, "Hey, we gotta go," and he's like, "Oh, I've yeah, been out that's a big fuck up." Now. Yeah, well, it's, it's a, this what I mean. Mistake, he would have been fine. That's where I was getting yeah, at. So probably. First of all, the first guy, if he had just sprinted in a different direction, like, "Oh my god, I'm so scared of that gun, too, guys!" Ah, oh, that's terrifying. Yeah, but no, he's, like, like, he's got a gun, ah, and just ran away like everyone yeah, else. In, yeah, instead he's like, I'm going to chill out here. The other guy's like, come on, fellow thief, let's go. <laughs> like, why would you implicate me, you <laughs> fucking asshole? And of course it's meant to be funny, it's just like really stupid, but yeah, alright. 
So next up you have, I guess, our team of four thieves are all over the, the place and the security guards are now picking up on them. And uh, Clint Eastwood just starts running. I don't know what implicated him. Yeah, yeah this was baffling. Nothing. I, she suddenly knows he's a bad guy. For what? What do you do? No <laughs> then you have... Um, not nothing. I'm proud of, I'm going to say, one point of compliment, uh, security guard aims his gun, does not shoot. In a shittier film, he would have just shot at the civilians randomly, because that's just how cops yeah. work a lot of the time. They're just like, boom, 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 I gotta stop the bad guy. In um, movies, yeah. Then of course you're doing a, a bit of a funny, they have to run real fast to get up the descending escalator. Because, um, I don't know uh -huh, if you picked up already, chat, funny. but this, this, the tone of this scene is absolutely Batman and Robin levels, Like, a, if, if you want to explain. It's like, you're not <laughs> supposed to take this seriously at all. At least I think so. Um, but it's just incredibly poorly constructed regardless. So, yeah, as if we haven't dealt with enough craziness, our team of thieves are now just like, what the hell do we do? How do we escape? And the guy who dropped his gun is like, I see a little girl. Now, questionnaire. <laughs> I was like, oh, he's going to use her as a body shield. Like, he'll, she, nobody's going to shoot yes. him if he's got her until he's able to enact the next portion of his plan, which is possibly getting to a particular exit, getting into a car, whatever it is. The one thing I really didn't expect him to do is what happens. Which yeah, but is... the thing is, right? Why did, he, why did he even grab her? They're not surrounded. This isn't like his cornered and he has a last thing. Oh, I'll grab the child as the last ditch. They could have just kept running. No one is there stopping them. Yeah. yeah. And it's he even... Excusably stupid. It gets to the point he where just... um, random civilians and his thieve buddies are like, what are you doing? Like, this is weird, dude. Like, put the girl <laughs> down. But, but he decides, like, nah, this is what I'm committing to now, and I'm gonna dangle her over the edge so that if anyone kills me, she dies. And you're like, dude. I, I have, <laughs> and I'm gonna stay have, here for hours. I have it's, a question. Like, do these guys not know that their buddy was this bit of a, like, this much of a retard? Yeah, I mean, he's, <laughs> he's screwing up the plaid constantly. He's definitely the loose kid. I, I do love the Clint Eastwood characters, like, dude, no, stop, please. No. <laughs> why, why don't they Nobody just wants a wild card leave in the him? Group? Yeah, why don't they just leave him? Yeah. So, uh, you think that at, they just all split? Well, this is the craziest thing. Because this um, relies on everybody staying where they are and like, remaining like, there, like, basically. Like, the, the two on the other side completely blew their cover by going, No, what are you doing? Well, their cover was apparently already blown. Remember, Clint Eastwood guy was, like, just getting chased for some reason. I don't know why, for but... For some reason. Yeah, uh, but this is, a, again, a, a small compliment among the scenes that the thieves are so distracted by this immoral act that they're choosing to try and compel their comrade to st stop doing this <laughs> rather than escape it's like oh wow they, they look at them they're trying to be like hey please don't hit the little girl because it's just like what an <laughs> insane scenario that he's decided to dangle her off the edge um and yeah they're all pleading with her and i, I think if i remember there's a shot a close-up of clint eastwood in a moment that's uh where is it because everyone's just so terrible yeah there's there's like the whole crowd everyone's just staring at this guy yeah Everyone's shouting, no, don't do it, bro. Oh, yeah, there it was. Damn it, VLC, you, you oh, destroying the magic. Look, he kind of looks like Nicolas Cage here in that angle, in the zoom-in angle. Oh, I can That's see it. Nicolas Cage, That's yeah. the other guy, yeah. This is the shot of the old dude just being like, no! <laughs> okay. What are you doing? What, like, like, what are you doing? <laughs> you're holding a... I look away for one second, and now you're holding some kid <laughs> on the side of a balcony? <laughs> How did you arrive at this point? Oh. I wonder. I wonder if this is a reference to Michael Jackson doing this with his own kid. You know, like he <laughs> dangled blanket out the window. Yeah, yeah. Um. So then, Wonder Woman apparently yeah. bursts in through the ceiling, and yeah, apparently dive bombs and just snatches <laughs> the child from the man. I, I'm, I just, I presume no one was hurt in this transaction. So, we're covered so she knew this was happening, and so she went up to the roof. It's like, this is my point of attack. <laughs> She's swinging yes, from exactly. the very center. And nobody in this area. In saw front this. Of everyone. This guy's fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, the most distinguishable of the, of the group of robbers for his resemblance to, to Clint Eastwood. Yeah. So she's done. Uh, everyone can see her now. There's no, there's no way, like, everyone would know about this person. The way she's dressed, the way she looks, and what she does, and who, see, like, she has a lasso that she uses. 
uh, and the TR and stuff. So this just breaks again the, the DCEU, but whatever. Let's just move on. Let's see what this film's doing. So she's wrapped up that guy. She's looking... She has a lot of superhero poses, that Gal Gadot, you know? Does the this scene movie, follow so. the scene where she's a kid? Like, we just go yeah. right into this scene? Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah, yeah. all right. <laughs> all right, so check it out. Here we go. You ready? I'll play the scene first, Chad. So boom, boom, mm -hmm. boom, back to her. So what, you have an issue with this, Nitpicker? What? Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh. Now, it, does this come from like the OG comics? Did she do this in the OG comics? Use her tiara as like to break the security cameras? Uh... As, as a weapon? <laughs> I'm sorry. Also, even if this just, was in the comics, it's so let's, retarded. It's for, yeah, let's it's give an incredible hand. Good. Let's give a hand to Diana for being able to throw it in a way that it bounces off of all of the security cameras in this rotunda and then returns to her. It's it just destroys the cameras. Doesn't destroy the uh, footage. At exactly. Like that, this would be over the news everywhere well, for what the cameras recorded her already doing. Like, well, I thought, does nothing at that point. I thought I, uh, we had gotten past this. I thought that films didn't make this mistake anymore. The when you destroy a camera, it doesn't destroy the recording. But I guess we're still we're still in that era. We're gonna to wait a little bit longer, and people will catch up. Apparently, apparently, it erases <laughs> all the bystanders that are witnessing all of this too. Yeah, if you yeah. destroy the cameras, it erases people's memories. Uh, it's pretty neat. Um, so then she does that and obviously catches up to second dude. And uh, I want to highlight, she has him by the arm and she pulls him so hard and so fast that he slams through this thing. Um, would his arm not have basically been detached? At least the bones. Uh, that's gonna gonna wreck. But of course it's funny. He's fine. He's just spinning around. Uh, and everyone's appreciating the wonder. Oh, yeah, I guess to make sure we covered that, like the the whole camera thing. Her cover is blown. There's no way that everyone doesn't know about Wonder Woman. It's impossible. Yeah. Um. So that guy is 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 hurt. This guy tied up still, but oh, the ropes come off him. We'll just remember that because, of course, when they were animating this, they need to have it so that it comes off so that she can swing herself to the next area. Um. She's got to go get Clint Eastwood and the other one. And uh, here we are. I'm guessing they're just terrified by it, but uh, lots of children, lots of people around, so just pulling guns, it's just like, eh, hopefully they don't shoot them right, because they were just very concerned about a kid's life earlier. Also, um, where is that girl's mother? I don't know. Doesn't really matter. Also, she walked into danger. She was behind oh, the table like space. everyone else. Oh, wait, wait. Like, she was with her mother in the previous shot that we like last saw her, and now all of a sudden she's gone. Like... <laughs> I like Did, the the spit and throw. Just not give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> also, they were when I was they were really concerned. Thought... They were really concerned about like that one guy killing some you know girl. But I guess they're fine with just wanting to shoot Wonder Woman. But they don't. But they like they're threatening to. But they wouldn't actually do it. It's just kind of weird. Maybe yeah. it's because she's like I mean, they should have run kid. away like five minutes ago too. Man, she's so confident too. Like, you guys, you suck. And it's just like, yeah, this very tension filled scene, you know? Everyone Let's being complete fucking sentence. idiots. <laughs> and so here comes the. <laughs> she, she knew that they would run in this exact way at the exact moment. Ugh. Just, it's such a like, I'm so badass. I just like, I'm so like, how the fuck did you figure this was happened? Yeah, Got do him. you actually need to use your eyes? Well, nope. to see thing. she's she's Wonder Woman, and this movie likes to just give her new superpowers at random so, at sometimes. So one yeah. of her new powers here is uh, she has eyes in the back of her head. Yeah, that's how it works. And the lasso is almost sentient in how it can grab on and let go at a whim. Also, yeah. trying to follow this. Okay, two of them get pulled. That guy is in so much trouble. Rammed against the wall, but then the whip is pulled off of them and onto these two lads who have not done anything this entire time. They just stood there naturally. Mm -hmm. So she's got them, swings down, swings back up. Physics again are just not something that Wonder Woman is a fan of. Like it's it's in uh, a list she of powers. She on the ground too. I hate that. Um, this so guy she's, is. She seems to be sliding a lot. Like yeah, on the floor. Yeah, she, I don't know. That's. Looks weird. But like she guys, pulled this guy, guys, but he's released again. Her latent flying ability. She she because she can she's just she's just triggering it 
instinctually at this point. Well, she flew in the uh, in the first movie for for a brief moment of time. That guy we... looks like a hobbit. <laughs> yeah, he could be a hobbit. Yeah. Uh... Feel bad for hobbits. <laughs> So no, yeah, I'm just she's... picturing saying elevensies. So this is one of the most Good. fascinating parts. She the moves part toward him. The T-shirt, the blazer. Slides. I've heard that's a that's a valid fashion choice, Rags. Weekend is you right there. Heard from some dumb people. Oh my god, that's Ooh. really harsh. It's really yeah. harsh. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Don't know. Well, what this thinking. guy is not the pinnacle of the for of the art form. I just have to say. Yeah, this guy he's clearly isn't with that stash and his curly yeah. reddish hair. Yeah, he. Jerry right, Curl the color on the yeah. T-shirt. I want yeah. to appreciate the physics, go. okay? Yeah. The physics are wonderful in this moment. Wonder. Full force forward, slide down, kick. So you would expect him to probably fall to the ground with his leg going up. Like you would maybe, or yeah, just break the leg off. Forward. Really depends how fast she's going. But he huh. somehow flings all the way up. Um, He should be in so many forms of pain. It, it's like, <laughs> it's not even fair. And then... Um, the force of returning to the ground, she grabs him there. Oof. That poor man. I'm surprised he's even alive should with they, the shock he should have gone should, into. Well, I mean, she tried they all be to dead? legitimately murder them uh, just a little bit later, so that, yeah, Wonder Woman's fine with trying to kill people. Can we talk yeah. about the fact that the the guy that's on the ground is now acting like the lasso is tied around him? Yeah, so this is Probably a not. clear mm. error they made. Uh, you can see here, he's just like, if anything, he's like, ooh, my back. Like, uh, I'll just stay down, though. It's fine. And the next time we see him, <laughs> he's uh, he's like, oh my god, this annoying no, lasso no. that's currently around me for sure. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, <laughs> but they just didn't, they didn't put it on. They, did, they didn't feel they <laughs> needed to. <laughs> yeah, he's just like, I'm sure that I'll just do what the directors tell me. There's no way that they would fuck something up, so incredibly royally like not animate the lasso around me like that would be what an oversight for a movie with this budget like <laughs> yeah and wonder woman is like don't tell anyone while being surrounded by people it's like okay <laughs> oh, every moment you tell yeah. someone to not tell anybody more people are witnessing you this, no, this, is a, this this little bit is what i like to call forced whimsy like this is them trying to be whimsical and it just like this is they they want to uh to be all cutesy and not like the uh like man of steel or bvs because they, they, you know after bvs came out and flopped and everyone said like it was too dark and grim they're like okay we need to make more lighthearted content now and yeah it's like this is their attempt to do that and it's just shit yeah oh well it feels and like a, a step make... above stranger things in terms of caricaturing the 80s yeah, like uh, uh, it, it feels a little like a little too much, like an abundance of color, and <laughs> I don't know. It's so just, it's a little too much. Yeah, she drops... the point I was referring to before, where it's just about it. She basically attempts to murder these guys, throwing them from a roof. You have to appreciate how far they've just fallen. Yeah, that's yeah, a clear that's... ten meters at the very least, most generous ever as a group into a car. Um, and look at the force; it manages to crush the car. And um, and I know it this in our EFAP movies. The old man is on the bottom. He, he, look at him. <laughs> He's so he dead. Definitely dead. <laughs> old man definitely. Well, he had oh, few years. To, he had few years to live anyway. <laughs> yeah, that um. Oh yeah, it. They're All that really effort hurting. to kill them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're they're in serious pain and injury. They're not doing. They're supposed so well. to be dead. What the fuck? <laughs> they are dead. Yeah, doing so great. <laughs> they're they're so dead. dead. And uh, and yeah, there's like a news report that's like there's this person, this mysterious person who once again saves the day. <laughs> it's like, uh, who could it have been? Uh, all right, I guess yeah. People why, just why not? Why not just tie them up and leave them? Why did she have to drop them on the car anyway? Because they deserve that punishment. Pain. Also, fuck that cop car. I guess. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What did they? Like, <laughs> well, now we have to pay for the top of a new cop car and. We have to check and make sure that these guys aren't like yeah. Someone dead, had to answer for that, you know. Seriously injured, like, yeah. Like, like Maloney, you know? what happened out there? It's like I'm sorry, boss. It was that me and the, that me and the, the cops. I mean, you know, me and the, the other guys fell on up. it. They just fell God, on it from the, the third sky. time this week, Maloney. 
We we were we it wasn't our fault. We we were standing in front of the mall with our guns pointing at the door, ready to blast away anyone who walked out. And then all of a sudden, they fall from the sky, all tied up. What is this accent? I don't know. I don't it's know, just, Maloney. It's, it's like that's just, just Maloney's voice. Oh, God Maloney. damn it, Maloney! I wanna. <laughs> I want to highlight this amazing little Photoshop job from Jade Raptor in the uh, in the Discord. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty fantastic. Good. It's surprisingly yeah. well. Um, you could probably just to to combine the three characters have it saying Ray. You know, good old Finn. <laughs> So, we are we are greeted after our introductory scenes. It's like so. Just to catch you guys up, the Great War ended. Mystery surrounds miracle of Ludendorff's defeat. So it was never known exactly what happened there, even though that would be a tough secret to keep for all the people involved. But I guess they did. Um, they've even Wait, got. What would are we be in a the tough secret to is, keep? Is this the present day now? Or... No. So this is. Oh no! Wait, no. I can't remember what. Oh wait, no, no. The original film takes place in the nineteen what forties or no thirties? No, nineteen tens, twenties. Yeah, nineteen eighteen. Right. Oh, um, oh, yeah. World War One. Right, right. Okay, and then this we, film we are goes now in forward 84. in time to the eighties. So she has right. been going for a long time. And uh, we just wait, kept... so Mala, you said that this secret would be hard to keep. Which secret is that? All of it. All of them. <laughs> I mean, just, just uh, all oh, of it. I, I thought you were talking about like being a war hero part. Uh, well, so what happened to Ludendorff and the thing with Ares? I get you have a lot of soldiers who saw all of it and know that she did mm -hmm. something there. There's no way you're keeping like the idea that it's like Ludendorff mysteriously died. That's the story. It's like uh, I feel like a bunch of those soldiers would have been uh, willing to testify what he they was, saw. He was killed by a sword. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, like all the German soldiers who just gave up after she defeated Ares, they'd be like, "Man, there was this crazy boss battle." Yeah, if they yeah. hated violence and war, you think they now? I guess they you'd want to find out the crazy soldier who came in with a sword and started killing. I also don't believe that like the discount Howling Commandos wouldn't have said a word about working with Wonder Woman. It must have. She must have told him, sworn him to secrecy. You know, it must have yeah. Been... Don't tell anyone about anything I've done. You're like, no, what? guys. Who's that old it's woman I'm seeing right now? Oh, we'll we'll get to that in a sec. First photo is okay. uh, they honor the local hero that is Steve Trevor um, for his sacrifice. Uh, the bravery so of local pilot. Uh, yeah, I wonder if they know the specifics of all of that. I don't know. Whatever. They they kept her a secret. That's the important part. And the lady from the first film who awkwardly is like Wonder Woman, you got to put on uh, clothes befitting a lady. Is is either old or dead uh, at this point? Probably dead, right? <laughs> Probably dead, yeah. More at this point, yeah. It's been like, what, 70 years? I think the movie's kind of naive in like, oh. not having people tell anyone, right? It... Yeah, I also I'd say more than kind of naive. Rumors that are kind of floating around in the background. Oh, yeah, there's rumors of this happening. It, it's much better if you do it that way. Yeah, at, least at the very then... least, it's like she's going to be an urban legend, right? Yeah, exactly. Way better than a uh, nobody a dog. Urban legend. Thousands yeah. of people kept the secret. Yeah, all the people in that town as well. Because social media didn't exist, guys, so so people can't tell anyone, right? That that's why, right? I mean, it's so dumb, <laughs> or, or whatever they were thinking. It's kind of dumb. I mean, if she's been saving well, random dumb, people, so dumb. you're right. If she's been like, saving what, random what, people in her day to day for this long. There's just no way everyone knows nothing. There's just no way. Yeah, but they, exactly. But they said that she wouldn't do that in multiple films. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 she would. Give, what explanation did that village give in the first movie when uh, it was an angel like, sent from the, the Lord above the church that she destroyed though oh yeah, that, Randy. yeah. Um, Randy Randy <laughs> Uh, yeah, all the survivors watching her do that. Um, and plus all the people on the tr in the trenches before she got there all the soldiers and stuff who saw her and all the surviving Germans mm hmm yeah, you think that like one one woman getting out of uh, a trench in no man's land and deflecting all the bullets and like with with a shield because they all just keep on targeting her shield instead of like her legs or anything besides the shield. Um, you think that that would be talked about quite a bit? No, no I think no, no. They, wouldn't to, they wouldn't want to admit they've been beaten by a woman. Too proud. 
Yeah. And and Wonder Woman got the picture. So no one talked about it, right? That that's the reason <laughs> or some shit. I don't I'm curious oh, no. how so the dumb. Chris Pine character is alive cuz I had a very stupidly flawed perception of the sequel where it's like you know they're going to the 80s it's like relative to our present day it's like oh it's a throwback he's still alive but then i remembered like oh the first movie takes place in the 1910s so like they're going forward in time yeah. where he would still I mean, be dead plus he exploded. so i don't know right yeah well, that, that, so like that, if this it, yeah. if he if he's alive does that mean like the plane full of weapons or chemicals whatever the fuck it was like didn't get blown no, up no, oh no he fucking died Okay. Yeah, he's dead. Oh no, he's dead. Yeah, well, he's dead. We'll they'll get we'll get, we'll, get, we'll we'll get, get back. Yeah, we're getting there. Don't <laughs> right. worry. Now he's back. <laughs> um, I have you know, so much to say about that. Whoa. I assume Dude. that's I assume that's where the monkey's paw comes in, where mm -hmm. it's bringing people back mm. to life somehow. Well, for now, it's nice and chill. It's just like, look, she's sad that Steve's died. She even went to his ranch. I guess it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just reintroducing you to the world of Wonder Woman. What have you missed in the past? 60 plus years it's like yeah just some stuff it's fine right um she right. still got the watch he gave her which Classic by the way panning photograph shot i'm gonna just you know just drop it in now we'll we'll talk about it a little bit later too she knew him for very little very little amount of time and it's been many 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 days since you might even say it's been many years since yeah you'd she think You'd think, yeah, she she may have, you know, just with her, just how with how life works, that some other things may have happened. But it's almost as if the events of Wonder Woman took place like a week ago, in order to yeah, pretty much <laughs> <laughs> strange. Which is funny because yeah, they often forget years. what happened in their own movie. But hey, and yeah, she even goes to restaurants to just dine with herself alone because you know what, men suck. At this point, none can compare to Chris Pine. Yeah, they kind of did. She knew for a month. I don't know. I like honestly, even rewatching the film, I can't remember how long she actually knew Chris Pine for, and I would bet it was very little. Less than a week. Less than a week. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I mean, he's a pretty awesome dude, so I can understand how she doesn't want to love again after losing him. You know, I would be the same way. But he was the first <laughs> man that she ever saw. Therefore. Therefore? Therefore what? That's it. <laughs> Therefore, that's it. Therefore. <laughs> Therefore, period. She has a rule. The first man I see, I fall in love with. And then the second to the 50th man I see, I kill. And then the rest, I mean, let's I mean, see how it goes. Come on. In, in her defense, it, it is Chris Pine. It is Chris Pine. I mean. Oh, yeah. He's, he's a charmer. And, uh, yeah, and if you remember when she first meets him, he just gets it out immediately, right in front of her, you know, and that's a bold <laughs> tactic, but it can work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. I mean, it did work, right? She's she's not yeah. moved on for 70 years or so. <laughs> <laughs> that must have been one, you this know, galaxy peen right there. The taxi ride. It's just... Like, I don't know what they were going... Like, she's just... Doesn't, She's just thinking she about Steve. She wants to put herself in a distance from men. She just doesn't want to even Honestly, yes. begin to... Like, th this is the film language portion of the film, where it's like, you see, she looks at the plane and thinks of Steve. Some guy is like, hey, want a taxi ride? And she's like, no, Steve. Like, okay. <laughs> okay. It's been, it's been okay. 65 years. Yeah. You're going to have to just... You're going to have to, like, move on. Ma'am, would you like any dessert? No. No, she's Steve. Wonder Woman. She's sad. <laughs> she's ten times as sad as the normal man. Like, you have to realize at this point that you're a demigoddess and you're immortal and you're going to outlive basically any romantic partner that you have so long as they are mortal. And that Steve would have died anyways, even if he survived the uh, the events of the first movie by this point in time because it's 1984 and it's like 66 years after that. That is yeah. just heartless. I cannot believe you would say such a thing. Mm -hmm. You don't understand at all. <laughs> Introducing. You just don't love like Diana loves. Kristen Wiig. As what even was her name? Barbara? Barbara. Mrs. Electro? Mrs. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. Uh, she's, yeah. So the whole thing, like, look at how she awkwardly is power walking to work. She wears baggy clothing. Her, her bag is awkward. Her hair is awkward. She is awkward when speaking to people. She is. Quirky. 
What is the name of him from Tasm 2? Max something, right? Max... Max Dillon. Max Dillon. She is Maxine Dillon. <laughs> She's also very much <laughs> off of uh, Selena Kyle from Batman Returns. Mm, yeah. I need to rewatch that because I'm pretty sure it's not as shit as this. <laughs> uh, no, it isn't. No, I like yeah, that movie. It's good. Statistically, aren't as shit as this. Oh, I meant specifically this intro compared to the Selena Kyle sort of intro because she's not like oh, a ditzy, klutzy idiot person, right? She's like she's a secretary. It's no, not... she's a bit more like self-deprecating and pathetic. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. She feels much more like a real person, which is weird because it's a Tim Burton Batman movie, but. <laughs> Oh, well. well, it was also <laughs> a lot less cliched by that point when that movie came out. Well, Tim Burton does more realistic mm. characters than Wonder Woman 84. <laughs> Tim Burton's depiction of, of real life became more reasonable when we hit 2020, you know? Yeah. I'll, Especially I like Danny DeVito as the Penguin. <laughs> I was the number one son, and they treated me as number two. I think That's Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman is a lot better than Anne Hathaway's, too. I adored that penguin oh yeah well, that's gonna be an e-fat <laughs> movie so for gross. sure well you better bring me i have to yes i think people want you to be in all of the e -fat movies at this point just <laughs> 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 want you laughing at everything <laughs> that well okay but that's just because they like my laughter right it's because i'm like an easy laugh that's a compliment well you have such a personality <laughs> oh you lie to me i see so Speaking of establishing things, right? She, oops, her briefcase clip clasp thing opens up. All of her papers are on the floor. Classic. Now, this place she's worked at for a, uh, a week, is it? She's she's new. Um, the I think she's new anyway. But the there's two guys walk past her and they're like, <laughs> loser. Like, oh, you think yeah, most people was... in most work scenarios are more like, oh man, you know, uh, let me help you. Yeah. yeah, it was kind of at this point when we were watching it that I was sort of getting the impression that men were shit. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. a, a pretty lady like her dropping your stuff like that in front of everybody and all these men just walk by you like... <laughs> it's like, come on, they how look far right can you at her too. Yeah, they yeah. look right at her and they like, they give her this just condescending smarmy look like, I ain't helping you. Which is uh, honestly, it's just in my experience, us. this is rare. This just doesn't happen that much. Uh, in the workplaces I've been in, if someone drops all this shit like that, one of the first things people do is like, oh shit, do you need a hand? Yeah, yeah, I swear there's, yeah, totally I swear there's a guy, they'd be like, let me help you, bro. See this. Look, there's somebody there that can see them doing this as well. This um, reminds I, me of Stranger I Things again. wonderful and pure and amazing would come by and help her out, you know? Well, that's the thing. This is a perfect setup. Who will come to her aid? Who do you guys think it'll be? It's Wonder that's Woman. Some random guy. Oh Wonder my Woman. god, it's Wonder Woman. <laughs> oh my goodness, thank goodness you were here to save the day. She Everyone's, uses her lasso to get all of the papers together, and the lasso folds them all and then alphabetizes them in order of, well, the alphabet. And then she packs them onto the suitcase, and the lasso closes it and locks it down and resets the combination and then tells her what the new combination is. Because it's a really good lasso. A uh, kiss. It is hard not to look at this scene in the same way that Spider-Man picks up Max's blueprints and hands them to him, but then Max looks at Spider-Man like, wow, you're awesome, thank you. It's almost like the exact same thing. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Um, which is funny because I don't know if any anyone caught or didn't catch it, but on Twitter someone was like, stop giving these roles to women and stop giving them to men to show men how shitty it is. Like, men have had these roles for ages. The stupid, nerdy, annoying character who then gets given one small break by someone and then becomes a villain. It's like... The first right. thing I went Someone... to was Edward Nigma from Bat uh, Batman. Oh Forever. yeah, Edward Nigma. He's a perfect yeah. example. Yeah. He is this character. Yep. Um, and then Max is obviously perfect, but uh, Iron Man three. Uh, what the hell was his name? Aldrich Kill Killian. <laughs> oh, what an Aldrich Killian. Really knows his name. Aldrich Killian. Wow. <laughs> Aldrich Killian. <Wow. laughs> Yikes. Hey, right, that's a pretty this, neat villain this name, film... right? This is all. This is also about the time that we start to get into. This movie starts to feel like Ghostbusters, twenty sixteen. I haven't and seen. I was that, really so getting those vibes mean. from watching this. Is it because of Christopher? Well, because yeah. Well, because it has kind of like an improv quality to it, like an abundance of improv. Um, with the way they try to be, with the, with I don't know. It's hard to put my finger on it, but with the. Like the the men are kind of lame and nerdy women and but they're great 
and that sort of thing. It just it was giving me those vibes. I don't know if I could put a specific finger on what it was. Just the whole aura of the movie, um, right. especially after the intros, it started to just make me feel like um, I was watching a Ghostbusters esque movie. Um, I All actually right. have that trope for you right now, Rags. Oh my god! What trope? The Ghostbusters trope. <laughs> What is this? The women are wiser. Women are wiser. What was the reference? Just because I think I might have missed it. For this film, I mean. Well, um, I mean, uh... I don't know. What do you mean? I mean, I was just going off of, off of what you were uh, just saying there, Rags, unless I'm uh, mishearing what you're talking about. Well, the, you get the vibes of the way that the characters talk and interact and how they have women behave and how they have men behave it all sort of just mixes together with this whimsical office office quality to it, office space quality to it that made made me think of ghostbusters 2016 mm. someone said it's like there's too much comedy juju, injected yeah. into it like an artificial level of comedy uh and bad comedy and someone Someone said earlier <laughs> that, uh, but Rag, she's nerdy, so not hot. Once she stops being a nerd, she's suddenly hot and everyone likes her. No guys have ever liked klutzy nerdy women, not once, not one time. Nope. Yeah, I don't like that <laughs> weird trope. That, so, oh, she doesn't have glasses anymore, therefore she's hot. Oh, she's right. hot. I can't, that's so that much like the security camera thing is this thing that I thought we would never do again, but we are, we're still doing yeah. it. Yeah. Yep. This Adding attempt glasses. of asserting that reality is just different than what it is. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, I'm yeah, no, no chick would ever go out with her or help her because she's got glasses on. Yeah, because it's not strange. the big, like, yeah, they're not touching hair, the freak. She keeps that. Yeah. She yeah. keeps the shirt. She just takes the glasses off and takes her skirt off. So she's just wearing, what, leggings or something? Undies, and everyone's yeah, like, she's whoa. Hey, damn, where, who girl? is this person? Damn, Where are the tight <laughs> clothes? She's, oh, she's not wearing makeup. On her face. As if no man could possibly tell what kind of body she might be sporting if she's wearing baggy clothes, therefore unattractive. It's like, well, I don't think that's how if that Diana works, but okay. Her no. face, which she never would because she's amazing. But if she did, then, oh yeah, she would, uh, yeah, all the guys would be helping her because she doesn't have glasses on. <laughs> if is she this, put them on, is this, <laughs> is this what Patty Jenkins thinks <laughs> men think like? <laughs> Probably. You I have to wonder. Maybe, that this, might be you do case. have to wonder. I mean, I just yeah, basic I like... humans. Oh, right. And she looks at uh, his shoes of, of, while we were recording this. It's like, wait, that's not going to be the primer for why she becomes Cheetah, right? The leopard print on his shoes. Like, why is that even there? Is it just a foreshadow, I guess? Oh, my God. That's what it is. Oh, my goodness gracious. Yep. This film is way cleverer than I thought it would be. That's what I mean. It's it's <laughs> embarrassing either film. way. Like, oh, look at how clever we are. She's got leopard print shoes. You're like, okay. <laughs> what did you think you were achieving when you did that? I don't know. Wow, that's terrible. Well, I mean, it, 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 you're not saying that that's uh, Barbara that's got the leopard print shoes, right? No, no, it's Wonder Woman. It's Diane. Right. Diana. But the fact that she has well, I think, them. I, think, Ooh. I yeah. think it's related it to this. To I think it's related to this flawed perception of men in the 80s in particular. Like I was going to say earlier that at Stranger Things did the same thing where you had the corporate guys who were such fucking assholes, all of them. I can't remember which season it was, maybe season three, three. where, uh, yeah, the, she's working in the office or whatever. And I think Gary Busey is one of the guys who's working in the building. And they're all it's like a big boys club where they're constantly like mocking the woman for being a woman. And it's just so cartoonish, right? Um, I'm gonna, I'm bullshit. gonna have to call it fair. I'm gonna leave for a while, do some family stuff for New Year's, and then I'll be, uh, and I'll be back in a while after that. Very well. Cool, man. Yeah. See you around, Mr. Ragu. Catch you later, Rags. Yeah, I'll see y'all in a bit. Toodaloo. Enjoy discussing Wonder Woman. It's amazing. I love it every <laughs> second. It's an adventure. So, uh, yeah, until then, see ya. Happy New Year, Rags. Happy New yeah, Year. Later, Rags. Happy New Year. Yay. Happy New Year. Um, Can someone send me that screenshot for research? What, the, the <laughs> leopard print? <laughs> Shoes? Wait, which screenshot? I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, I think, because I, I was like, you can just grab it yourself, you know. Get light no, shot. Kidding, yeah. Everyone should get light shot. Anyone who does not have light shot should get light shot. There you go. That was a promo for light what? shot. I'm not paid by them. I, I should, of course. <laughs>
Um, <laughs> what, a sellout. What, it, what is light shot? I don't know what that is. So it's a it like replaces your print screen, and it lets you. Uh, I will demonstrate it right now. So. Oh no! I've seen you do it, where you can crop a section of the monitor, right? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, that's though. what you were doing. You get you get a little pen. You get draw straight lines. You get draw arrows. You get draw squares. Oh. You get highlights. Cool. So if I want to highlight, she's wearing glasses here. So ugly. Make sure we got that. <laughs> um, there's even a bat because obviously I didn't do that very well this time. I did though. That's much better. And um, yeah, then different forms of saving, and um, I can just uh, temporary <laughs> copy and temporary paste, and it's a super useful tool. I recommend everyone get it. That's cool. Uh, speaking of modern art, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I guess we're at the point now because my memory gets a little bit hazy in this part of the film. So anybody with any thoughts you want to share, go right ahead. Uh, um. Keep an eye on the suitcase in the scene, by the way, because the papers sticking out of it change from shot to shot. Well, is that a problem, CJ? Yes. How do you know it's not a magic <laughs> suitcase? A briefcase? Because it's not been established that it's a magic suitcase. You're supposed to pretend that it is. But if... in the comics, it, in the comics, they have... <laughs> but in the comics! <laughs> 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 no, that means it's fine. Well, it's in the according comics, to so it's accurate. According to the official merchandise of this movie, uh, the, the briefcase actually is magical. Um, yeah, it shows up in Wonder Woman uh, issue uh, twenty-seven. It's everything, it's canon. Everything is magical if you believe it is. Yeah, honestly, oh, that's the real theme of this movie. <laughs> um, I'm blanking a little bit. It's like they they talk and then and then we basically. I'm just trying to get to the part where they get the the monkey's paw, and uh, she manages to read the inscription, which there's something about a wish on there, right? Which prompts them to try wishing with it. Mm. I'm uh, I'm going to take this opportunity to bow out now uh, before this discussion goes any further. Because mm -hmm. as fun as this is, I've had enough of this movie for one night. It's just <laughs> <laughs> wow. it's just it's just too stupid. <laughs> I hate oh, this movie so much. Not even like, uh, not even a sixth through it, and you're already dead. Damn. See, all that, uh, this is why I wanted to address the big thing first because I reckon <laughs> everyone who's leaving is missing out on the the biggest. Hey, hey, right, you, well, can, you can, you whatever, <laughs> whatever you have to say about the big thing, just assume I agree because I hate <laughs> the big thing too. Oh, but I want <laughs> right? to see your reaction. <laughs> oh, I've already, I've already seen this movie. I know it's total dog shit. <laughs> okay. But yeah, <laughs> the big thing is bad. Um, but I'll let I'll let you guys suffer through it because I've had enough. I I need a stiff drink and to regain some faith in humanity. Well, um, if if an hour passes and you want to talk about it again, we'll probably still be here. Or whatever. Yeah, it's completely up to you. But uh, thanks for jumping like, in. No. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, thanks for having me on, guys. Uh, nice to meet you. Who whoever I haven't met yet. Um, Howdy. You no? too, man. Happy New nice Year. Nice to see you again. Anybody Happy, else? New, Happy Year. New Year, guys. Uh, Happy enjoy New this train wreck. Bye. <laughs> Boy. The dog what a bigot. Good riddance. Yeah, uh, I'm tired of the, the hatred. I think <laughs> it's it's getting upset. Like, oh, it's so bad I had to leave. It's like, that's ridiculous. And I, I, <laughs> I, I, do, I, I really do like the idea that he has nowhere to be and nothing to do. He's just sick of this movie. <laughs> he can't <laughs> he handle it anymore. Left. <laughs> I mean, honestly, we're not even close to the insanity this movie offers like it's it's particularly <laughs> intense uh so yeah they read the inscription and um they both wish for for something each uh in in barbara's case she wants to be like diana and in diana's case she wants steve trevor to i don't think we get the wording right she just she's silent when she wishes for it if she doesn't actually make a wish. it's it's a telepathic monkey's paw. Wait, yeah. because later, like people need to say it out loud for sure, mm -hmm. right? Um, well, that's that's uh, one of Wonder Woman's powers. Uh, she's able to make wishes silently. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Please oh tell gosh. me this wish granting device doesn't just fucking come out of the ether and is not somehow tied to like the DC, like well, it's like a... does it is is it <laughs> does it originate from the Amazonian world somehow? It is apparently. Uh, the gods had items of import in the world. Uh, the the lasso of truth is one of them. 
and this thing is apparently one of them too. Oh, uh, okay. I yeah, they're I all got, uh, Voldemort's Horcruxes. I don't know what this one like. I don't know how it works at all. I, like what? Yeah. <laughs> a trickster god. You get made it one for... wish. You get infinite wishes. Do you have to say the wish out loud? Do, does the stone decide? Like, does it fill in the blanks if you're? really vague in your wish? Does it have creative license over your wish? Who knows? I, I wish to wish like, with no repercussions. Up, <laughs> what about wishing for, and, and just, just no, um, f f fuck the consequences. Like, I, I wish for my wish to come with absolutely nothing that I am not happy with. You know, and the thing is like, hmm. <laughs> yeah. It initially you have a really long run-on sentence. Is that one wish? Or does it like... You know, like, I wish for this, comma, and also this is part of that original wish. It's all one thing. Well, I, no, I think there are some people in the movie who do wish for multiple things like that. Like, yeah, like, uh, Cheetah, Barbara yeah. does. Barbara Cheetah, whatever her name is. Oh, you're talking about how she wishes not only to be, like, Diana, but to eventually be really powerful and apex predator? Yeah, she gets two wishes for some reason. Oh, that, but wasn't, that, that wasn't, that wasn't a, a wish. wish. That was actually granted by the guy. Yeah, it, it seemed was... to be granted by his... Wait. So, so that's the thing about these mechanics that we're gonna have to wrestle over as we go through because they're so strange. It seems when Maxwell is 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 getting wishes done that he gets to grant his own wish as a result that relates to taking something from the person, almost like a monkey paws. I mean, he gets to, he gets to um, delegate a payment that he'll yeah. take in response to the wish, and, and he uses then, that to provide when, Cheetah when, with her wish. Yeah, he, he gives Wait, payments. So... To from other wishes. Which other wish is that payment for? One of the random wishes that come through. Yeah, because there were a few hundred uh, thousand. That's yeah. so goddamn stupid. Mm -hmm, <laughs> it's, yep. it's all incredibly <laughs> strange. It seems like a very lazy plot device on the part of the well, screenwriter well, as that, an excuse to bring itself. back. Well, we will talk about it deeper in there, but it's like he had to take something specifically that someone had, like he'll take their health. So I'm wondering, who the hell did he take the um, cheetah fur thing from to give to, to, to Cheetah? Like, right. it, it was shown he had to take something to give something if it wasn't a wish, and, and she gets fur. Uh, well, he made, that, he made that wall out of nowhere. I don't think he took a wall from somewhere else. So I, I think he designed the cheetah suit in his head uh, <laughs> and gave it to her. <laughs> I mean, um, is it a suit, or does she become like a hybrid No, she becomes, monster? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a hundred different her. Yeah. But the thing is, that could have happened if it was a wish for her to become the apex predator. But she doesn't doesn't wish for it. She says she wants to be an apex predator, and then Maxwell uses the mechanic of being able to take a payment for a wish to give her the apex okay. predator powers. Okay, okay. What if a cat was watching? And ah, the cat made a wish. Mm, that could do it. That made a wish. I mean, yes. if if she can make a wish silently without saying a thing, right? Then perhaps the cat was looking at it, going, "Man, I could use a mouse right about now," and it happened, and that's how you know we got Cheetah out of it. You got uh, it. I think that's mm. it. Cat, the a cat made a wish. Must <laughs> I mean, it's it is as logical as everything else. Yes, <laughs> it lines up real well. Uh, so then, random dude is like, "Let me test it. I wish for a coffee." And then he's like, lol, that's stupid. And then walks away, and someone's like, hey dude, here's a coffee. And he's like, oh, neat. And he doesn't think twice about what just happened. He's just like, whatever. <laughs> uh, but obviously our two characters, that's enough to convince them. They're like, shit. And so they're gonna you know, do it. would have been work. a really funny like rewrite of this movie. Instead of Max Lord stealing it, it's this coffee guy who <laughs> comes in at night. And... But you can only have one wish per person, so. He's already used his coffee wish. You're not going to account for that major plot hole? Correct. Wow. See, it seems like, because when Maxwell has the wish mechanic, he, he needs them to say it for it to take effect. Yeah. Like, there's even one point where they say, I want this. Like, well, you need a wish for it. Or do you wish for this? And if they say yes, bang, it's confirmed. So it's pretty strong that there has to be a like an actual voicing of a wish. or, or a Not only that, you're right, but not only that, at one point, his son tries to make a wish later, and he's like, oh, no, 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 stop it. But, like, he had already said the wish. He just chooses to not grant it, even though it was said out loud. <laughs> so well, No, he wasn't touching him then, so they have to touch him. 
And so when the but he doesn't touch anyone finished, in the last half of the movie. In the last, half I know movie. that's where. It gets no, you're wrong. <laughs> they <laughs> specifically say the word touch, and that's enough. They say with the the technology they have, the touch is involved through particles. Yes, so. the particles are touching him. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, so the light. The Look at you trying to trying touching? to nitpick when they were explicit. They explained it fully. Particles and touching. God. Well, if if the light from the screen is enough to touch them, then the light from him in the room is enough to touch him. Yeah, of course. I mean, it, it totally doesn't make sense. But that's what they were trying to say, is that the son was about to make a wish, but then he pushed away so it wasn't touching, so the wish didn't stick. And then, uh, I'm not touching you. <laughs> yep, yeah. And then and then he, he was touching him when he says, I want you to be great as well, Daddy, or something like that. And then that was his wish, because the wind blew. And he's like, oh, well, there, there it Which goes. is something we will need to... To make sure we've made clear to people as we go forward with different things, but when you wish, a wind blows at you. Um, yes. Weird, but you get a little gust of wind. Okay. Uh, that will be important cool. for the finale because <laughs> it does mechanically <laughs> come in. <laughs> you, I like no. anybody who doesn't know this story. Hearing that, you'll be like, "What do you mean?" It's like, "Oh, you wait." <laughs> 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 And so, uh, yeah, I, I think this is, scene mostly ends, and uh, I think it's just the uh, Maxwell Lord ends up donating a portion of money to the, these, this group of people's stuff because he is he wants to get that uh, monkey's paw, right? That's his goal. Does anyone know how he found out about it? Well, just just uh, research. He has papers on it. It's just like he reasons. Just, just he knows. yeah, just found out. He got some people. Okay. Did did some archaeology somewhere and Cultural they found it. Anthropologists don't know it, but he does because reasons. Does um, this wish granting relic have like a comic book origin in the DC comics? Apparently, Maxwell Lord's powers are not the same as in this film. He's a telepathic person in in the comics. Okay, oh, so I assume that most of this is made up. Right. You it's can't really even blame the comics. Rules to make up too, because it's like it's such a. Like they're, they're basically making him into a genie, which will make a story centered around him a little bit harder to write when factoring in all of these various little rules. And uh, it seems like it was a very arbitrary decision to make their job a lot harder than it could have been. It feels too built around the idea of bringing back Chris Pine because they killed him off in the first movie. It's like, oh shit, how do we bring him back? Like, we, we shouldn't. We have need him. an actor or something. Yeah. It's, it's definitely like, a big Oh, I know whoops. this thing that grants wishes. You're right. Um, and yeah, so the watch that he'd given, given her in the last film starts to wobble. Uh, I don't know what they're implying. <laughs> like is, <laughs> is the watch, is he about to reform with the watch on? Because it, for some reason, the watch simply works when his life essence is back on Earth somewhere. There's it's a, a metaphor, guys. <laughs> you take you too seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know what they were trying to tell me, that's all. Jeez. Um, so then we have this incredibly poorly written... Oh, God. Like, I miss good dialogue. I really do. Um, yeah. If I remember correctly, because we made fun of this in the fucking EFAP movies, it's basically, these two are out together. It's like, neat. Uh, then it was like, do you come out much? And Dan is like, no. And then she's like, wow, you're really hot, though. <laughs> like that's that's essentially like how how the conversation. And you're like okay, and then um, yeah. uh, they, they get onto the like they're trying to get him onto the topic of her talking about how she once fell in love and stuff. It's incredibly clunky. And um, did do they have a prior relationship or are they just friends now because she helped her pick up her papers? <laughs> I can't remember. Maybe at best they were like coworker acquaintances. They'd seen each other around, but this is definitely the closest they've ever been before. Okay. Gal Gadot pity, is really hot. Right? Though. It was that's like true. pity. She felt bad and was like, sure, I'll go out to lunch with you. <laughs> sure, I'll have a drink with yeah, the weird sure. kid. So it's it's charity, okay? And <laughs> yeah, kind of just waiting for the scene to end. There's a lot of that in this film. Uh, I think a lot of people felt that way. Um, yeah, everything to do with... Have you like, ever been in love? Uh, oh, okay. Uh, uh, and oh, you guys, I thought you were asking Mahler. <laughs> uh, have you guys ever like watched a movie and thought the protagonist's plotline could be removed and the film would be better? Because that's how I felt about Wonder Woman 84. If it was just about Maxwell, yeah. I feel like this film would have been a lot better. 
<laughs> if it was just Maxwell, this could have been like a 90s sort of like business dad doesn't spend enough time with his kid and kid wishes he'd spend more time with him or whatever, you know, that kind of movie. It's funny because uh, that's like the premise of of um, like Liar Liar, I think, or maybe uh, it's been a while since I've seen that movie, but like a, a kid wishes that his dad will like stop lying, I guess. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. 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 And what's hilarious to me is that in that movie, the the kid's name is Max. <laughs> Damn, they ripped it off. Kind of, they were inspired. Let's just put it that way. But yeah, you, yeah. Uh, both the one woman. I hesitate and... to call anything about this movie inspired, but you know that's just mean. You just hate you, you hate not only women, but probably men too. You're just a big old hater. Because because Maxwell's storyline is beautiful in this. Okay. Honestly, it kind of is. We'll we'll talk a little <laughs> bit about what I I don't know. Shad, did you feel anything about Maxwell was working for you? Because we we thought there was some stuff there. I mean, I I think the actor committed to the role, and um, he, he like it's interesting how over the top acting can sometimes sell and then sometimes not work. I think his over the top actually sold a bit. Where like, like he made it work, um, and that was a little, that was a little surprising, um. <laughs> His motivation, it worked. and I wasn't sure if that was the corruption of the stone working on him or not. Where you know he wanted to be rich and have all the oil, but when he becomes the stone, is like wanting every wanting to grant everyone's wishes almost uncontrollably. And I was like, is that a yeah, like a desire to grant wishes? Yeah, it's like okay, and, and yeah. You're right, because it doesn't make a lot of sense, especially remember the one guy who was like, oh, I asked for a farm, but I didn't ask for... What What could he possibly... <laughs> why would he have stopped there at that moment to say, hey, you, you need a farm, don't you? Yeah, well, it makes no sense. the guy wished for, for a farm, you know? You saw, it, it, it seems that he had... As if the, the stone itself had a innate desire to grant wishes, it transferred to him when he became the stone. Um, sure, but I didn't see that. That's the thing. It was confusing. So. You know? uh, so anyway, Kristen Wiggs heading home, and she's really nice to a hobo guy. That'll pay off later, I guess, um, when she's mean in front of him. Because that's writing. Uh, and then she keeps on walking, and unfortunately for her, there is a sexual predator on the loose. I mean, and, uh, it always, you know, <laughs> seems to be a sexual predator in these movies. Like, just, they, they're, they're everywhere. Apparently. And, uh, and I'm not saying they don't exist, I'm just saying their representation in film seems to be very unbalanced. And yeah. What is what yeah, does she especially the Go ahead. What does she say to the hobo guy? I, I don't know, she gives oh, him food, food, I think. Food. Yeah. yeah I'm oh, nice she person. does, okay. Something like that. I thought she told him to fuck off or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy gets real real touchy feely real quick. And uh mm -hmm. Of course, as you do, it's looking grim for our hero. What will happen? And then, through the power of editing, he's kind of gone, and she nearly falls, but Wonder Woman catches her. Like, huh? What is happening here? What, what is going on? And of course, it, it, it would seem that Wonder Woman threw him across the room and grabbed Barbara. I guess uh, across the area. I, I don't know. Oh wow! D we've defeated sexual harassment. I guess for now. And uh, yeah, and she's like, huh, weird, I don't know. And I don't understand why she would do... Why wouldn't she have just helped her and disappeared so that she wouldn't uh, incriminate herself in terms of like, who the, who's this vigilante? Because it's like, it's obviously you. But secondly, why not just turn up as you? You don't need to be Wonder Woman. You just be like, hey, stop doing that. And the guy will be like, oh shit, yeah. another woman. I feel like right away the antagonist would have been a lot more interesting if she was portrayed as like a competent, professional, refined employee who like succumbs to like the power of whatever it is that the relic grants her, right? Rather than just being as pathetic as possible to maximize the arc of like, you know, she's this clumsy, you know, just pathetic character who nobody respects to this like supervillain character. Like, I I feel like, yeah, that was just I, unnecessary. Her, I feel like I've seen this character before, again and again. <laughs> well, uh, okay, so but well, he, the the thing is, is that her arc stops halfway through, and then they just completely ignore the rest of it. She disappears for most yeah. of the film, and then comes back at the end. To so, fight. like, right. 
there could be an arc there. I actually, and I know that this may be something that sounds controversial in this, uh, <gasps> this, this <laughs> but I would have liked to see more of her story. I think that there is a potential character in her. I think that she could have a cool arc um, where mm -hmm. she she does, you know, like goes through all these things, but they don't show that at all. They take the cool sections that could be there and they just throw them the fuck out and then focus on the weird shit on, <laughs> that's well, going on in some other storyline. Despite spending so long with her in this film, um, it's really bare bones. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, Look at her falling over, look at her having no luck with men, look at her feeling ugly, look at her feeling uncomfortable, look at her getting harassed, and then the reverse happens when she gets her powers. It's like, now look at her. People are watching her, she moves by, now she's pretty, I don't know, uh, like, she's really strong, um, she's also agile to a degree until when she, and then she becomes a cheater. And it's like, eh. <laughs> also, I Ryan. just wanted to highlight the fact that Wonder Woman just like walks away without doing anything about the guy that like <laughs> attempted to rape Barbara. It's confusing. It's like, is he okay? Like, I know that what he was doing was was wrong. But is he dead? And it's like, no, he'll be back later in the film for a really awesome payoff. Can't wait to get there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, round and two. Let's, let's not yeah, apprehend sorry. him or anything like that. What that guy was doing was really bad, of course. I mean, was he trying to rape her though? I don't know. The this, this scene is obviously a little ambiguous as to what would have happened had uh, Wonder Woman not gotten there in time. Though, whatever he did up to that point doesn't earn him the, the, the death penalty, I assume. So maybe if you could just no. see if he's okay? <laughs> like, I don't know. Well, she's obviously... I, I'm going to say that Wonder Woman is alright with sexual harassment because she watched it when the... Uh, uh, briefcase was knocked over she just stood there and watched she didn't stand up to anybody she's not like making her workplace better well oh, she's also fine with the this. ultimate criticism also so, uh is, does the scene imply that the guy's also like drunk out of his mind not that that's excusing what he's doing but maybe yeah uh he's, he seems like... to be constantly drunk i think <laughs> this is like his <laughs> personality i don't know so um she just takes off her clothes and 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 then <laughs> removes. Is, she hasn't removed the glasses is this yet. Directly after her wish, she, so she wishes to be. She like wishes. Diana. Goes to sleep, wakes up, and now we're at that point. Yeah. So um. Yeah, she she keeps on her baggy top, but just takes off her skirt, and she's wearing her leggings underneath, and, and see, now she's attractive. She's agile and to a degree like lucky now too. It's like oh, oh, things have changed. This will archetype. Things are getting different. And look at. Look at her, wearing things that that uh, accentuate her body now, immediately, too. Wow, how life is changing for her, thanks to that monkey's paw. <laughs> it feels so generic, doesn't it? It's like, oh, oh look, yeah. guy who used to be mean to her is like, whoa, you're, like, attractive. Any more boxes to <laughs> so take, <shallow>. guys? <laughs> it's so shallow. Baby's first, yeah, guys like, are screenplay. Oh. <laughs> hey, but, like, look at you. Just the way they do it. It's so bad. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, I hate bad. this guy. He had. He had I what? hate the guy because he had a popped collar. I, I just don't like popped collars. <laughs> <laughs> There's yeah, a I scene where like he it. has two popped collars. Oh, fuck pop. Oh, I'm my sorry. God. I think the... it comes up later. There's a pink Most... shirt and a white shirt that both have popped collars. I remember that. The douchiest of all plays, the duel. And then. Pop collar. Uh, then we get Maxwell Lord. He is introduced. Uh. And I guess it's here to carry the movie. Yeah, <laughs> to make sure. Yeah, pa Pedro Pascal is actually like acting in this film. It's pretty cool compared to Mandalorian. Like in this, he's doing all <laughs> kinds of emotions, and he he's playing a character with many layers. It was neat to see. He's honestly the main thing that I found entertaining and engaging about this film. Uh, mm -hmm. And so you immediately get this blast of he's well known he's rich he's charismatic and uh he's he's obviously the the person that is going to be helping fund them but his ulterior motive is to get at the monkey's paw um i don't honestly like the scene where they just meet up that's pretty much that uh the only thing to probably highlight is that i don't know that everybody's really happy and paying attention to uh barbara now Kristen wig is more popular how terrifying and you got suspicious also, eyes from uh, Wonder Woman. I suppose this is as good a time as any to mention the fact that uh, Max Lord is 
the best part of this movie and Steve Trevor being the best part of the original, the first Wonder Woman, means that the best part of the Wonder Woman movies are the men. Damn. So there's that. Um, maybe not the best if you're like trying to go for a female empowerment sort of movie, that the most interesting and compelling characters are the men. But Also, you know, dude, the part where well, the man has to convince the woman to let him go. Like, not well, that it, empowering for her. I'd, I'd say that um, it's only a natural consequence of having much better actors playing the male characters and also giving them like actual material to work with as opposed to what they do with Diana. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's a big part of it. Yeah. If, the, if Wonder Woman was as charismatic as Pedro Pascal is in this movie, it'd, uh, it'd be a lot better for sure. Well, hey, she so winked. Like, she winked at that one child. Okay. Did we talk about how Diana just hated this guy for no apparent reason? She just walked in and was like, sus on him? She can tell bad character, you know, like, like evil people just by looking at them because she's perfect. Must. Uh, and also, um, uh, the other lady, she was fully into him. They, they were like, they were building chemistry. And then Wonder Woman comes in and basically cuts her off. Like you can, you are you to suggesting work. that she is a chemistry black hole? What are you? What, <laughs> how dare you? No, but even even in the dialogue, right? They're they're talking, and then she literally kind of cuts off. Says, "Shouldn't you get back to work now?" Like she's trying to. It's like here's a girl who doesn't get a lot of interaction with men, and you know, and uh, and it looks like she's getting somewhere with someone now. And then Wonder Woman just says, "All right, enough of this." <laughs> Look. Okay. That didn't seem too nice. Say, so. Max, when he's coming into his building, is like it, the 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 payoff is going to be what we learn about uh, his m monetary state. But uh, it was just funny that like one of his secretaries, is like, "Oh no, I just missed you before I could tell you something really important." It's like couldn't have been that important. You had a really long time to tell him as he was moving through the whole <laughs> building. But okay, um, and they they do a quick. There's a magazine about the king of crude oil, I guess, and the. Obviously, we, we know that he's supposed to be that, and he's looking really sad. This is way better than what they did with Kristen Wiig already. It's like, wait, you just showed him to be really confident and uh, charismatic, and everyone knows him, yet he's really annoyed and arguably sad in this elevator while looking at a magazine. It's like, hmm, I wonder what's going on. And he's looking at all these past due bills. Like, ah, I understand now. And then you get the big visual of his offices essentially being cleared out. There's nobody really there, and it's all a mess. Like, it's all Are a show. Are you telling me he's not just one-dimensional evil corporate guy? That he actually is well-rounded? That's what I mean. He's, uh, it's not too bad. Yeah. <laughs> and his son is here, which is awkward, and that's what the secretary is trying to tell him, is that this was his weekend or whatever to take care of the son, and he doesn't want the son to see this, obviously, because... Uh... Maybe Yoda is there? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's old baby Yoda. Um. But um, I feel like in a, in a matter of 30 seconds, we've got the premise of this character now. It's all sorted. And the main Yeah, being, they did it really well. I feel, I mean, just compared to the Kristen Wiig one, which is embarrassing, but this one is like, ah, oh, I see. Okay, all right, cool. I'm interested. Let's see where it goes. And the um, I like that his major thing is that he wants to look impressive and great to his son, rather than just, I want power or something like that. Um... He wants his son to think of him as successful. That's that's neat. We can you know, we can go places with that. And I think at this point, when we were watching it, we were like, "Oh shit, this is like a scene. That's interesting." <laughs> we had that like that quiet. We had that like we we were watching with quiet investment, as yes. you would put it. And yeah, he's trying to explain to his son that like things are chill. It's fine. Stop stop worrying. But there's a, there's a dude in the room, one of his investors, who is tired of his bullshit, and um. What's interesting at this point is we weren't sure if he was genuine or not, Maxwell, as in like, if he was tricking his investors because he knew that the company was a disaster, or if he believed that he really could uh, succeed. And I think at this point it is that he believes it and that this ties into that opening scene you see. He should accept that he's only ever going to make it through evil means and that his position right now is loss. You know, stop wishing for things to be better, guys. <laughs> Evil <laughs> wishes are for liars. Tr the truth will set you free. And yeah, the 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 investor basically just tells him, "Fuck you." Uh, and I think it the scene ends with him trying to balance 
in, you know, reassuring his son with anger that everything is falling apart. And again, Pedro Pascal has to act. It's pretty cool. I don't know if you guys have seen that before. Um, you know, acting, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> It's refreshing. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, I loved this, him in, in Narcos. Movie especially. He, yeah, he was great in Narcos. I hear that. Well, he was fucking... I thought he was great in Game of Thrones. I just don't get why... Um, he was, yeah. What they did with him in Mando. He, he doesn't really do anything. No, nah, he's um, wasted in Mando. I agree. Because people, Cause people say, like, you know, Infinis, some people... he's got the helmet on. It's like, yeah, but he still has a voice. You can do a lot with a voice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He does a lot with his voice in this movie, that's for sure. And a lot of people I've heard describe him as over the top in this movie. And I like I can get that, but he's the only interesting character. So I don't know. There's a weird thing between like, obviously, he's a little bit cartoonish in the way he um, not in his character, but like his mannerisms and behavior. He's kind of over the top, but at least it's interesting. You know, at least it's compelling to watch. It's like. It's not the same sort of energy, but it's like Jack Nicholson in The Shining. I mean, I can believe people, some people this character in the '80s trying to follow that American yeah. dream and just not quite getting it and trying to impress. I can believe he's he's a he's a larger than life character, as they call it. Yeah, over the yeah. top people do exist where they're even their expressions are overly exaggerated for effect. Like this might not be the best example. It's the only one that comes to mind. If you have a look at some of the um, footage of Mussolini and the way he acted and the posed and stuff in when he was talking, it's like he's a caricature. It's like what he really acted like that, and he really did. <laughs> it's like, oh wow! And so there are people who exaggerate their expressions to almost a unrealistic way in the real world. And it's so yeah, he's, and he's imagine. super compelling in this movie. You just kind of like stare at him in silence the whole time, like. There's all this crazy nonsense happening, but whenever he's on screen, you're like, oh, you just shut up and pay attention. It's great. Well, we were way more excited to see his scenes than any other character. Oh, yeah. It's the, like... the role that he's playing in Mandalorian strikes me as a very, like, the most uncompelling role for an actor Shitty. that you could possibly imagine. <laughs> just because, like, he's supposed to be a very, like, monotone, unemotional character. And not only that, but he's constantly wearing a fucking helmet. <laughs> like, there's no range. You can't, you can't show off at all, like, your acting ability. It's just like, put on the suit, do the action, do the thing. Like, there's just no dimensionality to it. Also, hi, know. Rex. I guess you Hello, only take hi. a role like yeah, that because it's uh, Star Wars. Yeah, sorry, Rex. Hey, but... Sort of, hey, it, no, it's fine. I just got here. Uh, a little bit of a change of plans. It's, it's raining here, and my car's windshield wipers are not working. So I'll add that to the pile of, to the pile of things in my life I got to take care of. But that means I can't make this trip, so yeah, here I am. However, fortuitously, we're on my my favorite scene in Wonder Woman eighty four. <laughs> this is uh, this is the best one. I don't think, I don't think he's being sarcastic, everyone. I think he's being serious. No, right? I am. Yeah. yeah, I am. I, I'm I'm being completely one hundred percent in earnest here. Yeah, this is uh, mm -hmm. I think the best scene in the film. Though I think it's very closely tied with another scene with these characters in this location that happens. Yep later yes but this is where we were legitimately like became interested and invested in a character and what they well, cared about talk about confusion in terms of like oh i'm ready to just laugh at this film and then this film presents this and you're like okay hmm all right <laughs> if that's what we want to do yeah right. uh we were super interested to see where this goes unfortunately they completely squander this idea and concept and characters but man, for a moment, they had us. And every time you're interested in Maxwell, cut back to Wonder Woman. You're like, no, 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 uh, no, 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 no. Wonder Woman's shit. She's, yeah, Wonder yeah. Woman shouldn't be in this movie about I, Wonder Woman. Yeah, I, think, I feel like she brings Wonder Woman down. <laughs> and if, if we can just get rid of the Wonder Woman element, these films will be great. Make it I a know, yeah. Maxwell 84. That's what we've sort of been calling it. Because she's just <laughs> like a personality black hole. And there's nothing you could get from her. It's all just, there's nothing. Her face is constantly blank. Her delivery is horrible. And then you have that compared to Maxwell and Pedro acting. And you're like, damn, it's like night and day. I don't give a shit about Diana and her character. We could call it that. <laughs> but man, it's just, she's so shit in her own movie. It is such a shame. They did nothing with her. So I'm going to do the best I can to explain what happens next, because I get lost myself. So she wants to find the uh, the monkey's paw, and she finds um, 
the receipt at the bottom of it for it being sold to Max Lord, presumably? Or is this Max Lord provided it? So, no, I think Max bought it on the black market through the internet and they and the uh, yeah, black market dealers said okay sold to maxwell lord and they were gonna get ready to ship it out to him before the robbers came in and stuffed everything up right and so it's in here which means this gives one woman the lead to go to she goes to a party is it at his house well this is the weird thing right so i'm assuming she thinks max took it because it's not there but in reality it's in the other lady's office yeah so if she just asked around the office a bit more, she would have found it, but she doesn't. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, and it's really odd. But yeah, back to Kristen Wiig. This is this is the film. It goes Max Lord. You're like, ooh, what a woman. Oh, Kristen Wiig. Oh my oh. God, you're in the film. Yeah, okay. This film is a roller coaster of disappointment and hope. Yeah, it's it really tricks you. <laughs> so here she is, super hot Kristen Wiig. They removed her glasses and. Look at the wonders it did. She's almost a completely transformed wow. person. And you're just sitting there like, huh? Oh my god. Even the did person who worked there. Different. She's just wearing something tight. Exactly. So, she was doing that the last time yeah. we saw her. Her legs, anyway. Like it's. And look at this woman. Yeah, it's like, that whoa. Was just, that was Is improvisation. She... <laughs> Is she... Even the chick who works here, who's looking in multiple directions at one time, even she can tell that <laughs> this chick is... Whoa! Smoking, Damn. smoking. Like I, I work here. Can I, I just say I don't really? Time. You don't really what? Is she, I, I, is she paranormally I, influenced at this point? Can I just like, say she's not really hot? <laughs> I'm sorry. Right? I don't find Kristen Wiig hot. I'm sorry. The character, her, her, find her I art has in so many dimension. quotes. Is that why? No, it's because. Her arc would work if she actually became hot, and she's not hot, so it doesn't really work for me. I'm just, I just putting it out there. Well, she, I, don't, I don't understand. She working. took her glasses you don't find off her though, hot because she didn't become hot, but she was always attractive. Oh wait, is he saying? No, I, he's like, saying she's ugly, or well, just in general? I, I, I don't find her. No, I, I just don't find her attractive. So I, I'm not buying all of this happening. This, this, I mean, why I could I'm you don't have to find her attractive get, if you to find understand Christ that other people can find her attractive. Sorry, you, you got choppy, right, Rags? I'm sorry. The Singapore oh, is not helping um, us right now. No, no. Well, like, but everyone, you could see why people would find her attractive, right? Yeah, I, I mean, it doesn't do it for me, but I could see that. Yeah, I would yeah, attractive see a, if I yeah, had, you know, a, no three wishes, but pretty good. I'm just like, curious I'll, I'll if this has her. anything to do with the relic, or if she's just trying a new outfit out right now. To, oh, like, well, so there is an element of, does it just make people attracted to her because of, as part of the, yeah. the thing? I, I would assume there's a supernatural allure happening because of the wish. That, right. That's my take. Yeah, probably. Um, so yeah, it, it's, just, it's just bizarre to watch, because you're like, but all she did was take the glasses off, though, and it's like, no. It's just bizarre. Yeah, if all it, if all she needed to do was a makeover, did she really need the relic? <laughs> That's the lesson she has also, to learn. Right? <laughs> well, the relic also like influences people to like be enamored with her, right? I think so. I see. So that's also an element of it. Yeah, just translate. Um, a lot of things translate weird in this film in terms of just what's happening right now. Oh yeah, we had a huge misunderstanding about like Diana's powers and everything until <laughs> like the end. I don't know. We're probably still at that point. <laughs> I'm still confused about it, pals, man. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I'm pretending like everything's been made clear. So yeah, Kristen Wiig and Gal Gadot turn up to this place. This place is also the place in which Kristen Wiig gives mm -hmm. up her, or, or Maxwell gets the monkey's paw. So it's 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 the office still, right? Yeah, this or is do they, already at the office. Or do they leave to go to the office in this scene? They, I assume it's like the same building. Right. It's just they a work little... in a large building. Yeah, it's the Smithsonian, I think. Yeah. Okay. It's a big, they have a it's big place, too. and there's a lot of buildings in the Smithsonian, and you can walk from one to the other. I just wanted to make buildings. sure, because I, I couldn't tell if... She's trying to get to Max to find out if he's got the monkey's paw. That's what Wonder Woman's doing. Meanwhile, Kristen Wiig is just... Because she's attractive, slash, he wants to get to her office? I can't remember if he finds out. More like he wants to get into her orifice. Which one? 
funny. Hey, any hole's a goal. No. <laughs> that made me giggle. Yeah. Including the nose. I mean, the nose. No. Who knows? Maybe it's a hole. Maybe she's ah. into that. <laughs> Maybe that's what the weird monkey's paw rock power was. Like, I'm going to take away all of your normal fetishes and give you these fucking weird ones. That's all that's left. That is a, a strong meme right there. Reduced, Reduced by dick suckle. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, <laughs> dick suckle does a lot of hard work, and I think we should appreciate it. Yeah, he work, He does work hard, I will say that. Um, and yeah, so they, they get close real fast, and through the seduction Maxwell provides, he sneaks the... Uh, the monkey's paw, which is weird, because he probably could just get it himself anyway. Couldn't he just walk yeah. there and grab it? I don't know. It's a weird scene, because it's just like, why did you do all of this to get it? You could have just gotten it. Yeah, it was the door. Also, where did he put it? Uh, In its pocket. You were talking about whole goal, rags. <laughs> um, I guess, yeah, because they, they go to her office, and I think they're going to just just do the do and he sneakily grabs it <laughs> do the do <laughs> it's the Sorry, it's continue. the it's the monetizable way of saying they fuck but they don't actually or at least i don't know i don't know they're, they're not going to show that on wonder woman well, 84 yeah, that's when he grabs the thing so after ah, there's a there's a joke in here somewhere i'm trying desperately to form it grabs her thing oh no no it rocks uh I, I mm, getting their rocks off some. some yeah, there. I'm trying to trying to I'm trying to work it into the narrative in some seamless way, which I've already clearly abandoned. <laughs> but we're just gonna have to chalk <laughs> this one up to it wasn't meant to be. Um, so that's yeah, that's his plot line. Meanwhile, Wonder Woman still not entirely clear of what her goal is. She's sort of just walking around, and then nerdy guy is like, "Nah, hello." And she's like, ew, I am leagues ahead of you, therefore you're insulting me. <laughs> By me. <laughs> well, yeah, Diana's an asshole. Yeah, he's she like, really yeah, has okay. that one girl leave me alone thing, you like. She wasn't the first one, too, because, like, when she first meets Steve Trevor, she's all friendly and smiles, and then when that guy, the um, the guy that's part of their team, I think he's, is he Indian or something? Who is that guy? Oh yeah, like Turkish or something. The act, yeah, the guy. He's like, "Oh my god, you're the most beautiful wom woman I've ever seen," and she's like, "Yeah, okay, gross." Like, <laughs> she's so well, rude. To him. I yeah, wonder she's... if that's the influence from the writer, where she's like, "Isn't it annoying being an awesome hot woman when guys try to go out with you?" It's like, uh, "Oh okay. yeah, that must be a, it. Must be really tough." What a, what, know, a, what a hard life. You know, they won't complain, but it's like a, a it's a Steve Trevor type though. They'll be like, "Oh, that's chill. Yeah. That's cool." <laughs> like, yeah, okay. <laughs> Speaking of, um, oh, introducing Guy. <laughs> we have Guy, and it's a little confused. Of his, like, hey, why? Who's this guy? And he says oh, a thing. Appleness. Says a thing that's like only something Steve would say. So it's like, Whoa. and after um, she's addicted to this dude. Yeah, because she's addicted to everybody. And uh, by the way, her mission is completely stunted by this. She doesn't even continue it, right? She just hangs out with him. Uh, of course, she's missed him for yeah, 65 true. years. So. That's true. It's fine. Choosing love over duty. That's the she that's has... the thematic undertone. Yeah, she's she's been missing him for 65 years. So, a little bit strange for anybody watching this, because you're just like, first of all, Steve's back somehow, but he's in this body, question mark, and the camera that's does a little possessed. spin around until... Uh... He's possessed some poor, innocent guy's body. That's That's the first... We need a yeah. So well, yeah, I'm yeah, just getting the shot. The there you go. Where yeah. it spins around. That is Steve right there. And so for the for the chat, might be confused. Nobody sees him as Chris Pine. We do because of course we, that's just making it easier for filming. I guess everyone sees him as other guy. Um, oh, but what Chris, the fuck, really? But Chris Pine. Yeah. Is, <laughs> and, oh no. Chris, and what's worse is that this is so poorly communicated oh, no. to the viewer. It is really badly. They have to have a. Yeah, we we didn't know it at first that this is the way things were. However, they have to devote a part of another scene later on to him standing in front of a mirror just to cement the fact for the audience that he doesn't look like this to anybody except for Wonder Woman. 
because they just nailed the delivery here, and it's so clear. Even so, says, Chad, do you want to take the implications of this? Well, oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, there's a, how, how, yeah, how to probably be waiting for the implications. But also, she says that whenever I look at you, I just see, you know, Steve, right? Implying that this is, she's just doing it in her own imagination. When she actually looks at the guy, it is the other guy. She's pretending that she can see Steve. Like, because the mirror confirms Wait, she's, she's hallucinating. She's Steve Remember from no, the whole movie? No, I thought she actually looks like Chris Pine to her. Yeah. What? Oh, and it's his God, consciousness. So well, yeah, she's right? Really thought, imagining it. I yeah, yeah. I thought, she actually sees him as Chris Pine. I thought it only looked like Chris Pine for our convenience that no one actually sees him as Chris Pine, including yes, her. Oh, I thought Wonder so Woman saw him as Chris Christ. Pine. No, I, no I, 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 I assume she sees him as Guy. Well, I but they have Chris Pine for the entire film being the actor so i assume that meant that because we're kind of with diana and him that it was chris pine to diana but not to anyone else i yes. assume i assume he looks yeah, like guy sorry. to everyone we don't see, see him that way we have a split yep. here <laughs> we have a split poorly <laughs> communicates this so much <laughs> that we don't even know but it's a bit of both she is pretending like it's she's making both. it in her own mind that no. it's you know, when i look at you i see chris but the reality is when she physically looks at him, confirmed by the mirror part, when he sees his reflection, it is the other well, guy. Well, no, that's him looking at him and us looking at what other people see. How would she, how does she see him as Chris Pine once she knows he's Chris Pine? How does that work? It She's doesn't just work. I, you're at, She's don't even begin to yeah. ask me how it works, Smaller. <laughs> don't let it Loads of people are saying I'm wrong. You're it's like, well, I, I've only reported it's what I pretend. saw. I don't know what to tell I you. I have no idea which one it is. I just okay, thought so it was that way. This is this is what is what's very important, though, is that that's his character's consciousness in that body. Yes. Like, for sure. Yes, 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 hundred percent yes, that. And for those curious, what happens to the so the wish of bringing Steve Trevor back to life made it so the cosmic gods of the monkey paw took his essence, for lack of a better word, his soul, his spirit, his personality, and dropped it into the body of Guy, who is credited as Handsome Guy, I believe, Handsome Man. And uh, <laughs> he doesn't even get a name. And he, this poor bastard, doesn't even get a name. Meanwhile, uh, his yeah, yeah. his essence, no. his soul, his personality, whatever, is either dug so deep that it has no influence on Steve at all, or it's just gone. Temper. It's in like a, a pocket universe, waiting to reoccupy his own body. So, I like to imagine it's been folded into like, a memory like a blind man. You. You're going around your regular day, and you suddenly get possessed. And control of your body is taken away from you, and you just go into ether blackness. You don't, you're not aware of anything now, but someone has just stolen your body. Like or alternatively, uh, he can see and experience everything that's happening, but he has no control over it, which is even <laughs> more horrifying. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, that would like the thing is though, because he, why did they just end? Scream. We see him at the end, and he doesn't recognize Diana, so that means he wasn't aware of anything that was going on. Bashan, um, what, what if it just Aaron. erased his memory along with all the oh. wishes? What if it just... Oh, yeah, and, he, and he was there screaming? <laughs> <laughs> no, please! Don't, don't, don't run me towards gunfire! They might kill me! What are you doing? Why couldn't I come back when I was balls deep in Gal Gadot? Yeah, well... No. <laughs> oh... Rags might have bring Steve Trevor him. alive. Like if they were gonna bring magic shit up, what did? Why did yes. they just revive Steve Trevor? That's yeah, exactly nobody the knows. That is a good question. The why only this, why why the this terribly uncomfortable scenario? The only uh, thing bone to potentially not even really throw bone to whittle away near them is that they show the photo of him being a hero of World War One, especially in the local area, I think, or something. The concern that if he were to come back the way he is, he could get recognized and that causes plot issues or something, which I find incredibly oh, amusing. Oh, because, yeah, of I course, he's been gone uh... for 60 plus years. And who's going to be able to tell that? Like, I just like the idea that they thought about that as a team of writers. They came up with that. They didn't realize what they'd just done. <laughs> Like, well, are they abandoned that idea because Wonder Woman and Diana look exactly the same? One just has a circlet, and no one ever pieces that together. So, like, like as <laughs> if no one, as if anyone would be able to really uh, think that if someone that looks like Alvin York or Audie Murphy was walking around today, that they would actually think, "Oh, that's actually a guy Audie from Murphy? World War II. Audie Murphy. Oh, I thought you were talking about He's Eddie cool Murphy, Murphy, Murphy for a second, no, yeah. and I was no, very confused. No, honestly, Audie, it would Audie be... Murphy, actual like World War II world, uh, no, I'm world hero. Badass. 
it, it would be well eddie murphy is a hero of the would have recognized Chris Pine. <laughs> <laughs> you were saying shad yeah it would have been extremely unlikely that anyone would have recognized chris pine if they just rematerialized yeah. his body from the wish like and i don't think that they care enough about continuity as proven by everything we talked about <laughs> so far so well, that even that, crossed you guys their mind. Are... I think the issue with the recognizing Chris Pine thing is that the, the magic is such that it can change the minds of everybody yeah. in the yeah. world, essentially. True. So it doesn't even matter. Just the magic can yeah. be they don't recognize That's him. Correct. So why so, write it this way that we... Yeah, I because they have total you, yeah, creative so freedom well, over well, how the I magic I wonder if they had this arbitrary rule they were trying to follow that the wishes could not create matter. If you wish for something, it needed to be come from something that was already in the world. That would, and yeah, they don't establish that. that they decided oh God, it raises so his bones from the... From the... For example, <laughs> they, they make a giant wall around an entire, like, Middle Eastern yeah. country, so... But they never show yeah. that it's from somewhere else. Unless from the ground. Take a wall just, from do the, just do the simple things. Like, it can't change people's minds. Like, people keep their free will, essentially. Um, like Bruce Almighty, essentially. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's the like the Aladdin rules. You can't make people fall in love. You can't kill anybody. And this could be on. It, it, and this could have been in the scene where they have the Mayan dude, because um, the, apparently the relic is a, like an old Mayan demon curse. This thing mm. to give wishes. So that could be part of the story where you know the trickster goddess Kawikla Kukulbukul had you know these three <laughs> rules that would determine you know as, as long as they. The three rules were followed. The the wish, no matter what it was, could be granted or something like that. And they could give themselves some rules, but they don't. And so then any, everything becomes possible, which ruins everything because it's so nonsensical and crazy. So Sorry. here's the million dollar question. Why write it this way that bringing him back yeets an innocent person out of existence? Because he's a man and fuck men. And... Well I, I have no idea, but it gets worse when you think about it because throughout, from the point of him coming back through to the rest of the film to the point where she renounces her wish, right? They are perfectly fine with him being in the body <laughs> yeah. forever, basically. And yeah. that's what they want. Wonder Woman wants Steve to stay in the body forever to live with him until he dies, which effectively means they're okay with killing this poor guy. That they're effectively saying Wonder Woman is okay with murdering this person. Yeah, though they yeah, don't, they we don't were, register that during... whatsoever. They have no idea that no, that's the implication. No, we were waiting for it. Yep. We were waiting for yeah. the point where the film recognizes what it's done, and maybe Diana says, you know, I'm so glad that you're back. I'm so happy to see you, but this isn't right. You know, the, what about this guy's life? Because they, they go through his apartment and, like, yeah. his photos, and they use his mirror and shit, and they fuck on his bed. And you're like, at what point? I can't, I can't you... I need to stop you there because this means yeah. this, this is the big part. This is the big well, thing, wait. okay? Before you go, uh, Moriarty needs yeah, to talk I'm about. Yeah, I'm essentially a murderer. She is now also <laughs> <Okay>. a rapist. <laughs> All right. Wonder Woman. All right, then, I guess. Guy. I'm not kidding, right? This is analogous to some guy getting a chick drunk in a bar where she's unconscious, then he puts on a mask over her of his ex-girlfriend that is dead, <laughs> and then screws her, right? <laughs> That's what Wonder Woman does in this movie! Um, you know how much they did <laughs> I care about the guy? They, if, the, if, if what you say is true, they credit it, him as handsome guy. They don't even get a non-entity. He's yeah, he doesn't even get a name. He doesn't and also, he doesn't even get this, a name, guys. He, he's just a most device. And most importantly, a weekend bringing that up, this confirms what I said during the film that he is a handsome guy. So fuck you. It's such a <laughs> like if you could speak to Patty Jenkins, you'd be like, you disrespectful, moronic, <laughs> fucking child. How did you write this as wholesome? Oh Wholesome <laughs> rape. What is wrong with you? Just how do you? How do you? Guys, believe it or not, it gets worse. Because how do you fuck it up so that. much? And how does no one catch what? it? We are all of us did when we were watching it. We were waiting for the scene where Diana realizes, "I'm so happy to see you. I'm glad. It's wonderful, but this isn't right." Yep. I remember yeah. what I was told as a little girl about that fucking lie thing, and this is that thing that's happening. 
where you've stolen it doesn't even really fit that well but it's whatever <laughs> um, close enough yeah but <laughs> you're like it's surely like this super heroin right which is not only the drug you have to take to enjoy this movie, but you would also expect from our protagonist that you'd get this goodness, I guess, just general yeah. goodness. But the scene never comes where she recognizes that this can't go on and it has to end until she needs to get her powers back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so she doesn't learn. She doesn't learn that her wish to have him back at the expense of yeeting some poor innocent handsome man out of existence is selfish. She learns that it. Well, she doesn't learn anything because she. The only reason she renounces her wish is because she needs her powers. Which is kind of selfish. <laughs> So, um, they didn't even think what they did was bad. It's consistent with the bad intro. Oh, no, I want my powers back now. We'll change it back. Wait, wait. wait. It, it's consistent with the intro, right? I mean, little little Wonder Woman is crying, but we don't realize we don't see that she gets the lesson. It's kind of like the ending where she doesn't even be a hero. She's just oh, I I, I need to eat him. So bye, Steve. So it's like. Uh. Moriarty does indeed have to leave us now. I'm just going to allow him this yes. moment to escape. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's it's been fun, sir. Uh, I guess we'll catch you the next time we do. Happy New Year's! Thank you very much yeah. for having me here. 2020 has been a really great year. Um, Yay! Because I've been able to hang out with you guys, Aww. and I've had a lot of fun. We've watched Aww. a lot of movies, Yay. and this is the last one of 2020. So, like you know, this is my only chance to say think. this. Thank you so much. All of you, uh, I really appreciate it. Aww. And uh, I'm Happy gonna jump out man. like wholesome. <laughs> You're way better than Wonder Woman 84. Oh, yeah. thank you. oh, wholesome, Have great, one, just oh. wholesome in general. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Look, it doesn't, it doesn't count if they don't remember, okay? Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> All right, guys, bye bye. See you, dude. Bye, Sylvia bye. is so bad. Another okay. bigot Sorry. gone. Good riddance. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we, we, yeah. we need to deconstruct what, what's what's going on with this poor guy a bit more because like I'm I, I'm I'm in, I'm baffled. I cannot believe in what universe that they let this happen in the movie and they portrayed it as a, an okay thing. Like I, I I cannot believe it. And I'm thinking, is it because Wonder Woman was hot and any guy, <laughs> even if they're unconscious, would be like, hey, I did it with Wonder Woman. And if you reverse Dude. the role. Ro on this i've seen like, that on twitter some people are like in fairness what guy wouldn't want this it's like what are you no you <laughs> oh what guy wouldn't want to be that's forced to have sex against their work yeah. no sh you, i think shad i think it's worse <laughs> someone says to the girl the, hey the, was the the was script, you enjoy it like i can't believe I it think, i i have to I say i think it's I think worse think because is... the movie is go all right ahead, go ahead no you go ahead oh you you heard it. okay uh okay, fine, fine. i think it's I'll worse fucking because start, because i'll talk about something like, if one of you it look like it's romantic right yeah no i did you hear me i i, I did you guys hear me i don't go Some ahead we can not sure so i'm just saying it's worse because the movie is like yeah yeah the movie is like making it look romantic yeah the movie's the movie doesn't treat it like because, it's a mistake and a horror oh, Oh, my love from 60 years ago or some shit. And <laughs> sorry, you're you're cutting out God. a lot, Weekend. Yeah, I, I'll try to connect it again. All right, so <laughs> what if this guy had a girlfriend or, or, or even worse, was married? <laughs> I mean, okay. look at his face. He's definitely uh, got I a mean, girlfriend. Dude, imagine he had a family he, he, he or friends who never get to see him again. Or at least well, they've lost that guy forever, potentially. What if? What if his name is actually Guy, like Guy <laughs> Pierce, and people call him Handsome Guy, like Fat Neil from Community? Well, that could answer <laughs> a lot. Huh? His name is Guy. God, <laughs> that's so slimy that when they were getting the credits sorted, they didn't give him a name, and so the guy doing the credits was like, uh, I don't know. How do we, what, what's the identifying know, feature of this guy? guy. He's hot, I guess. Like, they couldn't, they couldn't even have, like, I don't know, some sort of degree on the wall that's got his name on it, just so that they can give him a name, anything, anything at all. They humanize him even further, so the horror is even yep. worse. Yeah. David Johnson or something, like, fucking Neil Druckmann did a better oh, job at buckle. humanizing the NPCs than, oh. than this movie did. <laughs> Gosh, like, what if he, had, what, what if he, he gets recognized on the street as a woman with him? 
I mean, they like they break several laws. Like they break into the Smithsonian, and that's his base on the cameras. No, I thought you meant like laws of logic. <laughs> like yeah, oh yeah, and also human legal laws. Yeah. Laws of yeah. physics. They've turned him into a criminal. They've turned him into a fugitive in this movie. Like I have to he say, he wakes this is up way in his worse. body, or he wakes up in a cell in jail. It's it's way worse than what uh, Captain Marvel did to the Dawn. I'm sorry. <laughs> like. It is, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah like, this is existential. This is... Uh... <laughs> yeah, it's way worse. It's, Captain Marvel didn't not, rape him. And at least when yeah. he got his hand hurt, it was probably okay the next day. Mm -hmm. And he probably did get his bike back. Because it was reported as stolen in the movie. So he got his stuff back. So yeah, this guy's way worse. <laughs> I can't Fuck believe Wonder we Woman. found a female superhero worse than Captain Marvel. <laughs> they're all pretty it's bad incredible. though but Ray there, she never woman. thinks twice about it yeah well she the problem is that even though what it. Captain Marvel did wasn't as bad she did it in a malicious way whereas Gal Gadot just seems like an idiot who doesn't have any concept of that, like that this is a problem mm -hmm. that's true so it makes it kind of harder to weigh up well, at least at least Wonder Woman is a somewhat flawed character. Captain Marvel has no flaws. That was my biggest piss off with that character. It's like but she's neither just film perfect. treats these actions like they're bad. But that, that's the thing. Like, I, how could Wonder Woman not know this is happening? She can look at the guy and see it's not his face, Wonder even though an she's idiot. someone else's. <laughs> He knows this isn't him. And she's like, all right, I'm going to kiss you. I'm going to have sex with you. No, her, really no. Wonder life. Woman is so stupid be, that her, she can't connect, like the neurons in her brain won't connect these two things together. See, yeah. I think that is a greater stretch than what I think is implying that she just doesn't give a crap because she has her hubby now. Like, yeah. That's I, with the normal person, yeah. I would probably agree, but... <laughs> Wonder Woman's really dumb. Like for how smart she is, she's really dumb. She like I can like... speak seven hundred and twelve languages, but at the same time, I think that if I kill Ares, all war will end. Like men, yeah, worst really... case scenario, she's incredibly stupid. Worst case yeah. scenario, she's the most selfish person ever. Right. I really don't Even think she should have kissed him. Because it, it, because <laughs> she still rapes the guy. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, even yeah, just the, the kiss is like, whoa, whoa, like you should be having the discussion immediately, but they just don't. It's, it's weird because if she kiss kissed like, him like right immediately, away. just out of almost like reflex, like, oh my God, Chris, you're you're here. I can't believe it. And then she kissed Chris Pine and that was it. I'd be like, okay, it's, I, I understand that. You shouldn't have done Although, it, but it's like, I understand. Some people are saying like, she's naive though. It's like, she can't be naive after 65 years on this planet. Like, oh, this she, <laughs> she's a superhero. She could be super naive. Super naive. <laughs> well, I, by by ki her kissing him, I don't like the implication that there's no physiological component in her being attracted to him. Like, she can see that it's a different guy, but it's just like, oh, it's the personality I of thought Chris she Pine, so Chris I'm Pine. in love. What? I don't. Is that is that what's going on? I need I mean, a reference We were, we were that. mid discussion on that before something else derailed our train of thought because I thought that she saw him as Chris Pine. Everyone else saw him as handsome guy. She clearly... When she first sees him, she sees him as handsome guy. She yeah. can see him as handsome guy, right? But I thought that was like the magic, like working when he when she she can now she could see. Like at first she can't, but then when he holds her close and they that? didn't spin anything, it's like, oh, I could see you as, Chris, you are Chris Pine now, I see it. But that's just something for that's the just, audience. So yeah, I, just, I, I unless there's a line that I'm missing here where she says like, I can see you as you now. Even that I would just choose to interpret. She means I can see you for who you are rather than handsome guy. Um, but yeah, the fact that she's like, stop following me, weird person, to me is like, yeah, she sees him as that throughout the whole film, as does everyone else, but we see him as Chris Pine for, you know, simplicity's sake, so we can understand what the fuck's happening. Well, but, but that she never initially saw him as Chris Pine. It, it creates, it makes it more complex that Chris Pine is the actor. For who? I'm with Rags for, on this one. For just everyone involved. I mean, like for the audience, I think um, they like want if, you. If everyone is supposed to see him as him. They want you to forget that he's not Chris Pine. I think because it, it's hard. Uh, to... I think that that was just a convenient byproduct, and the real reason was they wanted it to be Chris Pine, the famous talented actor. 
I'm, I'm with uh, with Rags on this one, too. Um, I think that it just makes sense that they would want to have Chris Pine come back because it was his uh, No, you've missed my point entirely. Of course that. they want Chris Pine on screen. What I'm suggesting is we don't have any more scenes of, hey, this is handsome guy to random public, or this is handsome guy still to Gal Gadot in a mirror, anything. No references, because they don't want you thinking about that at all. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a matter of they don't Maybe. want you to 100% that. that. Like, the fact that we're actually that. trying to remind well, the film that rape has happened is clear evidence that they don't in any way want but to actually I, recognize us what they've I'm done. Not, I'm not sure I don't know if they even though. thought about that being a yeah. thing, though. Exactly. You're, you're, yeah, it, it, well... No, I so, don't think wait, they were you... trying to hide the fact it was rape. I don't even think that they were thinking no, about it. I'm suggesting that that's evidence that they have not even thought this through at all, but they just want to skip over that entirely. I don't think they ever thought that it was like rape. Yeah. They just want to skip over the fact that this I isn't Steve Trevor. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. By the way, everyone who hasn't seen this film, this is the discussion <laughs> of Wonder Woman 84. We can't <laughs> figure out what's... what the fuck this film was even trying to say. Like, it's so hard. Don't you guys miss the days when the biggest contention that people had with the DCEU's interpretation of the superheroes of DC Comics was Superman snapping Zod's neck? <laughs> I remember Zod's those days. Neck. <laughs> or Batman being the Punisher. Yeah. <laughs> I miss those days. Hey man, that Wonder fight Wonder sequence in BVS was cool. Was I was it? expecting... I was Not expecting the return of this character to be stupid. I didn't think it was going to be this stupid. Like, this flat out does not fucking work. Like, the fact we're having yeah. this discussion, like, it doesn't work. It's stupid. Like, I, also, I, I, I think she's choosing to see Chris Pine. And, like, the audience is seeing what she wants to to see basically based yeah, but, on the right, reveal that yeah, it's like his personality the literal what her eyes perceive is still handsome guy but she of course treats the character entirely as though he's chris pine yes right maybe i i don't even know i don't even know well here's another reason that we're all confused about this the movie cuts from that to hours later and skips over all the interesting questions that any normal person would have to ask steve about how this all works how did this happen it just cuts right mm -hmm. to like Oh, were you in a good place? And he's like, "Yeah, I was in a, I was in heaven." Basically, he sort of implies it's heaven, and then they just move on. They skip. And now that I'm whole back scene. in fucking Washington D.C. <laughs> you know what I find funny about this as well is that the only reason we want to get this clear is so that we can make the criticism perfectly clear. Because like, it's <laughs> until you get all because it's wrong no matter what. We just want to get the pieces right. And the film was just like, "Yeah, what are the pieces? Tell me." And you're like, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and you would expect that even though Gal Gadot's an idiot and may might not even in her extremely super dumb brain think about it, surely Chris Pine yeah, was. He wasn't yeah. an idiot. Like he was he did a lot yeah. of he did dumb things in Wonder Woman One, but he wasn't an idiot. Well, yeah. So he'd be thinking, like, yeah, I'm I'm occupying right? another man's body. I would argue it's a missing opportunity to have him go around the house of this person he's taken over, see the family photos and see the life they've crafted and be like, shit. I've just yeah, he's the one who wants to tell Wonder Woman this can't go on. She's yep. so desperate to have him, but Chris Pine is like, no, you've got to let me go. You've got to move on. I mean, it's I can't believe that wasn't life. the message. That should have been the message. Like, that's like taking a shortcut. It's like a selfish wish. The message of the film is you have to let Chris Pine go. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, Gary, how you doing? All right. Hi. <laughs> You probably, I don't know if it's getting his microphone to work, maybe. I don't know. Uh, I was I was going to ask him if he had said hi, just immediately his thoughts on the rape scene from oh, Woman 1184. Yeah. Haven't heard anything yet, but we're in the middle of a very confusing discussion about what the fuck happened. Uh, and exactly. Always a great thing to ask about films. Yeah, just how wrong is the film? It's like, hmm, different degrees. <laughs> yeah. We're yeah, we're arguing over the degree of how wrong it is. And Not that it isn't. This movie is made by self-proclaimed feminists, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All, all about, Allegedly. Yeah, and Ostensibly. So strongly out of anything that they are showing this, you know, handsome guy as a nobody, a nothing, a a faceless, characterless entity, an object. They have objectified this guy so much that it's okay oh, to God. rape him, have sex with his body against his will, against without his consent. And it's perfectly okay. Like, oh my goodness, I'm just...
I, I, I can, I'm, I'm still in awe and astounded by this. And have they been pushed that far to disregard male rights that that has didn't even go on their radar <laughs> when they were writing this or making this film? I well, can't believe. I think if we, this happened, it's. I don't think it's a disregard actively. I think it's just they don't even think about thinking about it. That's what yeah. I mean. Like, if this happened to a female character, people would be scro- screaming oh, yeah. bloody yeah, absolutely. murder. Honor, there'd be blood. Yeah. I don't know that they ever realized at any point. I don't even think that there was a moment where someone said, wait, couldn't someone interpret this in a bad way? And Patty went, nope. I don't think that ever even happened. Never at all. No, that, like... ne- that conversation never took place. Even if I was a gambling dog. Out. It. But... Like, yeah. it, if this happened to me, this would have been the, one of the greatest horrors of my life. I'm married, right? So if someone possessed my body and went and had sex, sure, yeah, you are. The red, like, what the freaking hell? You know, <laughs> I can't believe it, dude. In that scene where they're next to the pool, next to the monument, it'd be great if in the reflection it was the other guy. <laughs> but of course, they're not going to do that. Uh, imagine, like the imagine the reflection show. Imagine if that it was so wild. Nice the guy. <laughs> Imagine I the guy my took now. control. Oh shit! Hey, oh. hey, Gary, how you doing? Hey, hi everyone. We're talking okay. about that awesome movie that came out recently oh, right. about a superhero, Wonder Woman, nineteen eighty four. Oh, it was beautiful. Yeah. Was what? A, so, tears. how do you feel about wholesome rape? <laughs> oh, really good about it. I'm glad they brought it back into filmmaking. It's been a long time. And it's time to bring it back. Damn it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I was missing it. I haven't seen a woman sexually assaulting a man since The Last Jedi, and I feel like I was just <laughs> running out of uh, running out of references for it. There it's we go. So emotionally resonant. It is. It is. You you can uh, you can you know rape a guy, <laughs> and then once you get rid of pain, of... horror, disgust. Yeah, once you get rid of the guy, you are free to you can fly afterwards. Once you free yourself of the D. Uh, that's true. Yeah, you can last the lightning. Plug it. Yep. Well, as Mrs. Neurotic says, the penis is a prison. So, mm. uh, yeah. So yeah, I, I don't know because uh, we've <laughs> we've we've been so long with this. I, I feel as though I guess it's time for us to move on. Is there anything else anyone wants to say about this horrific scene and why in the world they made it? Uh, we will move so, on. Quick. I just I'm I I'm speechless about it. I mean, or I cannot believe that. It passed all the quality checks. It's in the film, flat out. Wonder Woman is now a rapist. It's I I I'm amazed by it. I mean, oh, I can't believe it. I, I think I want to make a video just speaking about it on my own channel because, wow, man, this is this is a new level for me. <laughs> yeah, and what I just what I just keep coming back to is it's fucking magic. They didn't have to write it this way. Nope. Well, all they could have done <laughs> that's is what I think it would have been really cool. If Chris Pine reappears at like the moment of his death, where he he's got a he's got a 1911 in his hand, he's sitting down, he's aiming backwards, he's got his bomber jacket and jacket and everything on, and he just suddenly reappears in front of her the moment that he died. He's back now, and he's super confused. And he's like, "What the fuck is going on here?" And everyone around her, they see this happening too, and they're like, "Oh my god, it could have been cool." I would have I would have taken that easily over what they're what they're doing here. Yeah, like uh, as none of them neither makes any fucking sense. But I would take. Well, that we assumed yeah, this is the worst thing they could have done. Yeah, mm-hmm. we we assumed from seeing this that uh, the idea was ah oh, this is the drawback. They're gonna say like you've taken over someone's life and thus you have to give that life back and you have to undo the wish. That doesn't come up at all. It's just never. <laughs> never. <at all. laughs> no. Nope. We were waiting for it too, but it never did. Uh, you know, he has to give him up. Wait, so she... Hello? About, uh, about how far are we into the movie at this point? Oh, God, don't even... 50 minutes. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> that's a chunk. That's a good chunk. Yeah, a third of the way horrible there. Horrible by EFAP standards. Yeah, we're, uh... Oh, my God, we're at four hours of stream. Jesus. <laughs> Okay. We're never going to get to anything. Else. Uh, <laughs> yeah, gonna... well, you know, the pace will pick up, I'm sure. Um... I, you know, I, I just I'm, wanted to say w- one more thing. Like, High Top Films and Brown Table are simping for this movie, and I love the fact that we have this scene um, that could potentially pressure them into changing their minds eventually. 
I think anybody who praises this film wants to walk it back once they hear about this. They're like, well, well, how, yeah. how did it make you feel, guys? How, mm. how does this make you feel? It made me feel horrified. Like, hopeful. I felt so hopeful Hope after this. Hopeful that it was sexual <laughs> harassment. This hope for film. Film isn't destroyed. Yay. Um, I didn't think I didn't think we were that far into the film. Well, so we're almost yeah. an hour in. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, there's and believe it or not, this one is still better paced than its predecessor. All right. Whoa. I needed to also <laughs> add another thing, right? So it's amazing that the people who made the film didn't pick up on this, but equally amazing, it's that no one else who has watched the film, apart from I don't know, people looking at uh so many people have completely missed this they're completely unaware of it and if anything says about the disregard for you know men's rights that they can be abused i think that says it pretty clearly like there's these other people saying the film is perfect when it has something this big and this terrible in it and it, yeah. they are oblivious to it well yeah imagine yeah. if this was like a male-led superhero film and the your your male protagonist did this to a woman like yeah. holy shit the backlash would break the internet that's right. and i feel that there should be as equal backlash to this film because of this like this should be the largest talking point on the internet out of anything regarding this film this point right here and i've heard no one address it yet i can't mm, believe it. chris pine he is a man though so like the only way that they could recon this to be like somewhat sensible is if handsome guy found his way to the monkey's pie and wished that he could have sex with the wonder woman like yeah, to get point. Wish, but like it's it's you know monkey's pie effect like that could actually work but uh <laughs> quite a workaround else... <laughs> yeah <laughs> like the well, and that would is... be no that would be the thing they take away is he got to have sex with wonder woman but he doesn't remember it oh, yeah, like, that's, that's pretty bad i i've i've had a week of trying to like figure out how could they canonically fix this right without like retconning the whole thing and that's it that's the only thing that I can come up with. <laughs> Just add that in on the uh, well, the extended cut. The thing about the yeah, monkey's paw is it. that the wishes come at the expense of some aspect of the wisher's life. But in this case, it just like some random guy gets fucking <laughs> well, <laughs> his life erased. Well, no, it's, because it's of Wonder because Woman's wishes. That's unrelated. Well, that's it's like a double whammy, unfortunately. So the Rock wants Diana's powers. I guess. Yeah. So, because right. she she wishes to the rock, and so does what's her name, Barbara. She also wishes to the rock. So the rock just sort of like takes stuff. It takes something back. Whereas Maxwell was taking things that would be useful to him, which was a concept that they butchered, but mm, it's something. Yeah. But like, I guess the rock chose the things it would take from you. Kind of. Okay. Uh, what did it take from Barbara? What was her drawback? Her kindness. She became a pervy. <laughs> kindness. She's like, we will, we will give you everything you want, but you'll be a meaner person. You're like, all right, I guess. All right. Well, that's yeah. That seems a little bit unfair because it's just changing yeah, you as a price person. Other people have to pay more than anything else. Yeah, because with the Wonder Woman one, you think there might be some kind of thematic or mechanical rule that really does make sense that it took her power to give Steve Trevor back. It's more just like, eh, we, that's just it, it. It does that, and that's what makes it such a hard choice to give him up. Like oh, okay. Imagine it. Like I think we went over this in the, in the recording. It's like you know, imagine it just gave it bad luck from now on, or she her clothes never fit right, or, or she's just she's depressed a bit. Like instead, it's like no, we took all of your wonder. It doesn't even take your Wonder Woman powers. It takes them por like a portion Slowly of them. Slowly drains them yeah. over time. Yeah. Very and they're never strange. gone. They just get weaker and weaker. And I guess she just she's still superhuman. But not as much. She can't just tank her way through every scenario. She can't just hold W and right click mm -hmm. and just just <laughs> fucking stop. beat the game, you know? So um Life is now on very easy instead of extremely easy difficulty. Mm -hmm. She's uh so Maxwell's become the stone. Um <laughs> which he got really lucky with how that turned out with what? his wording. He's like I wish to be the buggy's poor, essentially. Uh, the, the stone breaks apart. I'd have to check the wording specifically. It's just funny that he didn't himself become a crystally stone thing and just fall over. Yeah, interesting idea. Yeah. This was still when we were on board with his whole plan, and it was like, oh, this is interesting, where he becomes, you know, the, the stone source and all that. 
And, um, and, and I like it as a workaround okay. in the same vein as I wish for infinite wishes. It's like, I wish to be the wishing stone. It's like, ooh, that's an interesting idea. Where do you go with that? Um, so yeah, that's... What happens that's... if someone holds his hands and then asks to also be able to grant wishes? Well, I guess they get to grant wishes. Is the is what he is the way that he rules. is it the way that he words it means that the stone has to be destroyed rather than just duplicated? Well, him, if he mean. becomes something, mm. one of them can't exist. Um, or he would double as the thing. It's very. Mm, I get what you mean. Like you wouldn't expect to if you're like I wish to become X. Like well, then X can no longer be X because it can't occupy the same existence. But then again, yeah, because the with two of you will be different. Yeah, the power of the stone's interpretation, much like it does with the wall, uh, it could just be like, yeah, I'll I'll just give you its powers. It doesn't have to destroy the uh, stone. Yeah, I wish I had your power. Yeah, I wish I had the stone's power. Um, Kristen, so the stone out. back somewhere. Like, when he renounced his will, well, I don't want to get ahead of it, but if, when he renounced his wish, does the stone reappear somewhere then? We assume oh, yeah, that, actually. Would, yeah, it, it should just, so, yeah. in, in his office, it should just be a wish stone in there, I guess. And oh, then he could try again. Yeah, he could just do it all over again. Um, <laughs> Which yeah. is kind of weird. So, Wonder Woman 3. talking about Wonder Woman 84's incredible lack of just translation to the audience, we saw this scene... Uh, where, where Kristen Wiig breaks open her fridge by accident, and the first thing I thought was just like she should have figured out that she's really strong ages ago. She's been this for a while now. That's not something you can miss in your day to day activities. Yeah. Picking things up, you will notice. Holy shit, I am fast and strong now. Yeah. But of course, no, Spider Verse did it better. A lot, but, of fucking everything does it better. What we thought the film was telling us with this was that she's gradually getting power and she's sapping it from Diana. That's what we thought yes. was happening. That is what I thought as well. I, yeah, that would make some sense. Mm -hmm. I don't we, think it, that it is what happened. It came as a shock though. to us at the end. Yeah. When the film was like, no, why did you think that, you idiot? <laughs> like, the weird thing is that if, if it were the case, right, then it's not much of a monkey's, monkey's paw effect on Barbara. No. Because... It's not affecting her negatively at all. It's just yeah. What did it take Diana. from her? Look, look at the and also look at that. It cuts right to Diana as if to imply like, where do you think she's getting that power from? It's like ooh, yeah. And, but no. But like you have this thing where uh, she wishes to be like Diana, and then Diana starts losing her power, and so you think that that's a monkey's paw effect in and of itself, because the you would think that the monkey's paw effect of Diana's wish to have Steve back is the fact that oh it's the fact that he's actually in a random dude's body and there's a sexual harassment on the screen there um but like no it actually turns out uh her, the monkey's paw effects for diana is she's losing her powers because steve's there Ch 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 like he's... we've made yeah, it clear yeah, apparently she... that's what you're supposed to think but i don't think any of us when we were watching it did any of us pick up the correct interpretation no. Oh well, uh, as, chat, all... as chat is saying, like you should have picked up that it's her humanity that was the prize. It's just like, what are you, chat? Chill out. <laughs> so, so this also yeah, bugs me really when people stupid. say that people's humanity is only their good traits. Like humans are just Except, wonderful, pure, amazing if, things, and any bad attribute yes, is not are. human. If you were to remove, can you stop with that? The humanity from a person, they're like, I don't even know what you end up with. Are you also, something different. It's going to be something very, very different, yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, I, we, hence... I didn't grasp that hey, fact, guys. <laughs> well, no, <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, like, what I was saying. the point being made is, we made fun of this already. It's like, she's mean now. And it's like, no, you, you don't understand. They took her humanity. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's mean now is what the film does. Yeah. Took so her, the price that she has to pay for being a super apex mega predator is that she's meaner? <laughs> She lost it. Well, this is what I mean, Rags. On the surface, you lose your humanity. You're like, oh my god, what does that entail? It's like, well, you're, you're mean. You're you a mean. You look like a thundercat. <laughs> it's like, no, it's, she lost her kind before she became the cat. That was just the trade to get the Diana powers. Yeah, it's, oh, uh, and here's, here's the other thing. The, the wish she makes, you know, and the power she gets from it makes her more of a selfish, potentially mean, evil person, right? That's not a monkey's paw side effect, because the same thing happens to Max Lord. Like, all the power goes to his head and his ego and everything, but his monkey's paw effect is that he's, like, gonna die if he doesn't keep granting wishes. Well, yeah, it so, almost seems like just no, I thought a he logical conclusion. Wish made him worse. 
Would you say that's the humanity of it? Like, Wait, the, the fact that, that the power killed. corrupts people? Yeah. yeah, like that. You think that that's like the logical conclusion of her suddenly becoming so powerful? Is so it, it going to her head? I think that works in a meta sense, but because the film never addresses the fact that Wonder Woman raped a guy, I don't know if we could say that's the message the film was making. <laughs> Which is, by the way, We're going on a lot of assumptions here. We'll yeah. probably skip that. That's you the next have scene. No, <laughs> the film's so terrible. Uh, we've definitely and covered that. I was just gonna say that's the next scene, so we'll probably move past that one. Where it's just and <laughs> when this when this came up, I think all of us were just like, no, 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 you shouldn't have done this. No, he was like, no, no, no. It's definitely a, a <laughs> nor moment. <clears throat> so I haven't seen the movie. Obviously, I can't hear the dialogue here. But with the antagonist, Kristen Wiig has wished to be like Diana because she's envious of her confidence or whatever. And the stone has taken that to mean that she wants her powers. And well, now she, she has superpowers and she doesn't understand why. She gets the full package. People are attracted to her. She's very confident. She's agile and she's strong. And yeah, she doesn't. And she gets think, the powers. Yeah, I don't Sorry, think she, she knows did. why she has powers at this point. You'd think, like, because isn't one woman's dumb. powers wow. come from love? <laughs> like, I have the power of love. One of women's powers come through the power of love. Um, no. Wasn't that in the first movie? Uh, well, that's <laughs> so, how she beats so Ares. She's like, she's like, I believe that love can save the world or something like that. But that's not where her powers power come from. from. That's where her powers are coming from now. What I'm getting at, when she says she wants to be like Diana, it's like, okay, if the stone was going to be more literal about that, wouldn't that also affect her personality to be more like Diana? And that would make her a better person, not a worse one? Well, uh, the, again, Diana rapes a guy in this, so if, oh, if she's yes, just right. like Diana, then that means that it becomes is it, evil. Is it, bad? is it bad that that comes up a lot now? <laughs> it's like, bear in mind, we've got it pinned. She did rape a guy. You're like, oh, right, yeah, okay, that does. <laughs> yeah, Shad, who makes their protagonist a rapist? Yeah. Hey! <laughs> By the way, the... the uh, Okay, for proper plot reasons. That's true. At least I meant to make my protagonist. <laughs> At least I meant it. Also, one of the only other uh, female metahumans in the DCEU is played by Amber Heard. Oh, no. Just point oh, out there. Oh, it's a not theme a, now. Is it a great more in a pattern? Of, not a whole lot of, uh, of role models here is what I'm trying to bring up. Of course, oh, is man. female, guys. <laughs> so... Ugh. Yeah. Female empowerment <laughs> through any means necessary. Then we have an example of a scene that I'm chill with just this is we just cut all of this and the film improves. It's just uh Kristen Wig goes to 70s wick out and, and she's like, Wow, I'm strong. That is the scene. Yeah, that's the scene is that she's strong. Didn't we already do this beat with the fridge door? Yep. With the fridge. You know what? Yep. It is a uh -huh. totally redundant scene that establishes nothing about anything, but there it is. There it is. They yeah, didn't even use the opportunity to have like nice 80s music. They could have done like a call on me thing. Might have been too on the nose, but they could have had nice 80s music. And I'm pretty sure it's just kind of like quirky comedy music. Yeah. yeah so right. that reminds me of the opera music. The, the So there's a montage that would have been nice if it was done better. Um, that's this movie, though. Um, like, they, but they, they have they, a... They, they, sorry. There's, there's a bunch of scenes where they have... Uh, Chris Pine and uh, Wonder Woman, and they're walking around. They go to museums and stuff. And there's a little good aspect of the film where Chris Pine is like amazed by how far aviation technology has gone. Mm -hmm. And you know, he's oh shit, we've gone to the moon. That's incredible. You know, that's that's good. That's nice that they did that. It's nice that they put a good thing in the film. Um, mm -hmm. And they have this opera music playing over the whole thing, and it's bizarre. It is bizarre, yeah. Right. Instead of having good. that really cool 80s music vibe, you know, because like 80s, is tons of great songs and, you know, music very, you know, that would be very, very appropriate and fun to listen to and would set the tone well. It's just random opera music. What also, are you doing? Like, Happy New Year to Britain. Woohoo. Oh, Happy hooray. New Year. Still Woo another six Year. hours Happy for me. We You're all really like, it's I'll nearly get there eventually. It's nearly 12 o'clock in the, uh, it's nearly noon of the New Year's Day for me. Uh, on, on to the music point, like Thor Ragnarok honestly gives a better 80s vibe than this movie does, and Thor Ragnarok is even set in the 80s. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy. Hell yeah. yeah. Oh my god, that's a lot of fireworks. I'm scared, guys. World War Three. Uh, Ares is back. So, oh no. <laughs> these, these 
tainting the souls of men. Uh, so yeah, that was that was a scene, and they literally just cut to Maxwell's next scene. It, all the point was was Kristen Wiig picking up weights. I think the movie actually forgot that it already did it. It's it, I don't know how else to explain it. Just cut the scene. <laughs> you don't need it. Just go. Uh, and yeah, so this is Maxwell testing out his powers, I guess. He wants the investor to wish for better things for the company. Sorry if that's really loud right now. I don't know if it is. Uh, no, the, it's all right. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, and of course, the, the investor would naturally... Like, this was, I think, one of the best examples of actually having to write in this film, where Maxwell has to guide the conversation to what he wants the person to wish for, which is a really interesting element of this whole story. Like, Max is doing this for himself, but he has to get people into a position where they'll wish for the thing that he wants them to. It's like, that's cool, you should use that. The rest of the film doesn't do it right. as much. I think there's the bit with his yep. son, but that's about it. The rest of them are sort of just whatever, wish, 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 wish. Yeah. Just on that point, it actually almost inverts it, where he becomes that he doesn't care what they wish for, but then he selects the thing he's going to take arbitrarily to benefit himself. So yeah. he doesn't need people to wish for the things he wants he can actually just take what he wants as the payment for the wish so that's contradicted i think it's way cooler to have just had it the whole time every conversation is like a battle where he has to get he has to oh. unlock the thing he wants and sometimes it can backfire you know totally totally agree yeah um so it works um he gets he gets what he wants and then um just does anyone remember the scene better than i do the guy the fbi show up to the place or something yeah, yeah they, they show up immediately Right after he says, uh, he, he, go, he gets his wish, right? He, or grants that guy's wish and he goes, and now I'm going to take all your shares and uh, you're going to be taken out by some random element, basically. I'm paraphrasing. And then uh -huh. they show up right when he's walking out. Yeah, so his um, choice of what their payment is for the wish, if you will, it's taken to the extreme. He can just select whatever he wants out loud and he gets it instantly. And this is the kind of thing where, whether or not that makes sense mechanically with the wish stuff, it's insane how much the world will have to bend its back to be able to actually facilitate these things that he wants. Like, everyone is mine now. They're all just it's like, wait, are, do they all lose free will? Or do they all just have a memory where they were convinced to follow you? Like, how does this work? Well, yeah, like his guards. He's mm -hmm. like, uh, your private security detail, they're mine. And they just obey him now. Which makes it kind of fucked up when they get attacked by Wonder Woman. Yeah. Because they did nothing wrong. Uh-huh. Good point. That action scene, we're coming coming to it eventually. It was terrible. <laughs> it's yeah. so funny though. <laughs> uh so yeah, that's just letting also, us know uh, that's how his power works. Go ahead. Well well like uh in the comics, I I hate to appeal to the comics, but uh like Max Lord's power is being able to like persuade people with like te telepathic powers, so it's almost. It almost seems like this is the closest that the film gets to adapting Max Lord faithfully. Well, uh, Gary, you've read the comics. Is this a faithful and cleverly written adaptation of Maxwell Lord? No. <laughs> <laughs> what a shame! Because the idea Not even was close. so good. Never would have guessed. If only. Yeah. Um, this is the thing, I wouldn't... Well, better question, is this a good adaptation of Wonder Woman at this point? No, when you get into, like, her character choices in this film in particular, which you've brought up before and we'll bring up again when we get to the Steve Trevor part, uh, no, she's not that selfish at all. Uh, and you know, Gal Gadot is good in her performance. She's fine with the garbage writing she's given. Uh, I mean, she's stoic. She's not like she has massive range or anything, but stoic is she's a good Wonder very Woman. Very generous way to describe her. <laughs> we, uh, yeah, we don't think she's a very good actress. <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> well, the first one, she yeah, she had like she's improved, but yeah, mm -hmm. you know, she needs somebody no. to play off of, obviously. And these, you know, listen, th these are superhero. Like Chris Evans, you know, he's a good Captain America, but he's stoic. It's actually not. He's a decent actor. But he's pretty beautiful. But he's good, as, but he's good at him. acting stoic. Yeah. We don't just assign yeah. the stoic attribute yeah. to him after the fact. Yeah, like he can emote when he needs to. When oh, yeah, absolutely. Really he hot. can quip and okay. emote. Because <laughs> yeah, she really, is really, really hot. hot. Completely agree. But when she has <laughs> yeah, to Gal exclaim in it, it, when someone dies and she goes, No, it's like, ooh. <laughs> like yeah, her her ability oh, to just like speak and use her face to express her thoughts is really horrible. I wish it were very supermodel. Yes, but uh, man, she is hot. 
She is hot, though. Which uh, brings sorry, us to who? I... Go ahead. Sorry, I want to ask Gary a question. By the way, Gary, awesome being a stream with you, mate. I've watched your stuff for a, for a bit of for a while hey. now. So oh, thanks. Uh, hey, so thanks. question: Has Wonder Woman in the comic books ever raped anyone? No, <laughs> she's been spanked. No, she's been, no, she's been spanked a while. Okay. And listen, I haven't read every Silver Age comic, and this like Wonder Woman was created by a pervert, right? So uh, a guy who was like a submissive and into you know bondage and all that stuff. They made a that movie on mean it. You're a pervert. Oh, is that why her weakness? No, to be like her well, weakness. I mean, existed. We'll say uh, sexually permissive. How's that? Uh, yeah. and for, but I say pervert to save time. Um, and she gets spanked a lot. Like a lot, but no oh. rape that I know of. Where was the where were the spanks? Where was the spanking scenes in in these movies? What the hell? In the fifties, in the Silver Age comics, you can look it up. I mean, it's it's all there. <laughs> oh, I can believe. Yeah, it's all I can't believe it. Yeah, all right, I'll, I'll believe it. I mean, research purposes. They, the, they had the comics yeah, code in the fifties, so the artists and writers did whatever they could, like to get around it. Like uh, Batman and Robin is a giant <laughs> gay innuendo <laughs> for like, a decade. So yeah, it's it's pretty funny. Uh, there's a there's an old old website uh, called Super Dickery. Uh, Superman is a dick, and it goes over all of that with Batman and Superman. Superman's like a total asshole to Lo to Lois Lane, and uh, hmm. it's pretty funny. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah they they didn't go as it. far as having any naughty spanking scenes. They just wanted to throw a rape one in there. You know, just, that's not so. No, old. they didn't. Warrior yeah. always always there. Yeah, there <laughs> we the go. Hell? Right there. <laughs> There Why? You go, guys. <laughs> I just want to ask. What, I just want to ask. What the fuck is going on with her back? Yeah. Oh, and she's melting. Man, what is what is going on here? She is like ice cream on the countertop, man. I do not know. <laughs> oh my god, it's true. Oh well, my. I was gonna say what the fuck is going on with that picture in general, but the, yeah, sure, the back. <laughs> oh yeah, that's also, that's also <laughs> weird. Sure, I but... think the the person who is spanking <laughs> looks so face. stressed out to do so. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Not doing it because she enjoys it. She's oh, this is bad. I just saw something really bad. Wait. Well, see the little kids watching. I mean, this is some weird <laughs> shit. <It's> weird, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know. An entire what? generation was raised on this. She's a feminist what? icon, everyone. A feminist icon. <laughs> what? Uh, hmm. Feminist icon? Or a feminist uh, icon not is... believe this. This is the way we brand you. The red mark of displeasure will remain with you until the smart from this spanking wears off. Okay. That's word for that's word for word something that he's heard in the bedroom. Oh yeah. <laughs> Pretty tough be <laughs> like, down like Steve. It's just amusing. It's like right back to the film where there's the awkward scene where he's picking clothes so anyway, to back wear. To a legitimately less pleasant thing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is obviously the point of this is to reflect the first movie where it's like remember when she was trying on clothes? Well, now he's trying on clothes. Tee hee. And you're like, all right, yeah. Uh, they switched it up on us. Yeah, Sorry. that scene went on for a while. It did. A lot of them do. It did. And it's just like, man, this fashion, it's just not, it's just not cool, well, apparently. Fanny packs, yeah, fanny packs are so 80s. Like, nobody made fun of anybody wearing them back then, like mm -hmm. I did. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, and the... I didn't. They even do, like, the, the hard cuts, with, even to the point where it's moving them across the screen, because that's the, just, that's how you edit scenes that are, like, uh, funny and montage -y for wearing clothes. This, it's it's funny. This whole movie is like a big mixture of paint by numbers and then also insane. Like, oh, they're doing <laughs> yeah. the thing everyone does. Also, they're doing rape. You're like, oh, okay, that's yeah. I mean, throw that in. <laughs> and Patty Jenkins is the hottest director now. Everybody wants her because she knows um, how to direct and she has boobs. Surely she's her reputation is going to take a little bit of a hit from this one, right? It should uh, honestly because she had a writing yeah. credit on this one and not on the first one. So. Uh... Yeah, that's not yeah. looking good for her rep. Zach Wonder was there. Love or hate Zach, he was there helping her in the first uh, one. Obviously. <laughs> well, it's a it's a I'm not good saying, thing listen, in that I know. 
<laughs> and that <laughs> trying on clothes thing, people. it's a good thing that Chris Pine and handsome guy that he's possessing have similar physiques. Yeah. Otherwise, that scene might not make much sense. That's right. Imagine he possessed literally anybody who doesn't have his body type. Oh, Danny DeVito. Yeah, See, that, <laughs> that would have been. That's funny, what I thought though. it was going to be. I thought they were going to go Danny that route. Vito. They were going to get some, like, yeah, some, some, like, you know, bald forty-year-old guy that like is making out with, uh, you know, Gal Gadot. That would have been kind of funny. Uh, but that, yeah, they couldn't. Maybe they could have been the same size, just not, well, you know, you still have had sex with him. That's the question. Yes. <laughs> I think he would. Have. I would have liked to. Which have seen makes the rape funnier. Okay, so humorous yeah. rape. Um. Yeah, and then they do the, the trailer thing. And just it was just again, scenes that go on for a while, and you're just sitting there, we're waiting for them to go back to Max in his crazy because I legit remember seeing this when it shows him again. We were like, Oh shit, what's he doing now? Who who's he manipulating? What kind of powers is he getting? What kind of resources is he getting? I want to follow our protagonist, you know? Enough with the Wonder Woman testing her boyfriend's clothing. It's like that's lame. Um and yeah, he gets his secretary to wish for help, I think, with the phones. Yeah. yeah. And people randomly show up. Yeah, and again, makes you wonder how exactly that works. Are they poofed into yeah. existence? And if so, why didn't you do that for Chris Pine? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird. <laughs> they could have gone down explain. any avenue. One guy, the guy who comes in there says, I was going to some other place and I ended up here. But, I mean, forget about, like, filling out applications and all that stuff, because you still had to do that back in the 80s. You didn't just say you're hired and walk in. It's magic, a corporation. Gary. Gary it's, come on, Gary. It's magic. magic. Well, it's yeah. Magic. Then, then, then that brings up your point. Why didn't Chris Pine just appear? It makes me wonder as well, because uh, if they do, they're basically on the pot. Because, like, it's way too quick to be like that. It would have to be... Guy is walking down the street, and he has this random idea. I'm going to go into this building, and I'm going to work for this guy, and that's because of the monkey's paw. Um, the timing means he would have had to have been on that track before the wish was even made. In which case, that gets into a lot of stuff about fate, I guess. Like and how everything, the the world operates as though it already knows what's going to happen, and puts everything in in place, ready for it to happen, de designed for what people want and stuff. And it's like, oh my god, this film's dealing with concepts that I don't think it's ready for. <laughs> Then back to Kristen Wiig. You're like, no. <laughs> you see, she's captivating an audience because she, all this is is just beats to say that she's slowly. She even says like, "Oh, so weird. I don't need my glasses anymore," and everyone laughs. And it's like, what? <laughs> if any, That's like so weird. If anybody here is wearing glasses and they suddenly didn't need to, I feel like that would be huge. You'd be like, holy shit, my eyes don't. Wow. How come this isn't affecting Diana? How come Diana's not affected? Is it because she's drawing her powers out? Wouldn't she be enamored with Barbara too? Yeah, that's always come across as weird to me because it does seem as though everybody is under a spell, but it doesn't work on Diana. Maybe it's because she's the one she was copying. Is that what the justification Maybe. is? Could be. You have to kind of... Assumption number a thousand, you know. You have to do a bit of work for the for the movie, you know. Um, I don't want to do that much work for a movie like this. No, no one does. Yeah, and so then uh, one of them gets really pissed at her because she allowed Max to have the um, the stone. And it's a really weird scene because it only works if uh, Kristen Wiig's character isn't a character. She goes along with it as if she knows all the context we know. Um, when in, in, in reality she should be like, why are you mad at me? This guy, not only was it something he bought, uh, he's funding us. Just, isn't it totally fine that he has it? Like, why, why are you so pissed at me? But that never happens. Kristen Wiig's like, oh no, sorry, I didn't, oh no, oh no. Like, eh? Yeah, and she's just really rude. Again, this is not the first time that uh, Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman is just incredibly rude to people, and like, in a way that's not even helpful for her. <laughs> no, she's just angry. <laughs> yeah, I know. She's like, how could you do this? And she's like, what? I didn't do anything. I don't even know what I've done, really, unfortunately, yeah. Yeah. Um... So it's, uh, it's a fascinating movie. I said, like, if anybody did a full-on video on this thing, it would take so long to break down. Are you planning on doing one, Shad? Probably just on the big thing, the rape thing. I want to, I like, <laughs> more awareness of this for the fact that so many people are not talking about it when they should be. I'm astounded by it. So I think I'm just going to do a full-blown rant on this. Well, let's Google it. Let's Google. Let's take a look. Is Wonder Woman 
a god pff. rapist no. <laughs> women women can do no wrong you guys are forgetting cosmic book news the warped morality of wonder woman 1984 that's on forbes um how to address its big consent i mean there's okay. some there's some stuff here but it's not as um yeah not as uh it guess, would be everywhere yeah it should be it everywhere the but there's only yeah. you know four or so things that pop up i think we're i think everybody agrees that uh the reverse would be insane on the internet it would be on fire if it was the new captain america film and this was happening no uh, just a reverse role but, but incognito luckily most creators i've seen talking about this film don't fail to mention that el element so you know humanity's not lost yet guys not yet uh, so yeah, they get to Max's office, they're looking for the stone, and they look in his bin, I think, and they find tickets to Cairo. That's, um, not only really lucky that- that happened? I think so. I'm, I'm playing it now, I'll, I'll be able to confirm, but... Because they're after the stone, and, um... The fact that he's gone to Cairo because he wants to talk to the oil baron person, right? Um, get his- Wait, get, get he, his... he went to Cairo, but he threw out the tickets? Well, receipts? <laughs> like, oh, yeah, okay. that's a receipt <laughs> in the trash can. In love... that scene, remember, they also established that he had been researching the stone, so that's how we're supposed to go, oh, he that's how he found it and knew about it, right. which was oh. just he picking up a couple of pieces of paper, right? Yeah, still feels flimsy. To me. Like, a, a, an object of really? that type in this world and he's the one who found it because he just I don't know read the right books at the right times it's like okay oh, there should have been there should have been a scene a pre, a, like a prologue well like they did in uh in uh was a Batman versus Superman where they found the kryptonite right was it Batman versus or set whatever uh but like some little scene where the, somebody discovers the stone and that could, you, that could establish anything, some archaeologist or whatever. Do you remember Justice League where uh, Batman finds out about the mother cubes because he kills a random gremlin thing and its body inscribes the thing into a wall of cubes or something? Do you remember that? Yeah, I do. That's one of the weird... I remember when I first saw that film, I could already just not... I'm so looking forward to showing Rags that shit. It's, it's in... It's... I just, I just remember it, it blows up on a wall and it, is, it just makes a painting of cubes or something. <laughs> it's, 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 uh, listen, the, the DC world is very good at connecting scenes. They know what kind of shit the audience is, is thinking about in terms of how does one get from A to B. And um, like I said, in this scene, they, they, they found that there's, there's, there's research on the stone. The stone is clearly broken. I think from that they jump to he is the stone now. Do you remember? We were all like, whoa, that's a leap. Um, of all the things you could think that he did with the stone. Um, I can't even remember what the rationale is, I just remember us being really surprised that the, the heroes have already figured out that he is now a wish-granting stone. Wait, is is it the body of Pedro, but he has the powers of the stone? Or is the yeah. stone hopping around with like a little mouth on it, like no. Family Guy or something? <laughs> <laughs> the properties of the stone are now within him. If you touch his hand and wish for something, the same, uh, you know, thing happens. Yeah, it's... It Massive leap that they figure that out. Like, yeah, look, if you were on my team and suggested that, I'd be like, why would you assume that's what happened? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it seems, I just think a lot of, I would have assumed he destroyed it uh, after using it to make sure no one could counter his wish or something. That's what I would have mm. assumed too, yeah, for sure. Right. Um, but yeah, they're obviously looking around the office for any clues, and just bear in mind, if they don't have the Cairo clue, they're fucked. And uh, I've nearly got the shock, so I'm assuming it's she. Yeah, they're just looking his bin. It's um, this is leading us to the wonderful action scene anyway. So you guys should be hype. Uh, yeah, Steve Super finds hype. them. I think it's just so. So I was um wh while y'all were talking, I was doing a little quiet because I was talking about a um, uh, just a couple, just looking around. So I saw that um, that uh, that was removed. Because I guess it wasn't a leak, I guess. But I guess it's been removed, but I could still find it. So it wasn't removed. I don't know. Point being, um, there are clearly people I've shown in the comments that don't think that this is rape at all. So there are some fucking crazy ass people. Oh, wow. Okay. But 
one of the more popular um, ones was from r slash nofap christians. Uh, it is a safe place <laughs> okay. for the Christian nofap what? users to discuss the process of abstaining from pornography and masturbation. Uh, we're, we're an official accountability group of r slash nofap. And the thread is called Wonder Woman 1984 reminded me why pornography is evil. <laughs> so, yeah, that's uh, definitely interesting. So there you go. Of all the it's, things uh, to learn from Wonder Woman 84, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But so <laughs> they, they do a good job at recognizing the rape that takes place, but apparently pornography is evil. Um, and this is what is found, by the way. I guess, I'm not sure what the term for it is, but it's just the... the other portion of the ticket that he would have bought. Passenger so, um, seat. Yeah. So they're lucky that uh that they managed to find that, of course. And they also <laughs> find the magazine with the new King of Crude. So it's funny because it's it's like a video game where it's like there are two clues in this room, find them. And you pick up two things and it goes, <laughs> What have you learned from this magazine about a crude oil baron in uh, Cairo and a plane ticket to Cairo? It's like, hmm. <laughs> So, uh, have we actually mentioned that Max didn't need to go to Cairo to get that wish done? He could have gotten anyone. If you just said, hey, could you do me a favor and say this words for me? I mean, just, yeah. I wish that, say, I wish Max will get this guy's oil reserve just for me and I'll pay you a hundred bucks. He could have done that. Then we don't get our action scene yeah, in Cairo. Yeah, that would have been, yeah. Seems like you, wish, you're not even uh, just oriented. Say, I, I wish I was in Cairo. Yeah, wish, him, wish himself to Cairo. That could work. I mean, if you have the power of the wish, it does come across as like there's a lot of things you can do that take you to the finish line, so to speak. Well, I just wish yeah. I wish I had everything I ever needed. Oh, I completely forgot about this. So they need to get to Cairo, everyone, from Washington. And um, that means they're going to go to the Smithsonian with her access and get to an aeroplane. <laughs> now, uh, there's so much about oh, this scene fuck. that doesn't work. Like, uh -huh. I'm not sure where to begin. Um, I don't think there's anything about it that does work. So, Honestly, I, every detail is wrong. It's like we need to make a list. It's like clearance to leave would be something. Access to the actual airplane. The keys to turn it on. The knowledge to use it from Steve. Uh, the the fuel, fuel to get to Cairo. Yeah. There is not enough fuel to get to Cairo. Even if no. it's fully fueled, you have to stop somewhere. That's what, you know... Uh, what are those big ships called with, with the planes land on? What are those called? Aircraft, Aircraft carriers? Yeah, that's what those are for. Yeah. Because yeah. you cannot fly from here to Cairo on one tank. Like, Oh, God. This is one of those scenes, I think, that uh, is really good for just a class to study. It's like nothing about this works. Um, every possible thing <laughs> that would prevent them from getting to Cairo is still in play. This answers nothing. <laughs> they've I, just broken the wheel. That's all they've done. While we were in the middle of watching this, we were like pointing out like tons of of issues with this, and then it took a it took us like until about a minute into the scene when I'm like, guys, are, how's the plane fueled up? <laughs> yeah, this <laughs> like, oh, yeah, that was, just it's plane crazy. Up. It's like a museum. Oh, okay. in this eh. it's at a museum, right? So yeah, it's mm -hmm. fully it's it's fueled. Why is there somebody in the tower at the museum? <laughs> Planes you're not going I to don't fly. know security. I guess they're just making sure no one steals <laughs> these wide open the radar keys. On. No, it's oh. a real airport. People just take off, they land. Yep, you know, there's a nice there. But you know what, guys? Yeah. Drama. Drama ensues. They are on a radar. How will they escape oh this? Ra I like that the writers they had like eight thousand issues to deal with writing. They're like, let's just go with the radar. It allows us to get this payoff that we think is neat. That's the only reason they went with yeah. it. How do you solve? Yeah. Being on a radar, everyone. Um, you probably have to put some special reflective material on the outside of your plane that the radar waves don't like interfere with a certain way, or I don't, I don't really know. <gasps> guys looking at the radar. Is that a little Holy too dark? Shit. Oh fuck! I'm oh, sorry. No, I just I'm playing I'm playing Guild Wars Two in the back, and I just pulled a vision of the con or. I don't know what that means. All right. How, <laughs> I don't know how what that God means either. either. I'm that like, very happy for you. Though. Is that a sexual <laughs> thing, Rags? Just like, <laughs> man, woo! That's oh, how, how can they be on? Here? Here. How can they be on radar just... already? If they're 
They're like, <laughs> they're not, haven't even taken off yet. I don't know. It's detecting them. Yeah, Maybe that would be another way, dude. is to give off a bunch of false signals that could be detected on a radar. That's possibly another way to... Just, there's probably people in China who know more about how to deal with radar than, um, than we do or this film does. So, uh, much like, and I, I referenced it in our, in our watching of it, I, I, in TFA Part 3, I think I talked about like the power of throwaway lines, and an example of a bad one is in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, where they're like, damn, this 20-year-old broken-down Jeep, we need it to work. Lucky we repair Jeeps. Like, what? <laughs> what? It's like, okay, then. It's like, we repaired... So, this is, damn, we're being detected by a radar, and she's like, oh, it's chill. My dad could make things invisible. Let me try. Yeah. <laughs> what? I mean, it's, it, this she's is never a, done it before, right? That's the idea? She's My dad's a TV repair man. He can fix anything. So we, Wonder sorry. Woman's Go ahead. Oh, yeah, Wonder Woman's basically a wizard now. She could just magic. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I don't think you can pull the... Well, she... The Invisible Jet, that's a thing from the comics. It's like, this isn't that. <laughs> this is like... I've heard people say that. I've heard people say, oh, well, that's a thing from the comics. It's like, it's so funny right. because she starts doing these hand movements and I thought it was all just like going to be a payoff for a joke where she's like, huh, I guess that doesn't do anything. And you're like, okay, but <laughs> no, weird stuff starts to happen. See these special effects, everyone? Look at those special effects. Oh, and see so like, wait, Very what's, what's going to happen? And Gal Gadot is expressing frustration as she tries to get this working. It's, it's exciting. Is the invisible jet a Wonder Woman thing or a Justice League I mean, look at her facial all expression. She's just, like, constipated. Yeah? Do you never do that when trying to make things invisible? Also, I, I think it... I, I thought the invisible jet was a Wonder Woman thing. Is it the technology or is it something yeah. she makes invisible? I guess Gary uh, might it, know. It, it, it's... it's nah, nah, it's it's comic book logic. They've retconned it a few times, but it was just magic-y stuff before uh but uh the zeus is uh the daddy but the uh they even put it in the tv show that's probably what their reference is from it and she just had it from I've, uh from paradise island i thought it was like the it. x-men jet where they all use it uh, it doesn't really belong to any one person you know <clears throat> yeah i'm no i'm no radar expert but i'm pretty positive being <laughs> what invisible. good are you <laughs> why are you even here? Pretty, why why are pretty, you even here? Uh, I'm sorry. You're right. I'll... Well, uh, to finish his point. Now, ironically, no one can see him. So, well, oh. yeah, if, yeah, just because it's oh. you know invisible to the eyes, I think a radar would still be able to detect it. As far as I know, with how radar magic. works, yes. Uh, so that's very funny. People will just say it's magic, guys. Magic will stop the radar. Magical um, immune to sight and radar. Yeah, and yeah. I know that, like, in terms of Invisible Jet, there's a DC um, animated movie that has her have an actual jet that can turn invisible through technology. It's a stealth jet that she gets a hold of and then she decides to keep. And mm. So that a Invisible Jet cameo thing in that that way. Um, but this, the way they've done it here is just baffling because... This is one of the things that tick me, really ticks me off in movies where they do like, you know, um, prequel stuff and they show characters doing things that they've never done in any other time. And so it's like, oh, OK, so she can make things invisible now. That's that would <laughs> never happen to any, any other time she fights anyone in Justice League at all. Like, sure. OK. Yeah. How does this right. not come up in other films? Like, because this yeah. isn't something she learned in this film. This is something she just mentions is a thing in this film. You're like, wait a minute, how long yeah. have you known this? Yeah. Diana, designed, <laughs> Diana designed the invisible plane on Paradise Island. It was an old thing from the cartoons and the comics, so it's okay. Yep. Well, it doesn't have to make any fucking sense. See, and I think that that's no. it's almost mean to the comics because of the fact that this didn't even try. It was like What's, what, what does the comic have? It's like Invisible Jet. Like, oh, she, I don't know, she makes stuff invisible. And she went into a jet. That's well, close enough, right? She just she just pulls out, not, not only that she can turn invisible, which she never makes herself invisible. You think she would. That seems yeah. like really, really yeah. fucking useful. But uh, she's Especially like, no, I can just movie. like, I can turn shit invisible. It's all good, you know? <laughs> I watch I'll my just dad turn this plane invisible. I watch my dad do well, a lot of stuff. I'm curious what what is radar displaying when My it reads something? Is it is it tracking motion? Is it tracking heat? 
It, it's <laughs> bounce, I'm pretty sure it's bouncing radio waves off of it's sending radio waves out and then things bounce back or something like that. I don't know. Don't I quote see. me on that. I think right. that is how it but works. But the R, yeah. the R stands for radio, so it's radio detection and ranging. I think. Right. Radio. Okay. Yeah. How does radar work? Um, it sends out electromagnetic waves similar to wireless computer networks and mobile phones. They're sent out in short pulses, which may be reflected by objects in their path, in part reflecting back to the radar. Oh, no. Hey. So when something's invisible, nothing changes. Yay. <laughs> yeah. Well done, Wonder Woman. E echolocation. Yeah, that, that makes so sense. So right. they could have had that really cool scene where they get... So the radar picks up that they're there. So they scramble some jets to go and intercept them or find them. And then the jets are like, are you sure it's here? And they're looking around <laughs> and they can't see it. And you have that, that you could make it make a funny little comedy moment where they're like, Oh God, can they see us? And there's jets right next to them, but they can't see them. And that would have, that would have been a cool little, uh, cool little moment. You could have Chris Pine and Diana having, you know, just a little, little, fun moment together where they're just invisible next to these jets but we got this so there you go oh, we had to go through fireworks for like five minutes and then we had to go above the cloud and see the colors yeah, that the man. fireworks made that was Ugh. a long scene and uh it was almost like ill-advised too it's just like you have a job to fucking do flying through fireworks like what do you <laughs> guys <laughs> and, and he flew a biplane in world war one Therefore, How in the hell did he fly the jet? Hey, it's and a plane. Hey, it's like if I rode a bike, I could ride a motorcycle, right? And, and drive that a tank, way. I'm sure. <laughs> Why not throw a tank in there? He's amazed by fireworks as well. Like, didn't they exist back then? Aren't they pretty old? They did. What I will say is it would be pretty, pretty cool. Sure the Chinese invented like 5,000 years ago. So It would be pretty cool regardless to fly through fireworks. Like, I, I could get, you know, I'd be interested in that. But uh, this scene is so well, distractingly yeah. stupid that I don't uh, care, on. if you know I, what I mean. I don't think you want to fly through them, though. Flying through projectiles that explode. Yeah. In whoa, whoa, whoa. Exactly. Under the pretense that idea. I am safe. If I am, if I know I am safe in this invisible jet, you know. <laughs> Gosh, you guys just, you, you're, you're missing the emotional resonance of this film, of okay? <laughs> the other thing that's... I don't the think you could that's... find emotional resonance in this film if you had radar. Wow. <laughs> the other <laughs> thing that's weird to me is that it's not shot in slow motion. Like, the reactions are in real time, but the plane is moving incredibly slow through that. Like, don't those kind of planes have to go pretty fast just to stay yeah. airborne? Right. I would guess. That's kind of weird. Yeah. We had to enjoy the scene. Distracting. Oh, sorry. It was important. Just, uh, that's the whole theme of the movie, right? Just sit back and enjoy. And again, we've we've been without Maxwell for so long, and then it cuts back to Kristen Wiig, and you're like, no, not again. Wait, in the film, has Chris Pine never seen fireworks? Where have you been? <laughs> Playing Guild Wars. Oh. No, no, I, I actually, I legit was, and I was reading some messages and stuff people have been sending me, but I, I forget that did, did he did he not or. Um, well, we, uh, Shad brought it up, and yeah, it's like, the one thing that I think is important to consider is that you're in them rather than just seeing them. Like the, I think it would be interesting to be at the explosion level right next to fireworks, but uh, at the same time, you know, it shouldn't probably be that shocking to him, fireworks. At least, I mean, she's just as surprised, and she lives in a world with fire, I don't know. He, he reacts but, like he's never seen them before. Yeah. Yeah, because someone... Because someone messaged me and said that they were invented in like 200 BC. Yeah. So it shouldn't. So they should have both seen fireworks, like the both of them. It's 1984. They they will have seen these before, like every New Year's and Fourth of July, and so like them being bewildered by them occurring is it would <laughs> be odd. What's that? When he sees them, he's like, "What's that?" <laughs> it's like he's he had no idea what they are. He's just like the Germans. They're shooting colorful. They're yeah. shooting gay flat cans at us. <laughs> hey, we need to dodge. That's, that's what, yeah. My wife said, "Good thing he doesn't have PTSD." <laughs> yeah, oh that's that's my true. god! Yeah, that's so true. Oh, that's hilarious. Film could go. This is the thing. This yeah, film is actually pretty dark. If you so he should be like really afraid of them. You interpret it the right way. This film can get dark real quick. Speaking of yeah. next scene, Kristen Wiig is like enough rape. 
Enough. Gonna kill rape. And, uh, this guy, the drunken asshole dude, she, um, she fucks him up quite a bit. Before that, oh, yeah. Cat called three times in a row. Like, by <laughs> nearly every guy she passes, this goes, bang, bang, bang. Like, I wonder what they're trying to say about men. Just, hmm. Hey. Wasn't sure. A little too subtle. What's curious about this is like this is the polar opposite of the uh, deleted scene from Captain Marvel with the Dawn, where that is a well, like in Captain Marvel, it's a it's a bad thing presented as good, and this is like so she's uh I, I think this is a bad thing that she's doing in terms of like the degree in which she's assaulting him, even when he's clearly no longer a threat. Um, but at the same time, he is a creep, and so then like there's people that are outraged by how they're depicting um her fighting off a rapist as a bad thing um, um i can understand the mixed messaging aspect that are people like yeah. this is portrayed as a dark and horrifying scene when in a broad sense it's a woman defending herself from a rapist i understand why they say that at the same time fucking hell she really lays into him <laughs> well, <laughs> he's not in <laughs> thing. that's that's what i'm trying to like, yeah. get at here is he's uh he's not he's not a threat to her at this point. Um, I, I think it's weird that again, Wonder Woman just didn't like apprehend him, lasso him, turn him in or anything like that earlier in the film. She just like walks away and like, okay, I guess, well, she, I guess she was thinking he's drunk and he's learned his lesson. So I, I, I was more concerned about her checking on his health. I didn't know if he was dead from what she did. She moved him like five meters yeah, in a second. Know. Did she punch yeah, oh, him? Yeah, him up? Totally from what she does to him. Um, but when you say defending herself, right, he cat called her and she passed. And if she kept running, that would have been the end of it. But she stops and then basically picks the fight with him. Um, he, um, doesn't he go to do something to her and she grabs him? Yeah, he tries to hit her, I think, and she grabs it or something like that. But that's after she started, was calling him names and things. Also, how hard you have but to that throw him? By him touching her. Yeah, of course it doesn't. I'm not saying it does. But. Well, all this it's is, just, this whole scene is escalation. It's just, yeah. <laughs> it's everything yeah. escalation. It, it, it's a very disproportionate response. Absolutely. Um, so, so when she did that initial hit, I think in our recording, we're like, well, he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> that, I, I mean, movie, look what it does to the truck. Yeah, movie thing, logic uh, likes to is. pretend a lot of the time you could do a shit ton to a human body and it just sort of gets back up immediately. And it's like, no, 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 no. Um, I mean... The amount of force you need to exert on a human body to lift it off its feet and launch it a few meters in the air is insane. That would yeah. to crush in a rib cage, usually kill someone instantly right then. Like it's crazy. To and of course, intent? it also depends on how quickly the force is applied. I will put that caveat there. Yeah, yeah. If you're slow uh... to but look at that kick holy crap yeah, yeah. so this <laughs> kick to have the force to move someone several meters almost off their feet all in the space of just the um i don't even know what the the word for it is but you know like the edge of your foot uh before your toes that area yeah that on your chest with enough force to move you several meters he's probably dead again it's mm -hmm. yeah um uh... In the same way that a slap to a face is different than the same force being projected in just a, a single prick, you know? It'll go, and you're just like, ah, fuck. But, uh, yeah, she's pretty pissed to this guy. And, of course, this is um, probably what they were looking to do, is, like, be like, this is her descent into villainy. And it's a, mm -hmm. it, it comes from a better, a, a place that's vaguely, like... <laughs> Even the first hit she does to him is still like, okay, you crossed the line <laughs> already. Yeah, so, that yeah. first hit against the truck is like, okay, calm hey, hey, down. You guys are nitpicking for assuming that people that are not established to have superhuman durability in a comic book movie uh, should uh, should not have superhuman durability, okay? Just like in Doc Ock and Spider-Man 2, all right? It, it, it's a comic book movie. Everyone's durable. Shit. That's how it works. When she just kicked him, do all of his teeth fly out, or is that spit? I it thought, looked like it. I think it's. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't think it. this film would want to do teeth. I think it's just spit. <laughs> yeah, um, that looked like spit. Yeah, it's a good thing Wonder Woman initially let him go to reoffend and also show up here coincidentally. <laughs> yeah, uh, Washington D.C. is a pretty big town. So <laughs> to, the same guy to again. The film is a little. That last yeah. kick she does, holy shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This guy is... Now, now, it is important to note, though, that 
this film portrays this as a bad thing she is doing. Yeah. 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 Just so we're being clear. So everyone knows. Just so everyone knows, right? The film isn't trying to portray her as a good person doing a good thing where this guy gets his just comeuppance. This is definitely portrayed as a villainous action. They this even isn't have, like the Captain Marvel stuff. They even have the friendly hobo from earlier just randomly turn up and be yeah. like, oh no, <laughs> why are you being mean? Oh and my what god, fuck? seriously? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> Washington DC, there's like a solid <laughs> six people that live there. Well, it gets better because well, he's, he's like, what Population are you doing? six. He's like, what are you doing? She's like, stay out of my business. Or, or st whatever. Lie that involves business. Like, mind your own business, I think. Mind your own business, yeah. <laughs> it's just me beating a man to death. Fuck off. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> I just like the um, the homeless man is just the paragon of virtue because he's probably yeah, chill. He's just like, saint. yeah, I, that's like well, a trope, I think, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, that's and, what they're doing. And of course, what's he saying here? Like, oh, he didn't deserve that. I, th I think all he's he's just confused. He's saying, "What the fuck's going on?" Oh, okay. Which, I don't think we see him again, do we? Nope, this is the last time. Bye, homeless I man. can't believe he showed up in this scene. That's fucking ridiculous. It was ridiculous <laughs> enough already with, like, the rapist showing up. Then also the fucking homeless guy shows up. And I love this film, oh, Suddenly God. Cairo. Oh. You're like, right there, I guess we got to Cairo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, um, oh, it's such a wild ride. You just don't know what's going to happen next. And, of course, yeah, so Max is just talking with the other oil dude and gets him... What is even the wording? He wants all of, like... The people who the correct people in the city he has and the non correct people out. I can't remember what the specific wording is. Yeah, though. that guy wants basically like the re and like he really wants the caliphate back or like some sort of empire that used to exist there. He wants that back. He wants that territory under his control and only like we you know the true believers, not the heathens kind of thing. And so Max yep. grants him that and it erects a wall around his city. Um, that's not really what he wished for. <laughs> they built the wall. Yeah, <laughs> it isn't. So uh, the, the thing with like the creative license that the wish stone and then uh, Max Lord take is it's really crazy that he's just like, ah, you wanted to be number one apex predator. I'm going to make you a human cheetah hybrid. We'll get and to that. You <laughs> want your empire back. We're going to build a giant wall just around this city. <laughs> specifically yeah like, and, i didn't ask for that even a little bit and then um th because of that he's able to basically like take all of his stuff right he just says all of your does he say all your security detail of mine now is that what he's after or does he just take everything something like that i think he takes the like the you know the bodyguards he has doesn't he just take everything because we see that guy later and he's just like in some random room because he's like lost everything almost it seems Oh, I missed that. I can't remember. There's just so much that I just like flew right over my head watching this movie because there's just so much. So much happens. There's just movies chock full of stuff. Yeah, like I said, it's it's quite a challenge to um <laughs> break it down. We're getting there. It's only taken us five hours to get through an hour and 20 minutes. That's actually probably a good ratio <laughs> for EFAP. I don't know. Uh, yeah. yeah, and so Maxwell takes all of his men and they sort of drone walk like the zombies, which is really interesting to me, because again, it's like, wait, do they stop being the people? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. that's a good question. Um, we'll never Because he can just kind of take over people's free will, so... Uh, I, I don't know, this might come as a surprise, but I'm not sure that there's any real consistent rules to this whole <laughs> wish thing. <laughs> um, what? No way! What? <laughs> and yeah, so there's a Say this what? is the problem with the wall is like, did it force? Did it teleport everyone outside of it, or did it just raise a wall? Because raising the wall is just not useful at all to the wish. If the specifics yeah. of keeping certain people in and out, and they're all just the way they were. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't show anyone being teleported out of there. Any of the non-believers or whatever else he asked for. So. uh I don't really understand. Nope. But it does give us access to Maxwell having a convoy, which is going to be really important for an upcoming action scene. Uh, I'm so excited it's for this action It scene. is time for us to get to it, I'm sure. We're so close. I think all <laughs> that happens between is, um, isn't it like uh, Wonder Woman phones Kristen Wiig for more information on the stone? I, I don't know. 
the plot at this point is getting really weird because uh, the world the it's world is taking yeah, the, and the world On is the just taking a beating. Is... Go ahead. I was just gonna say that, that, like with the wall being erected, people just walking off with Max. It was like things are starting to get uh, more and more significant in, on the world stage. Yeah, um, things oh, are gonna escalate. They drive so right past make them. Your heads, head spin. I forgot they drive right past them. They, they just they went on the same <laughs> road. There's one road in and out of Cairo. Okay, so they must have landed the plane <laughs> somewhere. And <laughs> it's not like the capital city of Egypt or anything. There you go. Nah, maybe Cairo. This it car. Also, maybe it was it was smaller back then in 1984. It was. Oh shit! I didn't realize they actually buy the car off the guy who was driving them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like, this is a good price. I cannot say no. Yeah. The, what, was they it, just yeah. fucking leave the guy there? Well. Oh, okay. It's okay. It's a highway. People drive up and down the highway, and he can get a ride. Let's just hope money. he does. Yeah. It must have been a lot of money he, for him to he agree. He clearly thought it was worth it. Yeah. Let's just presume okay he can. Yeah, he can pay for a ride, I guess. It could have been worse. Yeah. They could have just taken it from him. So my other question is, is this how roads are there? Do they really have just a white line down the middle? I don't know. I'm just curious, because yeah, if, if so, that's a nice little detail. Unless they actually drove to Egypt to make this. So, well, they got to film like, somewhere why? like that, because there's nowhere Arizona. in like California that looks like that. So you can go to the you can go to the in America. They've got deserts. Sweet. Yeah, but not like that kind of desert. Not like that. This movie what do you mean, is like sandy what? deserts. What kind of so desert are we talking we're about? One hour twenty minutes, right? Yeah. And there has been barely any Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. <laughs> There's none. <laughs> Thank Except God. The first, uh, the first <laughs> scene in the mall. And that's they, it. You don't see Wonder Woman till one hour and twenty one minutes. True. It's, yeah. it's like, it was I think like the you film it during the movie. I think that's a, I think that's a positive. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> I would take Wonder Woman action scenes over watching Kristen Wiig lift weights. I, I'm I'm definitely more on yeah. board with with the fun because that opening mall scene was hilarious. Uh, and so, well, and you know, uh -huh. on form, we're about to get another one. So, the way this begins, real quick, real quick, yeah? real quick. This this these desert scenes were shot in Spain. Huh. Oh, Fair interesting. Enough. Yeah, fair enough. I can blame Look it. at this dude. There's two people shooting, and he's like, no. Sorry. Well. Chris is dead. <laughs> oh, yeah. So Chris, Chris dies here, um, but we're going to jump to the dimension where he was lucky that they missed him entirely uh, for some reason. Oh, yeah. This is insane. His plot armor here is absolutely bonkers. And the thing is, you can't win because if you have it so that they shot the shit out of the hood, then that car is stopping. Like, the, yeah. you can't shoot that many times and not do serious harm. Yeah, those are... Yeah, what? they're shooting AK. Is he and... immortal? <laughs> what? she wished for him back? I want him back alive? Well, this is a this is a fight that didn't have to happen. Like, this is pointless violence. Yep. Yep. Also, Which this... is why I'm rooting for the security detail, because I don't want him to get <laughs> killed by Wonder Woman for no reason. Yeah. Um. So this part, he's driving, uh, presumably full speed, she opens the door... And just gets out as though there isn't a moving car, <laughs> and then starts running, and then goes far past it. It's like okay, once again establishing, by the way, that Wonder Woman can move faster than a car, and yet she rides yeah. a horse in many scenes in the first film for some reason. Yeah. <clears throat> God, it looks it's so awkward when she runs. Screenwriting one hundred and one. You need a big action scene every ten pages. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. boom. Oh, it makes no fucking sense. This. Her oh, running is always so funny bad. when she fast hey, runs. What sound was that? It's so bad. <laughs> it is so bad. <laughs> it, it makes me cringe. Oh, oh look at that. Uh, yeah. It's oh, oh, even oh. like, look at her face. Even this still, there's no emotion. Rex, yeah. this is this yeah, is looks... perseverance, confidence, <laughs> uh, a sense of arrogance, and naivety. It's uh, all involved. That is. Honestly, I mean, she delivered some really awful lines that we looked at earlier. This is the worst acting she's ever done. Well, this one well, shot. Well, I don't need it. Can you even say this is acting? I like that's how bad it is because it's like can you she's can not... you lose the game if you don't play? <laughs> <laughs> like like Gary, does she not does she not look bored in this? She looks bored, very bored. Look that. at that face! Oh my god, that's the perfect <laughs> still. <laughs> Guys, guys, it's daytime. 
it's freaking daytime and there's a shadow on the right side of her face. Where's that coming from? Where's the, I mean, yeah, the sun's up. the green her. screen is not especially strong, Whoa. Miss Dean. Look how bored she that. is. Yeah. Like, I am <laughs> Why so bored. I am Wonder Woman. Like, she doesn't like even trying... look like. Go ahead. Guys, She's like trying to compete with Brie Larson to be the biggest uh, plank playing a superhero. -y. So it doesn't even look like she's looking at what's in front of her, trying to figure out like where to run, and like she's not <laughs> tracking people no, with her no, eyes. That's right. That's a good point. Yeah, uh, yeah. She would be. You think she'd be like keying in on a truck or something? No, she's just yeah, like I'm out. For she'd be like looking at the people with the guns, trying to. But she's just staring straight ahead. Bored is all hell. I can believe yeah. that they shot this without even knowing what scene it was going to be in. They were like, "We need you to just be running because we might need it." Like what emotion? Yeah. I don't even think that question was asked. It was just just run. <laughs> what emotion? What's my motivation? <laughs> You're Wonder Woman. It, I assume they were using like a treadmill in front of a green screen, but it'd be great yeah. if she was just like running on the spot, like that kind of cringy, like <laughs> amateur green screen where she's just like you know how it's, wired, you're not actually honestly. moving you're just like hopping up and down in one place <laughs> <laughs> so this always amused me she just rips the wheel off the fucking car you're like okay it's just like what do i uh you wonder like what the goal is right now i guess she just wants to stop everyone right like she, she doesn't want to does she want to kill is it is it ever clear with wonder woman if she's cool with killing she seems like she doesn't um, want to, but she does so many reckless things that definitely cause people to die. So it's kind of a wash. She's killed our mood many times. Oh yeah, uh, like yeah. Her, <laughs> I think I, I think I was even talking about that, or at least some of us were, when she just takes the steering wheel from that guy's car, and I'm like, yeah, they could absolutely die. <laughs> Rags, they go off road, and the camera does not show us what happens to them. Yeah, I'm like, oh, <laughs> those guys could be very dead. Oh man, oh, the brakes still it. work. He's like, yeah, but I have like fucking momentum, bitch. <laughs> so this oh, here uh, we go. This scene oh, here we go. is incredible. Oh. Like, we've got one shot heading right toward, I guess, Trevor. Um, wow, what a shot, by the way. And so well, she spots you'd that. You think that they shoot enough, but yeah, that's it, because if that was a hailstorm of fire and one of them hit him, yeah, but a yeah. single shot. Wow, what a and, scene. They, he was so sure that that shot was perfect. He didn't shoot anymore. And so I just want to confirm <laughs> who who lasso moves three times possibly as fast as a bullet. Uh and that ain't just any bullet. That's a big ol' that's like an H2 something. Uh, let me find out. I because I think uh, coincidentally, the day before we watched this, Forgotten Weapons did a video on it. Um, but it, it, I think that's a 50 cal. So that is a, that is a hefty bullet. That ain't, oof, that is gonna fuck your day up. This image shouldn't, <laughs> shouldn't be possible. <laughs> like Chris Pine tries to swerve and avoid it <laughs> as if he can see it coming towards him too. Like it's not a <laughs> Yeah. I can't believe this is in a film. That's, in that's insane. She wraps the whip around the bullet. Like, wow. Oh, that's ridiculous. But how does the scene make you feel? <laughs> it made me, we laughed. I laughed my ass off. Incredible oh. work. I mm. cannot hear you, Shad. Can yeah. you hear me? Hello? We can hear oh. you now. Can Just you hear me A little now? bit. A little bit. A little bit or was it breaking up? I You're good hear. now, but you weren't earlier. Okay. All right. So it should be fine now. Yeah. This movie is so... <laughs> Oh, hang on. <laughs> I don't know what to feel about that's this movie. Bullet. Oh wait, that's Shad, go insane. Ahead. Lassoing the bullet is too much. Yeah, too that, much. we laughed out loud. We yeah, laughed that's, that's out the line. loud. It was hilarious. <laughs> so here's the thing. I think I might actually enjoy this movie more than the first one, only you because will. it's so bad it's good. Oh yeah, this is worse than the first, but it's way more enjoyable. I feel yeah, you're saying it's boring. That. It's so it's running. It's so weird. Yeah. The way, yeah. Uh, so I, was, I was about to bring up the way she just ran in that scene is it looks like she's a bystander has no idea what's going on. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me just show that again. This so whole it, scene is a miracle. Am I, am, am I correct in this? Am I is this like shot in the studio or or did they shoot it live? It's like it's a bit of both. Parts probably. of it are. Yeah. 
She must have been on a green screen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, runs. when she was gliding, running, that was so funny. Oh, she's like, on a what? green screen for sure. Yeah. But yeah. Those cars are actually in Spain. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, man. So awkward. Uh, action scenes in stuff that's poorly written are always a gold mine because you don't know what's going to happen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, now she's charging uh, one of the vehicles forward at the same speed that they're driving. That's insane. And you'd think it would I mean, have flipped because the wheels and the yeah. friction, but you know it's fine. Yeah. Oh, it definitely would have flipped. It looks like it. Yeah, it's it's. Ugh. Also, <laughs> she is strong enough to do this, but he struggles to break the lock on a door. Yeah, remember that, guys? She couldn't quite break the lock on the door. <laughs> This is chill. Wait, when was that? Wait, wait, wait. When her and Steve want to break into somewhere. Oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> she can throw tanks, but she can't open a lock. <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to hot out. Things Maybe. happen and guy don't happen like when the plot at his own... I guess he's shooting at the uh, that the boxes, so... I was about to say, is he fucking his own dude up? But I was like, nah, he's shooting at the boxes. Fair enough. Oh, and a trusty piece of metal slips out, and she surfs it, and then slides under the car to the next one. It's just like, whoa, 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 wow. All right. <laughs> this is, she's... That's her incredible skill. She, yeah, she pulls herself underneath the car. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's really cool. She reacts to her environment. And somehow, yeah. this guy did not see her at all. I don't know how he missed all of that. But down he goes. He's probably fine. Not like they were going at a He's really fine. high speed. He's fine. And there we go. She is shot by what I, my limited knowledge would be a fucking powerful gun, and it does uh, it does that to it her. It grazes yeah. her, apparently. And oh. it's, this is shocking. Right through her shoulder. But... Like even <laughs> Steve is like, "Whoa!" And it's like this was a thing in the first movie. This happened in the first movie. She was shot and she got grazed. Yeah, I guess he's just surprised oh, yeah. that well, the plot armor wasn't perfect. But the film, the film treats well, like, it as though incredible. it's a surprise and it work. relates to her lacking, like her her waning powers. But it's like, but this was always a thing. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. I, I never properly that when she discovers that she's apparently not invulnerable to bullets. I guess, which is the shocker, that it just happens to be a bullet that grazed her shoulder. Hmm. Like, so, wow, how lucky. This also means if she's vulnerable to certain caliber of bullet rounds, Superman would be able to rip her limb from limb without even trying. Absolutely. She's got no chance against him. And which she does yeah. she does lose to him in a tug of war in Justice League, right? I think I think, so. I think, I think she so, is yeah. she isn't as strong as he is in the Snyderverse already, but still. She also feel like... was getting, like, I think, assistance from Cyborg and uh, Aquaman as well, who's also supposed to be super strong, I believe. Mm. Um, yeah, then Steve just casually crashing into the armored military vehicle with his already practically destroyed car. Good choice. And uh, this allows <laughs> this al like this movie. He drags himself across all of the jagged, broken window. Not a scratch, of course. And then just makes his way up the thing because apparently his car go like attached itself to the armored car. Like okay. And also, bear in mind he is risking someone else's life who is not consenting to this at all at the same time. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Rags, do you remember this bit? I'm <laughs> I can't remember your reaction, but I'm pretty sure you were angry. Uh, <laughs> he just kicks the where... gun. <laughs> yeah, he... <laughs> the guy with that gun's probably like, hey, stop. Hey. And apparently he was the only guy in there? <laughs> yeah, and he comes out. Why would he come out? Yeah, so that big vehicle, because the guy's shooting while it's also being driven. However, apparently, there's only one guy in there that Chris Pine punches or something. Uh, I, I don't think he kills him. He like punches him or something and jumps in. And I mm -hmm. guess he just commandeers the whole vehicle. I don't know if there was anyone else inside. If there was, then um, I, we just don't get to see, you know, any of that happening. Um, so then this happens, and I don't quite understand what happened. She she pulled down a part of the car, the drive shaft. Yeah, and it. Flips the entire car. Oh wow! And there she is. Okay. So Sorry. whoever was driving that, dead. 
probably. <laughs> but it's fine. It'll be off screen. Yeah. It, w- it wouldn't have dug into the ground like that. It just would have scraped along it and made a lot of sparks. But anyway. Mm-hmm. But no, epic. That's amazing. Oh, it's no. Just... Even when she's CGI, she can't What act. music is playing here? I don't know. It's the... I'm just curious. I can't hear the music. Is it like hopeful music or no, probably like the Snyder? It's the theme. It's the, it's the, theme. Uh, it's the like, new one that they repeat over and over and over again throughout the entire film, and, except at the end when they rip off the uh, Batman music. Oh, wow. <laughs> Maxwell Lord is still at the front of this that. convoy, just like uh... oh, there she is. Max, stop doing wish things. It's evil. (laughs) This is such a bizarre scenario. Max, I came all the way up here to ask you to kindly stop. That's a hot girl thing to do. They just expect things to happen all the time. Yeah, she's too used to dealing with betas, unlike Max, who's a total Chad. Oh, look (laughs) at this. Remember, she is not immune to the bullets. They have clearly established that. This guy has the best shot you're going to get. just somehow... I wow. don't understand Ugh. how, but in the world of terrible aim lackeys, never before have I seen a more terrible aiming lackey. What did she hook her last? And he's got onto? like an MG three or something, an MG forty two, some some ridiculously high rate of fire gun. I think I barely I barely saw it. What what, what is she? What is she? What it looked like? What is she hooked onto? What is she doing there? How, when Her did lasso. that happen? Oh, but... so stick it's sticky. Oh. It's like a it's like a spaghetti. Uh, seriously, a I've spaghetti. seen people compare her to Spider Man in this film, and she does use it that way in a couple of scenes Man, in this that's film. An insult to Spider Man. No, I know. Well, <laughs> the comparison is not favorable to her. <laughs> it's, it's definitely not. <laughs> um. So yeah, then this happens, and she's getting crushed between two of these vehicles, even though. Not five minutes, one minute later, she just kicks the tire and it fucks the other car up completely. She just can't think to do this at all. Remember, she pushed one of these things across the road at the speed of another car, but now she's like, oh, I just can't. There's nothing I can do. I'm getting crushed. This is horrible. Is it all over for me? No. Because Guy got out of (laughs) Chris Pine's face. (laughs) He gets out of his armored vehicle because, you see, there's a dude... (laughs) <laughs> There's a dude outside, and so also you know you can control copy to uh copy that right. Hmm. You can control C to copy that when you use light shot. That's what I did, didn't I? I think I'm getting. Light you shot. click the button. Oh, uh, that's uh, that's a that's a good shortcut, I guess. Yeah. All right. I did not yeah. know that. Oh, I didn't. Know. Yeah, you oh, can it's... control C to directly copy that for light Neato. shot. It's a free app. Wow. Fun fact. I actually, I can't remember if you were here, Rags, but I, I gave like a full uh, uh, ad for Light Shot on this stream. I was like, you, everyone I should have Light here. Shot. It was, yeah, because he's a sellout. Got him. I mean, if I'm going to sell out for something like, like Light Shot, I'm not even going to have any shame about it. It's such a useful tool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it makes That looks fun. like another good face to crop right there. So, um. Wait, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. At this scene. Is Chris Pine driving the vehicle? Then he just got out of it. Am I well, am I right? And and so he climbed onto the, or, the or armored he, car. He got on, oh, and he, got, he okay, kicked he kicked the gun until someone came out as if like, "Hey, annoying person, get off my car!" <laughs> and he he punched them, and they presumably fell off the car. And then he was grabbed by the throat by someone else and pulled into the vehicle. That's the last we saw of him. Yeah, Don't know what the fuck sad. is happening, but uh, yeah. Yeah, Wonder Woman, she's in trouble. What's she gonna do? Oh no! Um. Oh yeah. no! Don't want to, to die. I couldn't help but think about. Uh, I couldn't help but think about Indiana Jones here. My mind was just thinking about better movies. Where the fuck did the other fighting on the t- fighting on the tank? Yeah. Where did the other tank no, go? No, so no, no. When 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 she's when Indiana Jones has to when he's in the boat and there's the other two boats coming in and he's got to get out from in between them. That's just what I was thinking about. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, is that in Last Crusade? I think it is. Okay. Look how close this is. This is the beginning when they're in Venice. And she kicks away. It slowly right, moves. Right. It's fucking gone. That shit's gone. Also, she can push away a tank, but it she struggles to break a oh, lot. Oh, here it comes once again. Yeah, and Wait, so... And the other thing is she's hanging from the car, but she could just run alongside it. She could also get up. There's no real threat there. 
and she just <laughs> like consigns herself to doom. Yep, she doesn't even try to put up her legs again this time. She's just like, well, I'm done. Yeah, yeah. Wow, what a you think woman. that she would like put her legs up on the other one and use that to kick herself up, or she would just like climb up? But it would seem that Chris Pine has successfully defeated the tank operators <laughs> and has now taken. <laughs> the vehicle for himself and jammed yeah. it between the two. Well done, boy. And he has made sure to stick his head out the top as he's driving so that he cannot see because of the wind blowing <laughs> in his face and Clearly the sand the best and the dust choice. and the oh. Um, but oh no, drama. Oh god, the fucking. Kids Unfortunately, in the road. as this oh, convoy god. approaches from clearly ages away, these idiot children begin playing football. <laughs> <on the> road. <laughs> <That's dumb. laughs> Oh, look how close they are in that shot. Like, because I have. Has anyone else played on a road as a kid? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but, yes, but when the car came, yeah, I got out of the way. Yeah, Dude, that is so cursed. He can yeah. <laughs> away. Far away. <laughs> oh, no. I, I feel like they're on, a, <laughs> they're on a stretch of road that's in the middle of fucking uh, nowhere. I feel like it's too far out. Like, there's no way two of those kids playing. who are on one team are fucking assholes for not telling the other two kids that a whole convoy <laughs> of military vehicles was coming <laughs> barreling through the road. But yeah, because that's the new drama, she just kicks the fucking wheel of the tank and it's gone. It's out. It's like, yeah, that drama's over. It's like, oh, all right. You could have done that. Why do they not stop? Could have done that the whole time. Yeah, no, they don't. They continue barreling toward these children because fuck it. Yeah, because yeah. they're just randomly evil now. Like, why would Maxwell and it, why would their guards keep plowing through? They're not evil. And they actually do try and dodge the kids when they <laughs> pump. Oh, like, God, this. Oh, like, wait, fuck off so, so. I'm so, uh, I, there for, it is. Oh John, God. John, you've not seen this film. Look at this frame. What do you, tell me what you think is about to happen. I don't know if that's one of the tanks firing that, or a mortar, or like some it guy. Is, right, wait, I'll get you. I didn't Pine see what fired. That. Full context, without giving you any of the answers. Chris Pine, in response to the children being there, has launched this. So, what do you think is going to happen? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Uh, blows up no the ATM at the, or not ATM. Gets blow up. <laughs> so, <laughs> the vehicle at the front, I guess. That, yeah, that I will think throw the other vehicles in disarray. I think that's a perfectly reasonable thing to assume because this is insane, and that he must be trying to destroy the vehicles before they can get to the children. That must be what he's doing. Because what the fuck else could he I, possibly be doing? That's my guess. Yeah. That would be incorrect. Do you <laughs> do you have any other guesses? That. I would like for you to really. We've seen something like what is about to happen in this scene already. Can you think of anything else? Okay, if there's no. another uh, uh, another hostile projectile in the air that it's trying to take out, maybe that is nope, certainly isn't nope. the children. Smart. I'm gonna Still. give you a hint. Think. Okay. Imagine this. I, no, 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 no hints. I want to see how far you can go. Yeah, and and also <laughs> just to be clear, we're skipping past the fact that this is even something that Chris Pine can just do. Oh, we'll we'll do all of that too. I just want. This is <laughs> so <laughs> fucking amazing to me. This is one of the best wait, moments. Wait, wait, wait. The kids the, run the, away because of the rocket. Is that it? The kids <laughs> run away because of the right. rocket? Be not before you play it, before you play it, tell me he's not firing it with the expectation that Wonder Woman is supposed to kick it into one of the vehicles or something like no, that. No, but my that's no that, that's a good should... Mulan. Right I, could, I can that's applaud that. Oh yeah, my that's God. good Mulan <laughs> strategy. Uh, yeah. the, the fact that I am saying no should imply to you that you're close. Okay. Chat uh, is saying. One more is guess. The, he gets one more whip guess. Gonna, right. Is is she gonna whip the rocket to the to the car? It, chat is saying. It's that, even more wow, than that, right? Or, chat, no spoilers. That's that's, that's yeah, the only other thing that I can, that I can guess is she is going to whip it into one of the vehicles. Wrong. So ah, Jesus, let us, I don't know. I don't know. Hey, hey, look, it, you're close. You're very <laughs> close. Let us let okay. us see what happens. I will play it in four second increments. I suppose. Alright. So, okay. <laughs> I guess I'll describe it as it goes. Rocket is fired, she attaches, and she uses it as a way to quickly ah! <laughs> get to the children. She throws it away, it blows up in a safe area, and then she swings onto whatever the pylon, and then there's this image that I love. <laughs> It is so <laughs> This is amazing. one of the greatest uh, things that's ever oh happened. Come on, dude. <laughs> also, wow. that no, asshole so walking his goat over there didn't tell the kids that the cars were coming. <laughs> this is so dumb! Again, <laughs> these kids, this is so dumb! Yeah. He's just standing over there waiting. These kids are doing... Kids 
they're they're doing what the stormtroopers did in Mandalorian episode six, where they're uh, <laughs> right, running what? in a straight the... line away from the thing that's chasing them down, rather than just run off to the side, in order for all of this yeah, bullshit right. to happen. Yeah. You, you know what? Those sides, kids. those two characters have just such a strong bond that they're able to finish each other's sentences and also work out a plan subconsciously where it's like, I'm going to fire this missile and you're going to use it as propulsion to save the kid. Yeah. And then uh, managed, this is so dumb. Managed to throw uh, it away, swig onto the pilot. Can you imagine her momentum? I would like to bring up the word whiplash. <laughs> boom, boom. Look at the way she grabs yeah. them. Their necks are fucked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, yeah. No, but she's Wonder Woman. She saves them, obviously, right? And uh, is... well, no, because Excellent. she's losing Wait. her powers. You see, and so for some reason, in this oh. moment, she drops the whip. Wait, now this is really important, okay? So if she was able to <laughs> swing and slow down and put those kids down, we would still have a pretty big issue on our hands for Whiplash. But she has lost <laughs> control of it. Now we're heading to concrete at high speeds, real high speeds, and you may be holding on yep. to these children, but that's not going to protect them if you roll. So. so hang on, let's let's figure out what high speeds because she accelerated to a speed where she overtook those other cars, like by easily a factor of two. And so if they're traveling at a, what 120 kilometers, she could be moving at 240 kilometers. Yeah, at least. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, the RPG-7 rocket moves at about 295 meters per second. <laughs> the so she, meters wow. per second? It also has meters momentum from that, now. right? So, yeah, wait, how did she go. lose her grip on the whip? Is it just because the rocket's so fast? No, she's getting weaker. No, because she's, she's getting no, weaker. No, because magic. <laughs> because so, what you can do is when you, like, the weight of an Amazonian so dumb. and the lasso <laughs> grabbing that rocket will definitely not stop it or change its momentum or direction and you can just ride it oh my it god the... i didn't i didn't realize how bad it was look at the yeah, way you that... could ride the... that's right you could use by the, the neck look at the she way she grabs the kid her by the neck. Oh. oh my god that kid is so terrible <laughs> 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 sorry oh did god. no one tell them that the sequence was count. dumb no, I'm just, I'm sorry, like, did no one watch this in the edit and went, <laughs> guys, this is dumb. Like, maybe, yeah, I assume that Wonder Woman grabbed her this by, like, the midsection. This is fucking dumb, guys. Should we put this in the movie? Like... The neck! That's amazing. <laughs> a broken neck or a decapitation. Like... Fuck, man. Can you imagine by that? By the way. Thanks, bye. Um, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Uh, by the way, quick note: apparently, it is an it is an Arab thing to have the single white line down the middle. So, bravo to them for getting that detail. You right. nailed However, it, Wonder Woman. You yeah, you did it. it. You're actually good, despite what we're witnessing on screen at this very second. It's actually <laughs> great. <laughs> Got to give it up for Wonder Woman. Got to give it up for mm -hmm. Wonder Woman. Attention nice to detail. Yeah, yeah, you can really tell that's they were. Be the next broom boy, right there. You're just trying to notice nail the it. camels in the back. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> So yeah, the momentum the momentum at this point would be intense is the word. But um oh yeah. just just so sad that that she just couldn't hang on. She and, can uh, grab two kids in one arm. And so oof the damage the int oh oof oh. oh no she's Oh they're fine. They'll be fine. Oh my goodness they oh I love this are shot you sure they're gonna be of okay? the oh villains trying to avoid hurting innocent people again this film likes to play with that every once in a while it's like oh no <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah. those those skins would be dead right oh they died like three different times in that moment <laughs> but, but yeah, that's I mean, one of the lit. that's one of the benefits of using slow motion shots is that you can cushion a moment like that. Or if you played that in full speed, you'd be like, "There's no way those fucking kids live." But you play it in slow motion, it's like, "Oh, okay." He just she she just casually kind of like cradled them. They're fine. The kids are just yeah, hugging that's her. a good point. Also, she rolled to a stop way too easily for the speed that she must have been going at, like. She would have needed to have skipped and rolled at least a good 50 meters or something, I reckon, to slow down normally without brakes or something to assist mm -hmm. her. Also, um, yeah. since we're at five and a half hours, um, I think I might split and make a second EFAP just because uh, I could this one can start processing while I while we do the next one, literally just go offline back online in like 10 seconds, sort of thing. Well, 10, uh, five yeah, minutes. sure, yeah, um, I.
Is that, is that okay with everyone here? Is anyone? And, and of course, yeah, there'll yeah, be a, no, no, no you're problem. the boss. Sweet. This so, is amazing. Uh, we, will, we will just go over this scene once more before we head on through it on the next part. So, don't worry. Pee break, yes. Everyone in chat, go for a pee break. We've got plenty to talk about with Wonder Woman left, you know? Um, no urinate. Yes. So, thank you for watching, and see you in part two slash EFAP yeah. one whatever. Yes. Yeah, see you in a bit, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Yay. Cow. Yay.